Driving on the lecture Versus coming daily under pressure Working on the plot and the scheme The true stock trademark is at the edge of your dreams I'm talking one One shot for the kill The priest can freeze up Straight drop and kill the top Taking over pieces and shares of all the sky high, check the movement is here. Yeah, it's one shot, one shot, now the future is yours. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula in chemistry. In the Marie's fucking motivate. Yo, 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 what's up, Noah? We're, we're turning dreams into reality today, my friend. Here we go. 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals, man, coming at you right now, baby. Let's go. Freedom is a teacher under pressure. Now the best one go. one shot. Now the future is yours. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Actually, it's still morning here. It's 12.03 in the afternoon. I'm sure it's late where you're at. And uh, yeah, sorry. Six hours to the East Coast, three hours to the West Coast. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting ready to have a good time here in Hawaii. Y'all get ready now. Let's go. Yo, 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 you guys, obviously at PRC TV is not working today. Share this thing for me, man. Let's get some people on board. There won't be many today. Unfortunately, NPRC TV is dead. What's up, Henry Tabios and Shelby Tabios? Here they come. What's up there, Cliff Stutz and Aloha back at you, my friend. It's real windy here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it is bad windy. Let's see what these cars are going to do when they pass that finish line. Are they going to fly through the air just like a jumbo jet? We'll find out. Keep watching. Here we go. Unfortunately, Cliff, I cannot make this one shareable, man. The only places you guys are going to see this today is going to be on Attention in the Pits, which is not shareable because it's a private group, BAB, or uh, NPRC TV on YouTube, man. That's going to be the only places to see this today. What's up, Harry Maldonado? Maldonado Galarza. What's up, guys? Yeah, man, it's uh, unfortunately we can't do this on NPRC TV anymore, man. She's gone. Not getting it back. Uh, it is what it is, man. We're going to keep rolling with this. Let's talk about these sponsors really quick. Uh, we're going to head through the sponsors. Right now, we're just still doing practice. And I'm telling you guys, windy, windy, windy. I'm doing the best I can to keep the wind out of my mic here so everybody can hear what's going on and what's happening. So hang tight. Let me uh, let me dig into these, uh, into these sponsors here. Five more minutes of testing. And then these guys are going to finish up testing for about another 20, 25 minutes, rough estimate. And then we're going to go to our driver's meeting and straight to racing. If you're just joining us on the on the East Coast, yeah, you guys are six hours uh, ahead of us. I, unfortunately, it's 6, 6 p.m. on the East Coast. Uh, getting used to the time frame here is very difficult. And I'll tell you why, man. The uh, I'm getting phone calls at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> 
Let's talk about the sponsors, man. Our Works is going to be your title sponsor. Steve and the boys over at Our Works always getting it done with those ESCs. Super Speed and SuperSpeedRC.com is coming out of that left lane. Red Monster is coming out of that right lane. You've got SureCan. we got Racer RC. Get stuck. 808 Fuel. Accelerate RC. Voodoo is in the house. Shark Bodies. TH Designs. Live Action. RC Speed Secrets. Straight Line Spoilers. Dragworks RC. JM Portable. Make Town Audio. Monster Energy. Macklin and Rockwell RC. Holy cow. That's why you, will close at 12 I said something to Henry. I said, hey, Henry, listen, you've got 6,000 sponsors, bro. Your, your, your screen is going to be crazy. He goes, brother, just put up the names and send it. Unfortunately, we are at a school here. That's not unfortunately. This is actually a pretty cool place. What I meant by that, it's your view. Your view is not going to be the best, unfortunately, here. We're in a very crowded area, very tight space. I, uh, and, and the problem is the wind is extremely heavy right now. I'll tell you guys right now what the wind temps are. I'll give you some... Uh, I'll give you some, uh, I'll give you a forecast of what's happening here. Right now, we're sitting at 76 degrees. What a beautiful day here. The wind is coming out of that. Uh, what is it coming out of today? Woo! These winds are coming at 22 and 38 miles an hour coming out of that east. And I tell you. Uh, this wind is hot. Are the cars doing good? You know, the gar cars were struggling at the beginning, but the groove's starting to lay down, so people are starting to get down their passes. I don't know exactly what we're doing, what we're looking at as far as passes yet. Just uh, yet, let's let these guys get settled in, get going, and then we'll get you guys some times in a little while. Right now, we're just waiting on everybody to get set. Your bracket class has already done their. Uh, they've already got their times up, ready to go. Um, I what I'll do today is over the course of the day, man, I'm going to be walking around a lot, I think. The problem is this wind and these mics. I don't want you guys to hear a lot of wind, and we're doing the best we can. It is extremely windy here. It's crazy how windy it is. Yesterday was absolutely nuts with the uh, with the with rained all day yesterday. So, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that that rain's gone away. Uh, <laughs> I've learned a lot here on the island. I've learned on the east side it's cooler than the west side. I've learned a lot of stuff here in Hawaii. Uh, let's see who's popping with us today i want to say thank you to everybody and unfortunately it's not going to be a big show on our facebook or anything today just nprc tv has been hacked again and it's gone and i'm not getting it back it's looking bad so this is all we got but we're going to do it alator call with the dark horses in the house you know what's funny man i'm going to i'm going to break something down for you guys i had a lot of time on my hands the past couple days past couple nights and uh, i was going i was <laughs> you know i gotta find it though let me find it oh yeah 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 I don't remember what happened or what, what I was doing, but you know, the course of the past three years, you know, as I'm starting to wind down my, uh, my live streaming this year, you know, September will be my last race, uh, at the Cape town meltdown. So you start looking back at all the different things you, you, you start looking back at everything that you've done and everything that you've accomplished and everything that you've, you've, the people that you met and everything that has been going on in your life in the past three years. And, and I will tell you this part of the cool thing that, you know, that we've done over the past of these, these past three and three, I guess it's been three and a half years is we've come up with nicknames for RC drag racers. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was trying to think of all of them. I'm missing some and I'm not sure exactly where, uh, who I'm missing, but I'm going to tell you guys just cause we got a little time to kill. And then, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll, as soon as the driver's meeting gets popping here in just a little bit, uh, we'll get going with that. Uh, let's talk about that for a second. Christina Danzy Peterson, Met her a long time ago. She's been a real big supporter. Being a, been a, actually, she's been a real good friend of ours. We named her KDP LLC. <laughs> Don't ask me why the LLC came out, but that's just one of the what, what, one that we've named in the past. Jazzy, Jasmine Hernandez, you remember her. She's 18 years old now. She's moved on. She's in college. She's, uh, she's doing her thing. Foster Yates, man, you know who he is. I might have, uh, I might have a pretty cool... Uh, I might have something for you guys. Foster might be joining me in Ocala at the Gators in three weeks. I talked to him last night. If you guys are wondering about Foster, man, he's, you know, he's, he's not doing good, but he's, you know, he's, he wants to get back in the, you know, he, he would love to get back out here with me, man. So you guys might hear Foster on the mics here in a little what FCY three, man, is what I call that guy. Tommy Giovi, the glove, Austin K, Arkansas kid, Erica Del Grazo, El Presidente, Shelby Tabios, which I'm actually wearing her shirt here today. They call her Skittles. Actually, we call her Skittles in Redemption 1.0 long time ago. And Abel Lips is Cam Abel. I'm missing some. I don't remember who, but uh, 
just some things that uh, over the course of the next uh, next six months, as we start to dive out of here, we'll, we'll, we'll reminisce over some stuff that we've done in the past. Right now, there's DJ Mendiola. You got uh, in this right side. There's Ralph Burris all the way from New Mexico, man. He brought, he came all the way from New Mexico. A tw- I, I think he told me a 20-hour ordeal. Ralph Burris had to go all the way from New Mexico, drive to Dallas-Fort Worth, got on a plane, shot off to, uh, to, to Hawaii, man, 20 hours later. So that's absolutely crazy. Rocket Man. Yes. I actually have him in here. A- AJ Morosco. Rocket Man. I'm missing somebody else. I just don't remember who. <laughs> just some things, that, man, I've been, uh, we've been talking about around here. Eli Sert in that left lane. Here comes Jay Joseph coming off in that right on deck as uh, practice begins. You got uh, Jay Fab and Titus are going to hit make their licks. You know, I've been kind of walking the pits, and I'm going to take you guys through the pits in just a little bit. I'm actually uh, by myself right now, guys. I mean, I'm 100% by myself. Even PTW is not here, so I'm kind of got to do everything here. So just bear with me, but we will definitely take you off into the driver's meeting. Driver's meetings are always fun, man. You get to hear those questions and those answers. Sometimes you get the fun answers. Sometimes you get the dumb ones. <laughs> Jonathan Chris Hamilton. Thank you, my friend. And I, and I, what's up, buddy? Junior Ramirez is in the house. Jared Baker. I'm sorry. Jerry Baker. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, Jerry. Leo gets gets it. What's up, big dog? Scott Eckhart. What's up, boys? Let me pop over to... Uh, I'm going to pop over here and say hi to over here. I don't even know who's over here. I, I'm having a float through different uh, different Facebook groups today only because I, I, I'm only on... Uh, I'm only... Thanks, thanks, uh, Cliff. Thank you, brother. Uh, anyway... That's what's going on here. We are still practicing. I figured I'd go ahead and throw the cameras up for you guys, let you guys watch a little little bit of live practice. Um, as soon as we do the driver's meeting, we'll fly through the, uh, we'll fly, uh, we'll go through the pits, man, show you what's going on, show you all the different cars, show you who's, who's what, who's running what, and show you what the, uh, show you what the, what, what the pits look like. What's up, Gilliland? Uh, Armando Quintero, what's up, big dog? Armando out of Florida. What's up, man? Armando, I'll be seeing you in three weeks at the Gators, man. The Gator Nationals are coming in hot. 2024 Gators, sponsored by or, uh, Futaba. Futaba. I'm going to go down to these sponsors here at this race one more time. If you guys want to know who is a part of this uh this uh, sponsorship lift list <laughs> i'm getting short timers disease um at the bottom of my screen man we got the hashtags up i we went to put up all of their logos but it, it, it henry goes billy it's it was too busy <laughs> so we just put up your hashtags for the day we're going to go through it one more time and before the race starts we'll do it again r1 works is going to be your title sponsor super speed is going to be your left lane uh sponsor red monster mr larson is coming out right side sure can racer rc racer rc dot shop if you guys want to go check out Dan Bricotti's website, racerrc.shop. Get stuck. Zook is in the house. Part of the sponsorship program here. Thank you, Zook. Uh, who else is here? 808 Fuel is in the house. Accelerate RC. Voodoo is going to be your one of your tire sponsors here. You've got uh, Shark uh, Bodies. you got TH Designs Live Action. Tony, Tony, Tony Ton. And Tony, Tony Ton, if you're listening, happy birthday, my friend. Sorry I didn't send you a birthday wish. I've kind of been staying off of Facebook. But I just want to say happy birthday to you, my friend. Me too, Armando. I'm ready to get out there and get busy. I don't know if you heard earlier, but my buddy, my best friend in this, well, he's one of them. Foster Yates might be joining me off into the Gators this weekend, man. Or not this weekend. In three weeks, man. I'll let you guys know as we get closer. He's wanting to come, but we'll find out if he can make it. Coming up next, we've got uh, live action. And we're going to shoot us off to RC Speed Secrets. And then Straight Line Spoilers, Dragworks RC, Mr. Mark, GM Portable, MacTown Audio, and Monster Energy. You know what's cool, man? Monster Energy actually has four big tents here. When I go do a pit walk with you guys, I'll show you guys the tents, show you what they look like. You got Macklin, and you got Rockwell RC as part of your sponsorship program here this weekend. If you're just joining us, we are live in Hawaii, 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. We're going to be going here in just a little bit. Right now, they're going to finish out some testing. You can see the groove is starting to set in, as you can see in the cameras. Looking good, man. Earlier today, a lot of guys were struggling. Could not get that, keep that car down. But that's how it goes. We had some rain come in this morning, kind of washed everything off. Um, 
I'm going to have a tough time with mics today, man. This wind is 20 mile an hour gust right now. It's absolutely crazy. Whew. You want to talk about a journey, man, getting here. You know, let's talk about the journey, the journey to, uh, the journey to, uh, to Hawaii. You know, I have been, uh, I've known uh, Masuda, Scott, and Tabios, and, and, and a lot, Batista, a lot of these guys here in, uh, from Hawaii for, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll paint you kind of the picture of how this has built up to get here. You know, when I started this three and three, three and a half years ago, I started in a little hobby shop in, in like a room, you know, so that we started doing our lives. And that's how I started meeting these guys from Hawaii. And we've been talking for years and years and years um, about doing a race here, you know, that it, uh, it just they couldn't get it pulled off. They couldn't uh, they couldn't quite get everybody uh, lined up and get people out here, man. But uh, but they did it. Uh, Masuda and, and, and Tabios and, and everybody pulled it off, you know, and. I'm very honored to be here because this has been a long time running. This has been something that they have been wanting to do for so long. And to be a part of this as knowing these guys for so long, it's, it's humbling. It's cool. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty, it's, it's pretty cool, man, to be here. So uh, I know Henry and, and everybody's going to go back and watch us. And I just, I do my, my, I do my thanks on a mic, man. So I want to thank everybody that invited me out here. It's, it's, uh, it's been a beautiful time here in Hawaii, uh, but I will tell you what, one, one thing about Hawaii, the only thing I'm going to tell you is like this. <laughs> if you come to Hawaii, pack your patience. Don't pack your bags. Don't pack your paddles. Don't pack your tires. Pack your patience because the traffic here, my friends, is crazy. Yesterday, six miles, 48 miles minutes <laughs> it was absolutely crazy what's up Jaime Vegas in the house what's up big dog Renee Devine gave uh, j thanks for joining us brothers um right now they're just testing nothing's happening oh look at who's in the house they got Mr. 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 Montana Jesse Kinder on that left side to see what he does here Jesse flew all the way in from Montana I'm not sure how long it took Jesse to get out here but I'm pretty sure it took him a minute there he goes. Not looking too bad on that one. Or actually, not looking too good. See if Jesse can get his car picked up, get it back to the pits, and get it figured out. You know, a, a couple other guys that flew uh, flew in quite a ways away was Roger Gill and Brian Gill. I call them Little Gill, Big Gill. All right, attention in the pits. You guys got 10 more minutes of, qual oh, of testing. So once again, 10 more minutes of testing, and we're shutting it down. 10 more minutes of testing. They're going to shut it down. That should push us off in the driver's meeting roughly in about, uh, give us about 20 minutes. That'll push us into the driver's meeting and then we'll get that down and then we're going to go racing. Uh, you know what? Let's, I got some time here. Let's go through, uh, let's go through the names. Let's go everybody here and uh, I'll tell you what's going on here. Robert Sigmund, what's up, man? All right. Let me hop over here. If you want to follow along today, it's super easy. All you have to do is go into uh, rcdragraces.com, man. Really easy to follow along. Uh, Scott's got his stuff together with those brackets, man. Very, very easy to follow along. So if you want to follow along with me, let's do this now. Race number one, round one. We have a bye right out of the gate. Justin Tagar T T Tagere. Now, I'm gonna, now, some of these names I've never said in my life. I've never met these guys, so you're going to have to bear with me. Uh, this is We're talking about outlaw guys. We're talking about outlaw of your uh, first race, uh, round one, race one. Again, uh, Justin has the bye. You're race number two. I'm sorry. Yeah, round one, race two is going to be Steve Slaney going to be in that left lane going against Jesse Kinder. Woohoo! It's going to be a good one here. Race number three is Scott Masuda going against Jerome Garcia. Uh, Clifford Val Val Valite going against Jerry Baxter. Tatum Batista. Ooh, Tatum Batista going against Sean Batista. Ah, that's not good. Then you got uh, John e uh, Elves going against Alden Urara. Brian Gill going against Jay Joseph, Jason Lowry going against Glenn Cabrera, Silas Garcia, which is Titus, going against Hiram Charisma Jr. Roger Gill is going head-to-head -head against Mr. Russell Nelson. That's race number 10. Race number 11 of your round one is going to be Shelby Tabios going against Casey Ebensteiner. And then Henry Tabios is going to go against Brad Yorea. 
Taylor Holcomb against Sam Solario. Eli Serdone. Ooh, Eli's going against DJ Mendiola. Oh, no. Jason Kila going against Alan Torakawa. Oh, that's one guy we forgot to talk about as a, uh, uh, as a nickname, the dark horse, Alan Torakawa. And then you've got uh, Mr. David Loxton from Five Star Hobbies and fivestarhobbies.com all the way in from Arizona. He's going head to head against Mr. Mark Gonzalez. And then, I, you know what? I actually was wrong on that, on Titus Garcia's name up there. That actually was Silas. It was not Titus. Titus is right here. Titus is going to go in against Kila Figue Figueroa. Shane Reno is going head to head with Mr. Justin Bacoy. John Myers against Grady. Oh boy, I'm gonna mess this this guy's name up. We're gonna go with Grady Grandy K, man. Chris Buchanan is gonna go against Dennis Figueroa. Now Chris is out of Missouri. Robert Medeiros is going head to head against Ralph Burris. So you got California against New Mexico. Matthew Ching against Super Aaron. Dustin Casa is going head to head against Mr. R. Silva. Scott Masuda has the bot. Oh, I'm sorry. That pushed me off in the B bracket. Then that pushes me off in the B bracket of your round one. It's going to be Masuda has the bye. Casey Ebensteiner against Tatum Batista. John Myers against Roger Gill. Kila Figueroa against Russell Nelson. Jerry Baxter against Alden Uriah. Alan Torakawa, Shelby Tabios. John Elves against Chris Buchanan. Dennis Figueroa shit against Shane Reno, DJ Menendola, Mindiola against Jason Kila, Jerome Garcia going against Grandy K, Sam Solario against Mr. Silva, Mark Gonzalez is going ahead to head against Supa, Robert Medeiros against Jason Lowry, Dustin Costa against Haram Karisma Jr., Jay Joseph is going to against Silas Garcia. And your last three races of B is David Loxton, Henry Tabios, Cabrera, Holcomb, Garcia, Bacoy, Ching, Valete, Gil Slaney. Your bracket race is going to go like this. Keevan, I'm going to mess his last name up too, man. <laughs> uh, Keevan is going to have the bye. Gerard Garcia against Tatum Batista of your uh, round one, bracket A. And then Sean Batista against Dean Thomas and Super, Super Aaron's running the bracket. That's cool. Against Kalani Holbrun. Shane Reno against Ma Scott Masuda and Grandy K Kiko. Ooh, I'm going to mess five that one up. Grandy K. And then Justin Bacoy. Five more minutes of testing and five minutes to the raffle closes. Yes, Jonathan, they have tape down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, Jonathan Ramirez? And that's going to, uh, that, that will round out your uh, who's going to get who today. If you guys want to follow along, it's super easy, man. Go over to rcdragraces.com. You should be able to find today's race. Just click on it and follow along. It's that simple. It'll tell you who won your brackets as they go. It'll turn green. It's going to be pretty good. Right now, we are just finishing up practice. Titus Garcia is coming out of that left lane. J-Fab is all the way in from Dallas, Texas. J-Fab and his family are actually going to be here for the night. I think they leave for almost a week, man. Ready for some racing, Mr. Ramirez. Hey, we all are, brother. I don't know what time it is where you guys are at, but uh, it's, you know, you realize it's only like 12, <laughs> 1230 here, 1226. Ah, there goes Titus. You know what you're going to see today. I'll kind of give you the lay of the land here. Concrete's a little little rough. You got a couple bumps through the concrete here. You got one about quarter track between roughly quarter to half. And then right after that finish line, you've got yourself a hump on that right side. And it's a hump that could actually be, do damage to a car. I was talking to one of the drivers a little while ago. So we'll see, man. We'll see if he can, uh, if they, I say he, but they, if they can get it all figured out. Four twenty-six, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, bro. It's four. Wait a minute, it can't be four twenty-six. Oh yeah, you're right. It is four twenty-six. That's crazy, bro. Wild man. Yeah, man. It's only twelve uh, twelve thirty here, guys. They're gonna finish up their uh, their practice. Here comes Maderos and uh, Mark and J Fab and Loxton and Supa. A lot of big names here this weekend, man. 
a lot of people here. I think the total entry, total entry, I believe was 9630. I'm in Buckeye. Hey, what's up, Renee? Um, six, let's see, I think there was 92 entries, I believe, total. 92 total. Loxton's going to get his car dialed in. Here comes Monero's coming out of the left side. See what he does. You know what that wind brings, uh, leaves and dust and crap is what it's brought. This track on that right side, I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, well, you can kind of see it a little bit everywhere, but you see there's leaves everywhere stuck in the glue. The wind is really crazy right now. We're between 20 and 30 mile an hour gust right now. You can't tell, but it is really, really windy right now. <clears throat> Goes Robert Medeiros on that left side with that run. What's up, Steven? <laughs> All right, here comes Tim. Super just made his lick, and I think this is going to end the. Uh, this is going to end it here in just a minute. These guys are going to get back to the pits and get ready for the race, and then we'll get commencing here in just a little bit. The uh, drivers' meeting is get ready to get going here in just a little while. <clears throat> What's up, Eric Bastido? Bastido, what up, dude? Nothing, brother. Enjoying, enjoying the weather. The downfall to here is the wind, man. The wind is really hot, hot and heavy today. It's between 20 and 30 mile an hour gust. I'll get you some track temps in a little while. Let's get this, let's get this party started. Get it going. Whoa! Nice save, Henry Tabios on that left side. There are some guys here that I've never met before, so uh, I apologize if I don't know know their names when they come through the uh, the bullpen. But as I get to know them today, we'll get to we'll, we'll we'll get to we'll get them dialed in and get you guys uh, up to speed on where they're from and all that good stuff. Woo! We are at a school. If you're wondering what this is here, it's actually a school. It's it's actually a really nice little area here. The way they got the pits set up, they actually have one, two. Listen, they have four food trucks here. <laughs> four, <laughs> four food trucks, man. <clears throat> Practice is just about over. As soon as that gets over, I'll get you. I'm going to get over there and uh, find out exactly. Uh, I think they're going to get this going right after uh, Right after uh, they get to shut down. Uh, they're, right, yeah, they're, they're not really running late. The, the rain came in this morning, uh, early this morning. It actually was raining here until about 9 a.m., uh, all over the, all, all, all through here. Uh, it was really raining. This thing is now closed. The raffle is now closed. We will be doing a driver's meeting at 1245. Once again, 15, 15 minutes. We're going to hit that driver's meeting and then we're going to get this party started. This is just going to be a one day event, man. You know, yesterday, it rained all day yesterday, all through here, all day yesterday. I was kind of worried, man. I was hoping it wasn't going to rain today. But but this morning, I got to be honest with you guys, I was a little worried. I, I, I as the, you know, it took us about 40 minutes to get down here and it, it rained the whole way. But it's crazy as we were getting closer and closer and closer. The, uh, the, 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 the sun came out, started beating down the track and away we go. Hello, Mikel. How are you today? Good to see you. Mikel Lester's in the house. All right, looks like it's over. Uh, you know what? It's over. Uh, not over. What did I say? Me meaning by over. The uh, practice is over. I'm going to flow through the pits here for a second here. Let me get my camera booted up here. We'll flow through the pits for you guys and uh, and show you who's here, man. Uh, uh, there's quite a few people here today. <laughs> What's up, Stu Mac? <laughs> What's up, Schwartz? Hey, Schwartz. I'm sorry I didn't call you back the other day. Let's you and I let's let's you and I get together on Tuesday, Christopher. I last I'm trying to move out of my house, dude, and it's been crazy, bro. Tuesday's the day. Hit me up, Mr. Schwartz. Let's chit chat. Um, I'm gonna take you guys. No, Jaime, I am not. In, I'm in Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh man. You know, speaking of Puerto Rico, you guys, I don't know if you guys have heard the news, but uh, we're heading back to Puerto Rico. You know, we were we were out there. Actually, Jaime Vega was out there with us. What's up, Lampa? Paul Lampa, all the way from uh, Chicago, is in the house. What's up, dude? Um, we're heading back to Puerto Rico, man. We're going back to do a sand drag race. It's the first an first year anniversary of Mr. Saul uh, Huma Arena. 
Um, and we're going to shoot back out there, you guys. So, man, if you guys are, are, are loving this uh, loving this sand stuff, I, I, I tell you, it's uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, they, they, they live by this sand stuff. And uh, they, they, they eat, breathe. Uh, there we go. Uh, they eat, breathe, and live um, sand. <laughs> I can't even think today, man. I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm too relaxed here today. <laughs> All right, let me get my mics on. I, I, I again, man. I'm, I'm worried that we're going to be a little windy, but I'm going to do the best I can here and and uh, flow through the flow through the pits. And that way, uh, you guys can see what's happening here. So let me get everything on here, and uh, then we'll we'll do this with you guys. Hang tight. Check, check. Okay. Oh, I got to make sure you guys are going to be able to hear me here. And then uh, here we go. Get everything on here. All right, let me make, make sure everybody can hear me just fine right now. And then we're going to go for us with pit walk. <laughs> Come on, Jaime. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. We're going to go on the pit walk. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll through the pits here, and uh, let you guys see what's going on here. Give you an idea of what everything looks like. Okay, guys, I got my got everything ready here. The only downfall is I'm by myself today. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys. Here's the track. This is looking down. You got your uh, red monster carpets here. Super speed. Got that carpet looking good. Look how great that carpet looks. All right, man, let's flow through here. I'm going to show you guys. Look at the. Hey, so here's what I was telling you guys earlier. If you look at the... Uh, Look at the uh, these monster uh, uh, these monster energy uh, tents are really nice. This is going to be all of your stuff that they have for the raffles. A lot of stuff here. Look at this. Your bracket winner is going to win themselves a uh, uh, a Horizon Hobby uh, drag car. How are you? What's your name? Good, I'm Shana. Shana, you having fun? Every day's a holiday, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Voodoo tires, live action, all kinds of stuff. Who painted the body? This one was Dickie. That one was donated. This was donated? Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, nice. nice. Looks good. This is what Wendy wants. Wendy wants to win this, so if she wins today, hopefully uh, hopefully she'll get herself a backpack. Okay, guys, we're going to... So here's Tech. Tech is right here on this side, ready to go. So let me flow you through here. Come I'm going to... I want to show you, uh, Help yourself to the what's up, man? These guys are, uh, look at this. They got all kinds of stuff. What are you guys doing? What are you guys, what are you guys selling? Some drinks and shaved ice. Okay, shaved ice and drinks. All right, sweet. They got uh, vanilla, strawberry, banana. Let's roll through here. Macadero's Cocina. This is what you get. Hey, so this is the food trucks out here in Hawaii. You guys are all over the country. Every time we go to different races, you see different food trucks. And you guys know that we, you know, 
you, you can always tell where you're at just by the food. Looking good. Hi, how are you? This is Ono Grinds. Let's go check this out. Look at this. They got ribeye steak, garlic cobby, short ribs, fried noodles, banana lumpia. Ooh, that looks good. Look. Very, very nice. And then this is for later. This is for later when you guys are all full and you want to do your, uh, you want to do your, uh, your dessert, right? Right, Titus? <laughs> How you feeling, brother? I mean, I'm good. I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. How's your car, man? Spins up top. Spins up top? You're going to get it dialed in? Yeah. Okay. Who's this? Ha! Ah, Chevy Tamios! Skittles is in the house. How's your car? It's good. It's good? Yeah. Yeah? How's dad? <laughs> is he stressed out? <laughs> We're going to head over there and see, what, what, see what, what's going on with Tavios. I was telling you guys earlier, man, look at this guy. These two guys are all the way in from Kentucky. Uh, Brian Gill is out of uh, Louisville and uh, Mr. Mr. Big Gill. <laughs> He's out of, uh, well, you're out of where? I'm actually out of Louisville, Kentucky. You are out of Louisville. Yeah. Got it. So these guys are all the way in. Listen, these guys have come from all over the world. World, I say. <laughs> Look at this guy. Kev Teth is in the house. I forgot your name, man. Russell. What is it? Russell. 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 These two are all the way from Australia. I know uh, uh, Lowry's around here somewhere. Uh, then you got Madero's here. You got this crazy guy. You notice how everybody says hi to you. Chris, how do you say hi to everybody? Hi. <laughs> what? Bro, you got to give up. There it is. There it is. There's Slaney's in the house. What's up, Slaney? J Fab is over there. There's Tatum. There's old uh, Mr. Logston. Let's see if we can see his tune. Can we see it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Sean, how are you guys? Looking good. There's the dark horse. Everybody with us. What's up, guys? How are we feeling? Good. Damn, that looks good. I like that red man. Wow. Yeah, bro. Wow, that is sick. Yeah, that red really, really pops. Wasn't that red like a, what's soup at? Eli, wasn't that red a little bit lighter? This is custom yeah, candy coated, it's painted. Oh, that's painted? Yeah. So this Woo, those are sick. Was it, was it hard paint? Yeah, Was it hard though, was it like, no, pretty easy? Bro, those are sick. All right, we're gonna keep on flowing through here. See everybody hanging out here. It's super. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, dude. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> DJ's in the house. I was telling the story. I was telling your story, Ralph, on, on your trip here, man. <laughs> Ralph, what, 20 hours? 20 hours, Ralph. Ralph's trip took to get here, man. We're gonna keep on going around here. Super's in the house. There's Eli. Hey, you're number two, baby. <laughs> you got to love these guys, man. Team Reckless in the house. There's a lot of people here. Look at this. Everybody's getting their cars ready, getting dialed in here. Jay Joseph's in the house. What up, brother? All right, guys. We're just about ready to go here. We got about, uh, looks like about six more minutes. And then, uh, then we'll get going here. I'll, I'll do a little track walk with you guys. And uh, kind of show you what's going on here. So if, as you can see, we're at a school here, guys. Nice layout here, looks good. All of you guys that are in those team chats, you could probably ask your team drivers on how things are. We'll kind of walk down through here to show you, uh, show you what's going on. Pretty sure we got about 20 feet going across here. Remember I was telling you guys about quarter, almost a half track. We got a couple bumps that we got to deal with and here they are. This is what I was telling you guys. As you can see right here, you can see that they got a little bit of bumps right here. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to work through and figure it out. Over here and on both sides. As you can see on both sides, we're gonna have to, they're gonna have to deal with these. And then as we keep going down the end, you know, I was telling you guys, uh, as we got towards the end, there was actually a, there's a hump down here. And uh, when we when we set our camera down here at this end, we'll try to do a wider a wider stance for you guys to see to show you because when they get down through here is when uh, 
is when the track gets a little, it gets a little tricky here. You know, the race is over when they come to this point right here. But I don't know if you can see them or not. Let me see if I can, let me see if you can see them. But you might be able to see it, the, see the bump in the road right there. Let me see if I can turn this camera down here and really show you guys that bump right there, that hump. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is part of a problem right here, guys. So as they're coming through here, they, uh, they're flying. You know, I don't know what times are right now. I don't, I really don't know yet. But when I find out, uh, I'll get to you, I'll get to find, I'll let you know, but what's happening is they're coming through here and they're hitting this bump right here. You know, the, the, the car is coming, it's coming out off the ground. So, you know, you know what could happen? That car comes off the ground, it's still spinning high, high RPMs. They could actually lose an ESC. So we're going to find out what happens as the day progresses. We're going to flip around, show you down, show you downwind here. As you can see, it's a nice place. Yeah, he grows every time, uh, Biggie. He's getting big, dude. That's your track for the day. It's looking good though, but like I said, they gotta, they gotta figure out these humps in the road because uh, a couple guys were, uh, a couple guys, or I could hear them talking behind the, uh, behind the line about that hump. So we're gonna see what happens as the day goes on. Nice big pits, look at that right there. Look at how great this looks. Great place, the weather actually turned out to be really good today. The only thing that we're gonna have to fight is gonna be the wind. That is literally the only thing that we're going to have to fight today is going to be the wind. And like I said, it's between 20 and 30 mile an hour gust. Uh, but we should be good, man. We'll, we'll find out. I think we're going to be good on rain. But uh, we'll see. We'll see as the day goes. You know, this is, this is kind of like Florida. That rain can come in quick and, uh, and get out of here quick. Turn this camera around for you guys here. And that's going to be your, uh, that'll be your track for the day. I just got word. Yeah, it does, Kelly. They're, they're talking how the grip is, brother. You're going to find out here in just a little while, man. The, the, the problem they're having is getting the, uh, they're trying to get the groove down. They've been struggling to get the groove down. But as you can see in the camera, it's starting to get down. And, and you can tell that they're starting, that when the cars, you know, because when I first got here, I mean, they were all over the place, slipping and sliding. But it's like every track, man. You got to lay that groove first and then get it going. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, man, it's looking good. We're just about ready to go. It's 1245. Driver's meeting is going to be here in just a second. I'm actually going to, I want to show you guys something. My wife has been yelling at me to show you guys this. Okay, let me, come up for our driver's meeting. let's go do the driver's meeting right now, man. Here we go. But I got to show you, my, my wife has been. Driver's meeting, please. All right, here we go. Driver's meeting. Let me get you guys off the driver's meeting. All right, here we go. Let's get up here and uh, listen to what they have to say. I'll, uh, I'm going to be quiet up here and let you guys listen. Here comes everybody flowing in now. I'll find out for you, Paul. Give me just a minute, man. I'm li guys, I am literally by myself today doing this, so bear with me. I will get to it as fast as I can. Here comes Tabios, Kef Teth out of Australia. Here they come. Jerry Baxter. How many people from Hawaii here, Eli? Super, how many people from Hawaii here? I'm all the way from Hawaii. <laughs> two. Far away. Two. We got two. Yeah, far, far away. How many people here from, from the... Half of us. Yeah, half, right? All right, guys, we're getting ready to do a driver's meeting in just a second here. <laughs> Scott Masuda will be your race director here today. There's the dark horse. There he is right there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, most everybody's up here. I'm going to let you guys listen to the driver's meeting here for just a second. Everybody's kind of getting up to the, the only guy we're waiting on is Maderos. Look at that. Here he comes now. Okay, everybody. Um, first off, I want to thank everybody for flying out here. Um, nice to see you guys at our home turf and sit on the mainland. Um, this is going to be short and sweet. I'm pretty sure everybody went and read over the, the rules. It's pretty much the same as every race we go. Um, I'm just the organizer. John here is going to take over as the race director. So whatever he calls stands. Um, if you don't agree, bring a video, show him, and then he can make a decision. Um, but other than that, yeah, one o'clock. First five uh, races. Bring your cars up to tech. You guys ready? Any questions? Okay. Shane. 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 Okay. I guess we're going to go open this with prayer. Um, Lord, we just thank you for this afternoon, Lord. Lord, we ask you to bless each and every race that's here. Um, thank you for having everyone here. Lord, let it, um, thank you for blessing us with sunshine. Lord, we just thank you. Everybody have fun. Be safe. In my name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to be starting at one o'clock. <laughs> so uh, get you guys stuff ready. Uh, we're going to try and follow the timeline as best as we can. So when we are racing, the only two people who should be up here on the track should be the guys that are racing. Everyone else, please stay to the side until it's your turn to race behind the cone. All right, we, we don't need a whole bunch of people standing up here and blocking our view and everything else that we got to pay attention to. All right, so let's all have a good day. Get out there and kick some butt, guys. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, one o'clock. We're going to get going here. We got about 10 minutes. And then we'll get going here. I'm gonna get this, uh, I'm gonna turn around this other camera for you guys and get you uh, get you a finish line. And then we're getting ready to go here. Let me, uh, give me one second, guys. Okay, man. Okay, if you guys are just joining us, we are live. Where are we? We're in Hawaii. This is the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. It's just about showtime and go time. Unfortunately, guys, like I told you earlier, we could not stream on NPRC TV. It's been gone. It's gone. The only place you can see it, let your friends know, man, if they want to watch this, is the over on... Um, over on, ah, bear with me here, on uh, YouTube, NPRC TV, Attention in the Pits. Uh, you can see the Attention in the Pits. And BAB, you can go over there and watch it. And, <laughs> you know, sometimes being by yourself, it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> I'm almost there, go though, guys. Um, and then, like I said, we're gonna go racing, man. I'm ready to get this going. This has been a while. We've been uh, we've been uh, waiting for this race for a minute. Uh, I was telling you guys a story when I first started the show. You know, uh, Henry and I, which, and and Masuda, they they've been 
We've been talking forever, forever about this race, forever. And uh, it, they did it. They pulled it off. You know, it's cool. It's cool to be in here in Hawaii, man. It was it, it was really for me and 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 uh, and Wendy. It wasn't that bad to get in here, but some of these guys to get here, you guys have to understand something, man. Like uh, like Ralph Burris, he he drove all the way to Dallas, Texas, man. Seven hours, got on a plane, and he was sitting here twenty hours later. That's dedication, my friends. That is dedication. You know, I, I don't I don't know about, uh, you know, the gills, uh, what it took them to get here. But all the way from Kentucky, it's it's not an easy task to get here for sure. Remaining. All right. We're ready for your cameras. Um, let's see. It should be on attention in the pits. And uh, Billy has island brain. <laughs> Leo, you have no idea. <laughs> hey, Stashies, RC Hardware's in the house. In the house. Hey, Bricotti, what's up, buddy? Hope everybody's having a, a good day today, man. It's uh, it's been a wild. Uh, it's been a wild, listen. It's been a wild couple of days here. Uh, I love it here. You know, we got to sit, we got to visit yesterday the east side of the island. You know, if you ever get out to Hawaii, there's a place that I, I would recommend anybody to go to. It was amazing, but I don't remember the name of it. I'm gonna get you the name of this place. It was the most amazing dirt dessert I've had ever, ever. Something bus. <laughs> they make their own churros. We're going to knock down these sponsors one more time. Who is here is... I got to find it. Hang on. If you guys are just joining us, the first thing I say is thanks. Thanks for joining us. You know, it's pretty It's pretty cool to be live broadcasting this from Hawaii, man. It's it's actually... Uh, I'm enjoying this stuff. Let's talk about the, the sponsors. Here they come. Uh, your title sponsor for the day is R1 Works. Steve and the boys over there, uh, you know who they are, man. They got one of the top ESCs in the country. That'll push us off. The Super Speed is going to be your left lane sponsor. Super Speed at superspeedrc.com. Go check them out, man. Uh, your right lane is going to be Mr. Red Monster. That is uh, Steve, Mr. Larson. Uh, he's going to be your lane sponsor on that. Uh, they got him backwards, actually. But uh, uh, you know what? We'll leave it like that. How about that? Actually, maybe I'll have him switch it. <laughs> you got sure can. You got Racer RC. Go visit Dan Bricotti's uh, 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 site. It's racerrc.shop. Sam is Sam. <laughs> Dan is a full blown online hobby shop. Ships all the way in the country. I'm not sure if he does Puerto Rico or Hawaii, but all you have to do is give him a shout, man. Uh, hit up Dan Bricotti over at racerrc.shop. That pushes us off to a friend of ours. Get stuck, Mr. Zuckerell, man. We call him Zuck. I've known him for a little while. Met him at the first annual King of the Smokies one. He was your outlaw and your 13th five winner. Zook is a great guy. Got great product. Check him out. Uh, that'll push us off into 808 Fuel, Accelerate RC, Voodoo Tires, Shark RC Bodies, TH Designs, Live Action, Tony Ton. Happy birthday, Tony. If you're watching, you're probably not because it's not on NPRC TV. <laughs> Uh, so happy birthday, dude. RC Speed Secrets is in the house. You got straight line spoilers. Drag Works, RC, Mr. Mark, JM Portable, Mactown Audio, Monster Energy. I've got too much of that. Macklin, or is it McClan? As OKO would say, it's McClan. And Rockwell RC, that's your sponsors for today. We're getting ready to get this thing started here in about four minutes. If you want to follow along, all you have to do is super, super easy is shoot over to rcdragraces.com and check it out, man. Scott Davis has made it easy for you guys. Go check out rcdragraces.com and follow along with me today. If not, then just chill, sit back, work on your car, whatever you're doing right now. I hope you're enjoying it because it's a beautiful day here in Hawaii. I hope everybody's having a great day. <sighs> there we go. Got it. <laughs> um, what else we got to cover? We got the cover. We got sponsors covered. Everybody's covered. Everybody's covered today. RCDragRaces.com. Move over there and uh, we'll get this party started in just a little bit. 
Kelly Ray. Hey, brother, you're what? You're welcome, Tony Todd. How old are you, brother? Twenty? What are you? Let's guess. Tony, don't answer that question. Let's guess how to- how old Tony Todd is. I met him once. I think it was at the King of Smokies. Two. Tony, did I, did I meet you? I might have seen you in, in Super Chips. I can't keep up. I'm gonna guess that Tony is 32. <laughs> But I, listen, I suck at I suck at that uh, trying to figure out how old people are. Um, anyway, Tony, man, congr- or congratulations! Happy birthday to you, brother! All right, attention in the pits. You got three minutes remaining. Three minutes remaining, and then we're going to go to race time here in Hawaii. We are at, well, you know, I don't know the name of this school or where we're at, but it's a really cool, these guys found a really nice place. Um, I think uh, Shane's wife works for the school system here, and she was able to help them uh uh, she was able to help them get in here and uh, and uh, and and secure this place, man. It looks great. I tell you what, if you guys are race directors or you're race promoters or you do, you do anything in the, in in uh, in the asphalt or concrete world, y'all need to check out these uh, uh, these sides, these uh, the wooden the sides, the ramp, not the ramps. Wow, badass. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually look into these to, 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 for sand. You know, when we were doing the sand races uh, off in Matus Ranch, if you guys don't remember, man, those cars were flying. You know, they were only going 66 feet, but not one time did a car come off that track and, and hit anybody or get close to anybody because of the way that, uh, that uh, Curtis and uh, Jose had the, uh, had the sides built. They're up about a foot, and these sides are awesome. And I don't know where they got these from, but if you guys have, can't tell how big these sides are, they actually uh, they look really good, really cool, man. <laughs> how old are you, Tony? <laughs> Tony Todd, what are you? What, how old are you, bro? You can't be no more than forty, bro. <laughs> We're just about ready to go. Like I said, if you guys want to follow along, man, it's super easy. Head over to rcdragraces.com. I'm already in there. Let's talk about the five races coming in hot. Here they come. Race number one of round one. It's Justin Taget. Tagiri, I, I hope I get that right. Justin is coming out of that right lane, and he's going to have the bye. That'll push us off in the race number two of your round one. It's Slaney in the left lane going against Jesse Kinder out of Montana in that right. Then you've got Scott Masuda is coming out of that left lane against Jerome Garcia. And then your race number four of your round one, it's Clifford Valente going against Jerry Baxter. That's your top four. As soon as they get going, I'll stay three ahead of you for you guys. If you don't want to follow along on RC Drag Races, I completely understand. I'll do the best I can to keep you up to speed you know so far everything's been on time everything's been on time you know scott's you know scott says 12 30 it's 12 30 if he said 12 45 it's been 12 45 um rain came in this morning kind of kind of kind of put them behind a little bit but they're just about ready to get going here in just a minute man we're going to rock uh knock this out of the park should be a nice quick day uh, not quick. I don't mean quick. Right, we got guys. 92 Let's entries. Go. Here we go. Scott's called him up to the tech. Right now, you have in tech nobody. <laughs> nobody. Nobody's in tech. Let's see if he can wrangle him up and get him in here. <clears throat> so now I'm going to shoot off into my bracket. So if you guys are commenting, I apologize. I'm not going to be looking at comments, man. We're going to run this race so I can see these brackets. All I can tell you is thanks for joining us. I apologize it's not on NPRC TV anymore, and it will never be on NPRC TV ever again, man. I tried to get it back, and uh, I didn't get it back. So it is what it is, man. It's what we got. Work with it. I'm going to talk about some races that I have coming up here soon. In three weeks, join me, please, in the most perfect place in Florida. It's Big Daddy Don Garlitz, and it's called the 2024 Futaba RCDRL Gator Nationals, presented by Futaba. Join us, man. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be Pro Mod, Pro Mod X, Top Fuel, rail cars, kids, food, family, fun. And if you've never been to an RCDR race or uh, been to a race with Michael Merck, he's one of the top in the country when it comes to putting on these races. He's been doing it for 13 years, and that's why he's solid. Um, you know what? I am going to move a camera 
But the cool thing with me is I can take this with me and talk to you as I walk around. You're going to have to bear with me today if I have any, uh, you know, how I am with dead, dead air. If I get any dead, dead air today, it's, it's only because I'm by myself, guys. I'm, I'm doing everything here by myself. So bear with me. I'll kind of keep this party started or keep this show going as, uh, as much as I can to keep you guys going, get you through the day. Those of you guys on the East Coast, if you are watching, highly doubt it. It's what, like nine o'clock at night. <laughs> um, but let's do this. Let's get you guys set up. And um, we'll get your camera moved as they come up to the line. Attention in the pits. I need a Ford Escape, I believe, license plate number TXR744. You need to move your vehicle. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are listening what's going on, but they're telling him to move the vehicle. <laughs> the Ford parked right behind the bus. You need to move your vehicle. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go here. Uh, Justin's going to run his by. He's coming out of that right side. If you're just joining us, we are at the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. We are here live in Hawaii, and we're getting it started as we speak. Outlaw is coming up right now. Justin T is going to be in that right lane running that by. And on deck, you have Steve Slaney, Jesse Kinder, and right, then Masuda and Garcia. All right, up next we got Steve Slaney in the left lane, Jesse Kinder in the right lane. Oh, hold on a sec, guys. Okay, guys, let me get this. I got to go get that camera set for you. So just give me just a second, and then we'll uh, we'll get that camera all launched all right, out for you cool. here. All right, here they come. Race Steve three. Slaney, left. Like. Kinder, right. Slaney's going to move on. Take the win. Okay, guys, sorry. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> okay, right now we've got uh, Scott Masuda in the left lane against Jerome Garcia in the right lane. Left lane's going to move on. That's going to be... Left lane will take the win. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Oh, what's up, KDP? Good afternoon. <laughs> I tell you what. Sometimes when you don't have Cam Abel here, man, it 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 makes this. It doesn't make this very easy. <laughs> so if you're able, if you're watching, we we miss you. <laughs> what's up? Okay, all right, I'm, I got it all fixed here. Okay, right now we're on race number four. You got Jerry Baxter coming out of that right lane going against Clifford Valete in the left lane. And then on deck is Tatum Batista going against Sean Batista of your race number five of your round one. And then on deck of your race number six is going to be John Elves going against Alan Alden Uriah. Here they come. Watch your life. There they go. Ooh, nice run. That left side's going to move on. Left lane will take the win. OK, 
Okay, coming up next, uh, you've got uh, Mr. Tatum Batista. Tatum Batista is going to be coming out of that left lane with Sean Batista out of that right. We'll see how these two do. And then on deck of your race number six of your round one is going to be John Elfs against Alden Uriah. And then race number seven of round one is going to be Brian Gill going against Jay Joseph. Here comes Jay's. Jay's heading up to tech as we speak. Tatum and Sean Batista are at the line. And then after that, you got Jason Lowry all the way in from Australia going against Glenn Cabrera. Race is ready. Watch Here they come. The Batista boys. There they go. Woo, that's going to be a good race, I think, to the end. Let's see what's going to happen. Right lane. Right lane. Sean's got him. That was a good race, though. Great racing right there. I will, Stashy. 100%, man. Let me get let me get settled in here, and then we'll get the ETs for you guys. Let's let's uh, get, Give me just a second. I'm waiting for Wendy to get back from grabbing uh, lunch. When she gets back, then I can walk around a little bit to, so I can uh, keep track of the live, make sure I don't lose anything. Absolutely. Give me a little bit, and I'll get you some ETs and some times. All right, here we go. We've got... Uh, right now, we're waiting on John Elves and Alden Uriah, and then on deck is Brian Gill and Jay Joseph, and then your race number eight of your round one on deck is going to be Mr. Jason Lowry going against Glenn Cabrera. Jason Lowry, Glenn Cabrera, Silas Garcia, Hiram Corizma Jr., Billy. Yeah. Roger Gill, and Russell Nelson, B's head to tech. Huh? <laughs> J-Fab's messing with me. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's what it shows on my screen. <laughs> J-Fab's giving everybody crap because they said his name wrong. <laughs> All right, we're waiting on the guys to get through tech as we speak. We're waiting on John and Alden. And on deck is Mr. J. Joseph. Been hanging about, hanging out with Jay this weekend, man. We went off to a place where they test here. It's called Tokyo. Went over there and hung out with the boys on Thursday night. Didn't do a whole lot of testing, man. We just kind of hung out, shot the crap, and uh, just kind of kind of did our thing, man. It was a good time. I had a really good time over there. It was good stuff. We got, uh, listen, we got Shelby Tapio. You remember her Skittles. She used to fly to the US of A and just whip you boys up. Remember that? <laughs> well, she's here and her car's looking pretty good. Uh, Henry got her car dialed in, so I think it'll be a good run here today. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to do something with the, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to shuffle that, that, that finish line camera off in just a second as soon as, uh, as soon as my wife gets back and I'll get that a little closer so you guys, I'm trying to show it so you guys can see that hump past that finish line. I think that, uh, I think that, uh, I think this throughout this day, they might have a little bit of a problem with that little hump over there, but uh, let's talk about what's coming right now. I'm not sure why what Kef Tetha is up You're here. Ready. Watch your lights. Woo! That right lane just took, knocked it out of the park. Right but lane I, will take the win. I got to figure out why Kef Tetha was up here, though. Hold, please. <laughs> As Jesse Kinder says, hold, please. Um, let's talk about who's coming up next. It should be... Um, up next, you got Brian Gill in the left lane. Brian Gill and Jay Joseph. I'm not sure what, what why those two boys just came up there, but hang tight. Well, I know why. <laughs> they don't have him in his Kef Tetha. <laughs> his real name must be John Elves. I did not know that. See, I learned something new every day. Let's talk about who's coming up right now. His name is first name's Jay, last name Joseph. You know who he is. He's going to be coming out of that right lane, waiting on Brian Gill. Little Gill and Big Gill coming all the way out of Louisville, Kentucky. Here they come. And then on deck of your race number, uh, number eight of your round one, it's going to be Jason Lowry. He's also out of, uh, out of Australia. He's going against Glenn Cabrera here in Hawaii. And your race number nine is going to be Silas Garcia against Haram Charisma Jr. All right, here they come. Brian Gill's coming out of that left lane with Jay Joseph in that right. Hawaii right, Kentucky left. <clears throat> I 
All right, here they go. Let's see what. Let's, so Brian come over a little while ago was chit chat with me, man. He's been struggling today, so we'll, we'll see if he was able to get his car dialed in. Same thing with Roger. I talked to Roger a little while ago, and you know, I was like, "Hey, Roger, how's your car looking? How's it going?" Great. Hang tight. Here we go. Oh, not sure what Gil did. Looks like red lit. Jay Joseph's going to move on. Uh, uh, Roger was telling me, he's like, you know, Billy, I, I, what's crazy about this road here is we have this exact same type of road in Kentucky. And uh, the tune that he used to use for this road, he actually, he, he took it out of the car and he was looking for that tune to put it back in here. I, I, I caught up with him a little bit later in the, uh, in the day and said, hey, man, did you find the tune? How did it go? He said, got it. I'm back. We're good. We'll see if Roger Gill out of Kentucky has a good run here. Here, but let's talk about who's coming up right next. We got Jason Lowry out of Australia coming out of that left lane, going against Glenn Cabrera out of that right. And then on deck is JFab going against Haram Charisma Jr. And then your race number 10 of your round one is Roger Gill going against Russell Nelson. Here they come. JFab's hooking out of that left lane. I'm sorry, Jason Lowry is going to be coming out of that. Uh, uh, I don't think. Uh, I'm not. Jason Lowry is. No Jason Lowry is a no-show, so that means Mr. Cabrera Glenn is going to send it. Let's see what he does. There he goes. A little conservative. I'm telling you guys, I've got that camera on that on the on the uh, past that finish line. You got to watch those cars. I'm telling you, you're going to see some problems later on. These cars get a little faster. We'll see what happens. Uh, coming up next, here they come. It's JFab Garcia coming out that left lane. He's going against Haram Charisma Jr. And then on deck of your race uh, number ten of your round one, it's Mr. Roger Gill against Russell Nelson. And then uh, your race number eleven of your round one, it's going to be here she comes, Skittles and Casey Evan Stiver. Here we go. Ooh, right lane got him. That's going to be Haram Charisma Jr. Right lane. will take the win. He's going to take out JFab. Coming up next of your race number 10 is, uh, my apologies, is going to be, uh, yes, race number 10. It's going to be Roger Gill and Russell Nelson. Gill left, Nelson right. Now, Nelson's also out of Australia. You have three guys here out of Australia. You got Mr. Nelson, you got Kef Tetha, and you got Jason Lowry. Those are the three guys that came all the way out of uh, out of Australia. I'm not sure what happened with Jason. I'm not really sure why he didn't run. I saw him earlier. He was actually leaving, and I said, hey, bro, what's up? And he goes, I'll see you later. I'm like, okay, see ya. Anyway, uh, let's talk about what's coming up right now. Roger Gill and Russell Nelson. You got Kentucky against Australia. You think there's a little bit of a language barrier there? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, dude. I, I, so I, I got to meet uh, I got to meet Russell on Thursday night, man. Great guy, man. You know he's only been racing in the uh, in the Outlaw in Australia for I think they said under a year or, or even under six months. But uh, got to hang out with him uh, on Thursday night. You know, it's, it, it, that, that's what makes what I do cool, man, is, is meeting the people and meeting the different people that come all across the world to do this stuff. Over there. Can you guys please back up? Because if one of these cars gets airborne, you guys are going to be in big trouble down there. Trying to do some safety here. Got the, uh, you know, the, the, only, the only problem with this track. Everything's awesome. It's just about three quarters. Actually, at the very end of the track on your left side, there's actually some holes in the gates. You can see them, and people are standing there. So he's trying to get people out of the way so they don't, uh, so they don't, uh, they don't get hurt. But here they come. Uh, Roger Gill, where are you, sir? Roger Gill calling Roger Gill. Is that him in tech? Oh, I don't think Roger's going to make... Oh, he's not. Not sure what happened, guys. Oh. Well, it don't matter because he's going to move on. Russell Nelson out of Australia is going to move on. Uh, coming up next, your race number 11 of your round one is Shelby Tabios. She's going to be coming out of that left lane going against Brad Uriah out of that right. And on deck of your race number 13 of round one, it's Taylor Holcomb going against Sam Solario. Sam Solario is your race winner out of Oregon last year. Sam took one and two, I believe. Speaking of Taylor Holcomb, this this body that's getting ready to be set down at the line right here, uh, he actually painted this thing. Look how beautiful this car is when he sets it down. Yeah, man, I'm gonna when you set that down, I'm gonna show everybody when he when he sets that car down. I know it's kind of hard to see, but but that paint job is done by Taylor Holcomb, and what a great job that he did. It's got some flames going on. It looks really good. 
PTW is back. <clears throat> right now, we're waiting on uh, Shelby Tabios. Shelby Tabios calling Shelby. You know what's cool, man, is I was actually able to hang out with Shelby on Thursday night. I had such a good time with, with Henry and Shelby, man. What a just awesome, man. It's it's I haven't seen her out on the out on the road for a while for a little bit. So it's really good to see them, man. It's awesome. Um right now we are on uh you know, help! Oh, here she comes. Here comes Shelby. She is going through tech as we speak. Your tech is on the left side of your cameras. As they come through, you'll see them. And then uh, she's going against KB Ebensteiner, Casey Ebensteiner. I'm sorry. And then on deck of your race number uh, 12 of your round one, it's going to be Henry Tabios against Brad Uriah. And then um, race 13 of your round one is Taylor Holcomb against Sam Solario. Here they come. Here comes Shelby. Shelby's on that left lane. I don't know if you guys can, can see that paint job, man, but wow, it really is nice. I know it's hard to see just because it's if you got a big 85-inch TV hanging on the wall, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> Here she goes. Shelby Tobias in the left lane against Casey Ebensteiner right. Whoa! You know what? Mm. I think. Hold on. I think Shelby's going to move on. I think our race directors are making the decision right now. And uh, we'll be waiting on Henry Tabios and Brad Uriah. Then right after that of your race 13 of your round one is Taylor Holcomb and Sam. So Casey will be moving on. Sorry, Casey's going to be moving on. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, so Casey's going to move on. Yeah, that's fine. Casey's going to move on on that one. So here they come. Henry Tabios is, whoo, that wind just picked up about 30 mile an hour, man. Wow. Uh, Henry Tabios is coming on your left side, coming through the gates, waiting on Brad Uriah. And then on deck of your race, 13 of round one is going to be, uh, here's Brad as we speak, is going to be Taylor Holcomb and Sam Solario out of, um, That'll be your race 13. Race 14 is going to be, this should be a good race. You got uh, a, uh, Eli Sardon against DJ Mendiola. Let's watch this right now. Henry Tabios in the left and Brad Uriah right. Oh, whew. great save by Henry. I thought he was going to lose it about three quarter track, but he's able to save it and he's going to bring home the win, I believe. Let's take a look. Henry will move on. Henry's going to move on on that one. Double red. That is worse. <laughs> Double red, but Henry got it. <laughs> uh, coming up next of your race 13 of your round one is Taylor Holcomb in your left lane and Sam Solario in your right. And then on deck of race 14 of your round one is Eli Sardone going against uh, DJ Mendiola. Mark Gonzalez, Titus Garcia, and Keala Figueroa detect. All right. If you're just, if you are just hopping on board with us, we're live from Hawaii. This is your 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals, sponsored by R1, and uh, we are already cruising. We're already on race number 13. Holcomb left, Solario right. There they go. Oh, Sam hit the wall. Mm. Taylor will move on. Yeah, dang it. Sam hit the wall about. Yes. Sam hit the wall about half track, unfortunately, man. So that means uh, that means Taylor's going to move on. Coming up next of your race 14 of your round one, here he comes, Eli Sodon and DJ Mendiola. And then on deck of your race 15 of round one is Jason Keela going against Alan Torakawa, a.k.a. the Dark Horse. Should be a good race right here, man. Mendiola, right, Sodon, left. Both are on Team Supa, as you can tell by the group by the green shirts. <laughs> Watch your lights. There they go. Oh, I think Sam crossed, but hold on. Stand by, guys. Make sure that. All right, I believe Eli crossed first. Okay. Will take the win. DJ's going to take the win. Eli cross first. Okay. Here we go. Coming up next is Jason, 
Jason Keela. He'll be coming out of that left lane with Alan Torakawa out of that right. And then on deck, he's all the way from Arizona, man. Actually, you got Arizona and California. You got David Loxton from Five Star Hobbies and um, uh, Mark Gonzalez, um, Team GF. Uh, I don't know what you not know, <laughs> Sorry, TSG. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did he? TSG Carbon Works, my buddy Tommy. Um, we'll go over your sponsors in just a little bit, but let's talk about what's coming out of that left lane. Man, you got Jason Keela coming out of that uh, red monster, and then uh, Alan Torakaba coming out super speed. There they go. Alan's going to hold up. This is going to be a good race, but I'm going to see who's going to take that. I think your left lane. Yeah, we'll take the win. Yeah, JK, that's Jason Keela, is going to take the win. Alan Torokawa, man, he was on the pedal till about three-quarters track. He let off, and Jason uh, uh, Jason got him. So coming up next is going to be David Loxton in that left lane going against Mark Gonzalez in that right. And then on deck is Titus Garcia against Keela Figueroa. And that is your uh, race 17. Um... <laughs> Up next, we got David Logston and Mark Gonzalez. Okay, here he comes. David Logston coming out of that left lane and Mark Gonzalez out of that right. Five Star Hobbies and TSG Carbon Works. Shane Renault, Justin Decoy, John Myers. And then on deck for you Titus Garcia fans. He's going Robert against Kila Figueroa. Matthew Ching and Supa. If you guys are just joining us, we are in Hawaii. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Gonzalez right, Loxton left, and on deck is Garcia and Figueroa. And then your race 18 of round one on deck is Shane Reno and Justin Bacoy. Ooh, Loxton got him. I tell you, that bump at the end of the track is really interesting. Okay, All right, so David, will take the win. David Garcia is going to move on with that one. Mark Gonzalez is going to be out. Shane Reno and Justin Bacoy are coming up next of your race number 18. Up next, you got Titus and Keala. Yes, your race number 18 of round one is Shane Reno against Justin Bacoy. Reno left, Bacoy right. And then John Myers and Grandy K. I cannot say his last name. I apologize. We're just going to go with K. <laughs> We're going to go GK for Grandy K. Titus Garcia left. Keela Figueroa right. Keela's coming out of that super speed lane. And Mr. Titus Garcia is coming out of that red monster lane. Your title sponsor here is R1. We'll go through all of the sponsors here in just a minute. If you want to know who they are, they're at the bottom of your screen, man. Here we go. Here they go. Ta Titus got her. Titus will take the win. Yep, Titus is going to move on. Coming up next of your race number 18 of your round one is Reno. Last name, first name, Shane. He's going to be in that left lane, and Justin Bacoy will be going up against Mr. Reno. And then your race 19 of your round one is John Myers against Grandy K. I'm going to call him GK because I cannot say his last name. And then Chris Buchanan, all the way out of Missouri, is going against Dennis Figueroa. What? Uh, yeah. And uh, then Maderos and Ralph Burris. I told you guys a story about Ralph Burris, man. <laughs> Ralph took him 20 hours to get here. <laughs> he drove seven hours to Dallas, Texas, and then flew here, man. You know what I told Ralph? I said, Ralph, dude, the next time that you're going anywhere, brother, hit me up. I go, my wife works for the airlines. We probably could have got you here in 10 hours. <laughs> All right, let's see who's coming up next. Waiting now, we got Shane Reno and Justin Bacoy of your race 18. I'm going to run down there and fix that camera real quick. I'm going to switch mics on you guys and uh, do a little walk through here. I'm going to switch that over. Yeah. Take a, take a look at that as I go. All right, once again, Shane and Justin. I need John Myers. Dude. Chris Buchanan, Dennis Figueroa, Robert Maderis, Ralph Burris, Matthew King, Cooper, Dustin, Randy Silva, Scott.
All right, here they come. Shane Reno's coming out of that left lane. Let me get back down to the to my tent here for a second, guys. All right. And Justin McCoy. McCoy's coming out of that right lane, and uh, Reno is coming out of that left lane. And then on deck of your race 19 of round one is John Myers and Grandy K. Here they go. Reno is your winner out of New Mexico last year. Not sure what happened. Justin in the right lane. Justin McCoy is going to move on. Shane's out. Uh, coming up next of your race 19 of round one is John, jo John Myers. <laughs> I was saying his name and the brackets changed. John Myers, he's coming out of that left lane and Grandy K out of that right. And then on deck of your uh, race one round 20 is Chris Buchanan against Dennis Figueroa and then Robert Medeiros, Ralph Burris. And then your last race of this round is going to be Matthew Ching and Super Aaron. No, well, no, I'm, he's not announcing ET. So guys, I'm going to let these rounds get down. Let, 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 let's cut this, let's cut these line, this, uh, these brackets in half. And then what I'll start doing is I'll walk around in the backside of him and give you your ETs. Okay. I don't have, he doesn't have, he doesn't even have a printer here so I can show you guys. I apologize, but, uh, um, I'll get them for you here, but, uh, well, let's get through this first round. Let's, let's take the, the, let's take the field and cut it in half and then we'll get you what you need. I don't either, Eric. <laughs> All right, here we go. Myers left, Grandy K right. I'm going to ask him how to say his last name, though. This is ready. Kaiku, Kaiku Highway? <laughs> I can't do it. There they go. That's a good race. Woo, I can't call that one. Airborne. Woo, left side went airborne. That was a good race. All right, John will take the win in the left lane. John's going to take that win. John Myers is going to take that one. Coming up next to race 21 of your round one is Robert Medeiros, and he's going against Mr. Ralph Burris. And then Matthew Ching against Super, Super, Super Aaron. And your last race of round one is going to be De Dustin Costa and uh, R. Silva. <laughs> yeah. It's like 20, 30 mile an hour winds here today. And you know what? Um, I was going to go uh, walk through the sponsors really quick. Give me just a second. We'll walk through the sponsors between round one and round two to let you know who is going on. So stand by. Buchanan left. Figueroa right. And on deck is Maderos and Burris. And then that'll push us off into the last race of, nope, almost the last race of round one. 92 in the field. Mr. Chris Buchanan, all the way out of Missouri. See how they do. Here they go. Mm, I think Chris got him. Yep. Yeah, that's a good race. Left lane will take the win. So left lane, Chris Buchanan's going to take that win. Um, takes the win over Dennis Figueroa. Uh, coming up next, here he comes. I've got a new name for Robert Medeiros in the sand. I call him El Diablo. El Diablo is, is Robert Medeiros' new name in the sand. When I see him at the next sand race, it's El Diablo. <laughs> I messaged him the other day. I said, hey, Robert, I've got to name you. And he goes, what do you mean? I said, I name people. Your new name? El Diablo. <laughs> Here he comes, Medeiros and Burris. Burris out of New Mexico. And then on deck of your race number 22 of your round one is Matthew Ching. He's going head-to-head -head against Super, Super Aaron and SuperSpeedRC.com, one of the hottest chassis on the market. Go check them out, man. I was walking through the pits earlier. They actually took some Super Speed chassis and candy uh, painted them candy red and candy purple and they looked absolutely amazing right now here they come of your left lane it's Robert El Diablo Maderos going against Mr. Ralph Burris and then Ching and Super Aaron are on deck and then your last race of round one is going to be Dustin Costa and R. Silva there they go ooh Maderos almost uh oh <laughs> But, but what was that movie when they hit the when they hit the the, the the baseball and it just kept going and going and going? Well, that was Robert's car. <laughs> it just kept going and going and going. I couldn't see it. Maderos moves on. Coming up next of your race twenty-two of your round one, his name is Matthew Ching, and he's going to go up against Super Aaron. 
that's going to be. And then your last race of round one is Dustin Costa going against R. Silva. That looks good. Okay. We're moving, yeah. moving along pretty good here, guys. So here they come, Ching and Supa. Ching left, Aaron right. And then on deck of your last race of, of uh, your last race of your round one of your 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. It's going to be Dustin Costa and R. Silva. And then we're going to push us right off into uh, round one, bracket B. Shoot us into bracket B. Yes, that was bracket A. This is bracket B. There they go. I don't know, but I think super. Ooh, I think left lane got him. Left lane, left lane got him. That's Matthew Ching. Matthew Ching's going to move on. And then your last race of round one is coming up right now. His name is Dustin Costa. He's going against Mr. R. Silva. And that's going to end this round. Push us off into, I'm sorry, that'll end this bracket A. It'll push us off into bracket B. Your round one. Your very first race of bracket B. Scott Masuda, he'll have the bye. And uh, Casey Ebensteiner going against Tatum Batista. And John Myers against Roger Gill. That's going to be race number three of round one of bracket B. Hey. All right, up next, you got Dustin Costa and Randy Silva. Here they come. Costa, left, Silva, right. Costa's coming out of that red monster uh, lane, and uh, Silva's coming out of that uh, super, super speed lane. You know what? Um, nope. I was going to uh, run down your sponsors, but stand by. Let's, uh, let's finish this out real quick, man. Here they come. I don't see Masuda... Uh, I don't see Scott ready for uh, the next race. So that'll give me a chance to uh, break it down for you guys. So here they go. Costa, left, Silva, right. I'm doing the best I can to keep this wind away from the mics, guys. If you hear the wind, it's not, it's just, you got 20, 30 mile an hour gust. Here they come. Mm, that left lane looks like he's going to take that. Unfortunately, it looks like the right hit. <laughs> um, okay, that's going to end that round. Let's do this. Let's run over and break down your sponsors really, really quick. Like I said, if you want to know who your sponsors are for today, just shoot down to the bottom of your left, your uh, your screen. Okay, that's going to finish your A bracket. Push us off into B bracket. R1 Works is your title sponsor here at the 2024 NPR, uh, South Pacific NPRC Nationals. Super Speed is your uh, left lane sponsor, which they got it backwards, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> and the Red Monster is going to be your right lane. And then Sure Can, and then you got Racer RC. RacerRC.shop. If you guys want to go check out uh, Dan Bricotti's uh, website, Get Stuck, 808 Fuel Accelerate RC is one of our sponsors going uh, as, uh, as well as Voodoo. And then you got Shark Bodies, TH Designs, Live Action, Tony Tan, happy birthday, my friend. RC Speed Secrets is in the house and Straight Line Spoilers. Don't forget about Mark from Drag Works, RC, JM Portable, MacTown Audio, Monster Energy. Are you kidding me? McClan, Macklin, and Rockwell RC. What's your name? Rich? I'm looking to my left, and Rich is having an amazing dinner. <laughs> All right, and then that's going to push us off into round one, bracket B. Let's break down a few races for you really quick. And then I'm going to grab me a water. Yeah, I'm going to have me a water in just a second. So let's talk about the first four races of your bracket B of round one. Scott Masuda is going to have the bye. Uh, Casey Ebensteiner and Tatum Batista are going to go head to head. John Myers and Roger Gill in your fourth race of your bracket B of your round one is Kila Figueroa against Russell Nelson. Russell's all the way out of Australia, mate. <laughs> I love the way they talk, actually. We're going to be heading off into Australia one of these days. I know PTW. Let me have a drink of water. I know PTW wants to fly over there. Is it cold? No, I want to cold. Put this in there to get it cold. If you guys are just joining us, thank you guys. I know we're not on NPRC TV no more, and unfortunately, I apologize, but there's nothing we could do about it but just kind of finish, it, finish out the year. This is the best way we can do it, man. 
And that's the only way to do it. But let's, uh, while I have a couple minutes, uh, don't forget about the big races right, coming up this so year. Bracket. We have Kevin Inouye with a bye. Um, <clears throat> and then take a drink of water. Uh, let's talk about the uh, the races coming up in the next six months, man. Uh, let's go with it. Three weeks away. Are you kidding me? 2024 RCDRLs. Uh, Gator Nationals presented by Futaba USA and Michael Mercadell are at it again. We're flying back down to the Gators, and if it if everything works out, my buddy Foster is going to be joining us, man. We'll know a little bit more in a couple weeks, man. He talked to him yesterday, and he's like, Billy, I'm coming to the Gators. I said, brother, get your ass over there. <laughs> he's, uh, when him and I are on the mics, man, it's just, I love it, dude. He's awesome. Um uh, the Gators, man, join us down there. If you guys are, are up for some fast racing, it's a fully prep track. Of course it is. RC, DRL, that's all they run. Um, fully prep track. I believe there's between eight and ten classes. I was supposed to get Merck on the mics last week, but I am in the middle of moving my house, and I'm, I've got two weeks to get out. I literally have, when I leave to the Gators, I got to be out of my house. So if I get chance this week, we'll get Mercadel on the mic so he can talk about those Gators and talk about those uh, brackets and talk about those, uh, those kids and talk about the, the, the different classes because they've got a, they've got a lot of classes down there for sure, man. Uh, I mean, for sure. Um, so anyway, that'll do, uh, so that'll be the, um, what? No, I'm good. I'm not even hungry. We're good. So, um, and then from there, um, that's going to take us off into, let's see, this is April, May, and then June. June, June, June. The last weekend of June, mark it on your calendar, because here's why. It's called the Summer Slam and the 419, and Erica El Presidente Del Grazo is at it again. We are flying. We are not flying. We are driving to Ohio, taking the new trailer out there. We'll be calling that race with the new trailer. I can't wait, man. I was able to do that with my trailer at the at, at the um, at the sand drags, and it was actually pretty cool, man. We'll be flying, not flying. Keep saying flying, going off into Ohio for one of the biggest, if not the biggest, race of the year. She's at 155 entries uh, two weeks ago. I haven't talked to her. She's been crazy busy with work, and I've been crazy busy moving. Uh, so uh, once we uh, I chit chat with her this week, man, we'll kind of start breaking it down for you. So that's the Summer Slam. It's going to be crazy, wild, and crazy. And then from Summer Slam, we're back to Puerto Rico, man. Join me, just me. <laughs> I think David Loxton might be going. I think Giovi's going. I think, but listen, I'm just going to go live stream. Saul from Umacao Arena invited me to go live stream his first year anniversary at Umacao Arena. So we're gonna fly over there and uh, and hang out back in Puerto Rico, man. I was just off in Puerto Rico about uh, well in January, I believe January or February. We were over there, had a really good time, man. I mean, I had a great time. Here we go. Let's see what we're gonna do here. All right, Kevin, we'll move on with no time. I thought they were going to do the uh, the outlaw bracket beat, but they're doing they're doing the uh, they're doing bracket right now. That was Kevin. Kevin's going to he had the bye. Coming up next is Gerard Garcia. He'll be in that left lane against Tatum Batista in the right, and then Sean Batista and Dean Thomas, and then Supa Aaron Kalani Holbrum. Shane Reno, Scott Masuda, Grandy right, K, so and Gerard Justin Bacoy is going to do your bracket class. Okay, back into Puerto Rico, man. J you know, uh, after the race in uh, in Matus Ranch, Saul reached out to me and said, "Billy, I've got this one year uh, one year anniversary of my track, man. Would you come into back to Puerto Rico and do it again?" And I'm like, "Hell yeah!" And just so everybody's clear, I already have another track in Puerto Rico that wants me to come back to do their race. So it's getting crazy in Puerto Rico, by the way. <laughs> um, let's see. Right now, we have Gerard Garcia. He's coming out left lane. We are doing our bracket here at the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. 
um, presented by R1. And Gerard Garcia is coming out of that red monster lane. And then Mr. Batista is coming out of that super speed lane. Boy, look at that car. That actually, that's a good looking paint job, man. <laughs> You know, Tatum Batista, he's the king of the bracket. Let's see what he does. Here he goes. Ooh, oh! Right lane will take the win. Tatum Batista's going to move on. Coming up next. Yeah, who painted that car? It's pretty cool. Oh, it is? 289.4 from Tatum. Uh, coming up next of your race number three of your round one of your bracket class, it's Sean Batista going against Dean Thomas. And then on deck of your race number four, Super Super Aaron is running bracket today, man. That's super cool. So is Shane Reno and Scott Masuda, and all those guys are running some bracket today, man. That's actually pretty cool. So here comes Sean Batista. He'll be coming out of that left lane, and Dean Thomas out of that right. Back to Puerto Rico. Anyway, uh, if you guys want to, if you want to race in the sand, man, it's going to be wild and crazy. Actually, I think Robert Medeiros might be going too. I don't know yet. Anyway, and then my last race of the year will be off into New Mexico, man. My buddy Alex Morales. The I'm going to call. You know, we're going to get. We're going to. We're going to nickname Alex Morales. Alex Energy Morales. He's got more energy than I do. <laughs> Alex Morales is doing the Cave Town Meltdown number three, three years in a row. And he's had a great, great race every year. This year, we're going to be doing it towards the end of September. Last year was at the beginning, and it was very, very hot. It was actually too hot. So uh, we're going to, he's, he's trying to get it to where it's going to be a little cooler. And uh, that'll be the end of September. And then that's going to finish out my year, man. I, I That's it. That's all she wrote. Um, I might, I'm, I got one more sand drag race I'm working on in Tennessee. But until I know a little bit more here in the next month or so, that'll be it. But right now, let's talk about what we're doing. It's Sean Batista in that left lane going against Dean Thomas in the right lane. And on deck is Super Aaron and Kalani Holbrook here at the 2024 South Pacific Nationals. Presented by R1 and your left and your right lane is Red Monster and Super, Super, Super SuperSuperSpeedRC.com. If you guys want to follow along, it's really easy, man. Just go over to RCDragRaces.com. You can follow along right there. Super easy, man. They made it easy. All right, here they go. Batista left. And Thomas right. Oh, what? Hey, if we had us a dance-off, that thing would have won. <laughs> Sean, if, when you come back and watch this, when, when Sean Batista comes back and watch this, Sean, sir, you have won the 2024 NPRC Dance Off Nationals. <laughs> that car just spun around like four times. <laughs> Pedro Cruz, what's up, dude? Chilling, man. Yeah. Um, let's see. Where are we? You know where we're at? We are at bracket racing. And here they come. You got Super Speed, Super Aaron uh, in the left lane, and Kalani Holdrum in the right. And then you've got Shane Reno and Scott Masuda on deck of your race number five, of your round one of your bracket. And then Grandy K, your race number six, of your round one. That's Justin Bacoy. And then that'll end that, and then it'll push us off into bracket B of your outlaw. Scott Masuda will be coming up on deck okay. after that. Now, if you want to follow along, ladies and gentlemen, to rcdragraces.com, go check it out. And you can follow along just like what I'm doing right now. Real easy, man. If you're just joining us, we're running bracket as we speak. Bracket's almost over. Push us off into bracket B of your round one of your outlaw. 92 entries was your number. I don't know anything else other than that. I always like to go about half halfway through the race, and then we'll get some numbers for you. And then, like I said, I'm going to start walking around a little bit more after this, and then we'll get you some ETs and some miles per hour, as long as uh, Scott's okay with me breathing down his neck, staring at that computer. Then I'll get it for you. I have no problem. But here they come. Super Aaron left, and Kalani Halbram right.
Right lane will take the Right race. lane's going to move on. I'm not sure what happened with Supa. This is Supa's home turf. <laughs> He's been struggling, man. NPOC, what? Uh, I haven't even looked at comments over there. Ran it may have been hacked, but don't give up, Billy. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm not giving up on nothing, brother. You know what we're going to do, man? Uh, we're going to shoot off into the sand for a little while, man. 2025 is going to be pretty much all sand and RCDRL for me, man. I'm going to help Michael Mercadell build his program back to what it used to be. Him and I have been working together on a lot of different things. we got some pretty cool announcements coming up, me and Merck, the next few months. Stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. When I tell you he's one of the top, he's one of the top. He's been doing it for 13 years. He knows this stuff in and out like nobody else. He's pretty pretty good with this stuff. We're doing bracket. Huh? Raining it's raining. Oh, boy. Oh, that ain't good. Up next, you have Shane in the left lane. It's raining, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, good call. Okay, guys, bear with me, man. We're going to deal with a little rain here, so stand by. But here we go. This is your bracket. It's going to be. I lost my brackets. Hold, please. Where the heck did my brackets go? Shane's going to take that one, but I can't find my brackets. And there he is. It's Shane Reno and Scott Masuda. Shane goes 309-1. 3091 from Shane. Coming up next is going to be Grandy K and Justin McCoy of your race number six. If you're round one of your um, of your uh, of your brackets. We got a little rain coming in, guys. I'm trying to get try, that, that ain't. No, we're good. You OK? You're good. All right. Racers ready. Here we go. Grandy K against Justin Bacoy. There they go. Oh, I think we had a breakout on that one. <laughs> Double red. red. Computer saying right lane takes the win. <laughs> All right. That's it. Here comes Outlaw. Your round one bracket B is coming in hot. Scott Masuda is heading to tech, and that'll leave us with your race number two. We got that rain coming in, guys. Bear with me here. I am not sure what's going to happen here. Well, Justin will move on. I don't think I have anything in the so you ran a 310, and dude went one. Bear with me, guys. We're gonna we're gonna we're between our bracket and our ground uh, uh, bracket B of Outlaw, and I got rain coming in. So just hang tight. I'm gonna get move my stuff here. Remember what I was telling you. You know that rain's gonna come in, and it might just come in for a couple minutes and get on down out of here. But right now I've got to uh, see what we're gonna see what happens. You know, it, it, yeah, it's just a very light rain right now. Dude, you guys can run in five minutes. Hi, hi, Henry. <laughs> okay, let's rerun it because that's. Oh well, let me let me check the sensors. Bear with me, guys. I'm just listening to what uh, what's going on here at the at the at the light. What's up, Henry? Stu Mac. Yeah, I forgot about uh, uh, OKO. Oh. And we're going and we're we're looking to go up in a diehard uh, RC up in uh, Washington this year too. All right, right now the rain is steadily coming down, guys. It is coming down actually, pretty good. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Bear with us. We might go on another rain delay, but it's starting to come down pretty good right now. Excuse me, you need to go behind the fence. Two. 
right, we're going to take a short break. All right, guys. We're trying to get the uh, trying to get some things. Uh, <laughs> we're trying to get some things covered up because of the rain. It's it's actually coming down pretty good. Let's go grab that camera down there, would you? Just grab it and just bring it down here, please. Give me one second, guys. We're going to turn shut that camera off and bring it back down. Just grab the whole thing. Yep. We're going to take a break. And uh, I, I'll be honest with you guys, that rain's coming down. Uh, it, you can't see it, uh, but I can see it. It's coming down. Not real, real heavy, but it's just like a light rain coming down right now. So uh, bear with us here, and then we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if it's going to go away. Roger Gill, Keala Figueroa, Russell Nelson, Jerry Baxter, and Alden Uehara. Okay, there we go. Um, let me find out how long this break is going to be, guys. Give me one second, and then we'll take us as just a small break. Nothing major. We'll leave the cameras up. Uh, the rain is kind of stopped, man, so we'll see if the wind can, can dry it out really quick. Luckily, the wind is between 20, 30 mile an hour here, so hopefully it'll get dried out. And uh, let, me, let me find out really, really quick. Stand by. I'm going to walk up there. Actually, what am I doing? I can walk around with my mics. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me walk around here. Do me a favor, turn it up, make sure you can hear me. And I'm gonna walk over here just to make sure that, um, I'm gonna find out how long this break is. How long are you gonna take a break for? Oh, we gotta move our tent. And then um, maybe like five minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you're good, awesome. Okay, guys, he's only going to do a quick break, but I got to show everybody this. Turn it down. Turn it down. Let's show him this here, Wendy. Wendy's been dying for me to show everybody this. We got laid. Yeah, the, well, you got to be careful. Here, I'm going to put this on. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's, if you come to Hawaii, you have to make sure you get one of these. Let me go up into the front here. I don't want to get on. I don't want to stand on the prep though. So listen, I, you don't even know how, how long I drove around to get one of these things. These are absolutely cool. These are called lays, right? <laughs> so pretty cool, man. I, I, I don't wear these. I don't like to wear them, but I've seen them where the, where the girls wear them on the hats and they wear them on the, on the back. Got Skittles on today, man, representing Skittles today. I've had this shirt sitting in my, in my closet for a little while. And uh, when I knew I was coming out here, I uh, I told Henry I'm gonna I'm gonna represent with some uh, with some skittles. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. I, I'm not gonna take a camera with me, but we've only got a couple minutes break here, uh, guys, and then we'll go back to racing. That's the cool part about this. Shouldn't be that long. He said about five minutes and then we'll get going again. Um, if you guys are just joining the show though right now, uh, you know that you can tell that we are not live on NPRC TV anymore. It, uh, it's gone, unfortunately. Uh, we are right now just on a few different channels. Uh, in, uh, YouTube. Hey, let's put this down. That sun's coming in again. Or actually, we just pull the no, 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 no. Hold on, we just pull this back. Grab a hold. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, guys, we're on a small break right now, and then we'll pull this back up. A little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, and nothing we cannot handle, though. I think, huh?
All right, Outlaw B side. We're going to start at 2 o'clock. It is now 157. Outlaw B side is going to start at Nate 2 Scott o'clock. Suda, Casey Epsteiner, Tatum Bautista, John Myers, Roger Gill, Keala Figueroa, Russell Nelson, Jerry Baxter, and Alden Uehara to tech. You're gonna put that back up? Yeah. Okay, guys, you, you heard him three minutes. I think we put that back up now. Let me have this. Use that. Three minutes, guys, three minutes, and then we'll get back to, what did I do with my phone? It's over there. I'm gonna break down these, uh, the next brackets coming up right now for you guys. I'm actually gonna t turn this off and turn this on. It's easier when I use these mics. Uh, all right, guys, let's break this down for you. If you want to follow along, it's very easy. Just go to rcdragraces.com. <clears throat> and, um, and you can follow along. It's really easy. I mean, it's, it's, they made it easy. It's like Staples, man. <laughs> that was easy. Just hit the button. But we are getting ready to head off into, uh, where are we at? Round one. Bracket B here in Hawaii at the 2024 South Pacific NPRC National. Sorry, I'm trying to read this as I'm talking to you guys. Um, let's talk about it. Here we go. Your race number one of your round one of your bracket B. His name is Scott Masuda. He's coming out of that left lane, and he's going to have a bye. Casey Ebensteiner is going to go head-to-head -head with Mr. Tatum Batista. Ebensteiner left, Batista right. Race number three of your round one of your bracket B is going to be John Myers going against Roger Gill. Remember, Gill is all the way out of Kentucky. That'll push us off into race number four of your round one bracket B. Kila Figueroa going against Russell Nelson. Nelson out of Australia. Jerry Baxter is going to go against Alden Uriah. Alan Torwakawa, a.k.a. the Dark Horse, is going against Shelby Tabios, a.k.a. Skittles. Then John uh, Elves, which is going to be Kef Tetha out of Australia, is going against Chris Buchanan. Hits race number seven of your round one bracket B. And then Dennis Figueroa against Shane Reno. DJ Mendiola, a.k.a. Mr. Flipoff. That's his new name. <laughs> going against Jason Keela. And then Jerome Garcia going against Grandy K. Let's watch Scott Bautista run his bye. There he goes. Nice run on that right side by Scott. Let's go put this camera back up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Well, that thing was awful to get out of there. I was trying to pull a battery out. Hey, yay. All right, guys, let me get your other camera back up and running, and then we'll continue this, uh, this race here. Just bear with me. Okay, here we go. Race number two of your brown one bracket B is Casey Ebenstein in your left lane going against Tatum Batista. And then on deck is John Myers and Roger Gill. Here they go. Ooh, that's a good race. Left lane. Left lane's gonna take that home. That's Casey Ebensteiner. John Myers and Roger Gill. John will be in the left okay. lane. Roger oh. will be in the right lane. Hold on. Okay, here comes Roger Gill. He's going to be coming out of that right lane. Going against um, John Myers out of that left lane. I'm 
getting your other camera set up right now, guys. Change out a battery here, and then we'll continue this uh, continue this race. All right, guys, listen up. You guys got to get to tech. Yala Figueroa, Russell Nelson, Jerry Baxter, Alden Uehara. Almost there, guys. Bear with me here. We're still waiting on, uh, we're still waiting on uh, John Myers. So uh, listen, I got a couple minutes here. <laughs> All right, guys. We are just about ready to go back to race. We're waiting on John Myers to go through tech. Here he comes. He is hurrying too. He better because they're going to DQ him in just a second here. All right. So let's do this. I'm actually going to leave that up so I can watch that. Uh, that No, actually, no, I'm not. Okay. Good to go. All right, here we go. We're waiting on Mr. Myers, and then we're going to get back to racing here. Okay, yeah, that's cool. All right, guys, waiting on Roger Gill and John Myers. I'm not sure where John is. John is still, ah, here he comes. He's coming through tech right now. Here he comes. Yep, Myers left, Gill right, on deck of your race number two of your bracket B, round one, is Keila Figueroa and Russell Nelson. Nelson out of Australia, and then race number five, Jerry Baxter and Alden Uriah. Here they go. You got Myers in the left lane going against Gill in the right lane. Gill is all the way out of Kentucky. Racers ready. Watch it. There they go. Oh, I think Roger Pat crossed first, but hold on. Let me know, Bill. Where are you taking Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. As soon as I find out here, as soon as I hear what the uh, race director, Mr. Masuda. The right lane is right, right going to move on on that one, guys. That's going to be Roger Gill. Roger on. That's, uh, we call him Big Gill. Little Gill and Big Gill, man, out of Kentucky. You guys don't know who Roger is. You, you're crazy. Russell Nelson. Keala in the left lane, Russell in the right. All right, Bill. Come on, Shh. We're live right now. Come on, Bill. <laughs> Tatum, Batista, and Pops are yelling at me. That's Mark Gonzalez's dad. Here they come. You got Mr. Russell in that right lane and Keela in the left. Russell's out of Australia. Keela, I'm sure, is from here in Hawaii. Yeah, Keela Figueroa and, and Russell off, Nelson. Please. Stage went out again. Sorry. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I will. Okay, here she comes. This is this. Her name is Keila Figueroa going against Russell Nelson. And then on deck of your race number five of your round one of bracket B is going to be Jerry Baxter and Alden Uriah. And then uh, Alan Torakawa and Shelby Tabios are going to go head to head. See what happens. Russell Nelson on your right side is all the way out of Australia. There's three guys here from Australia. Here they go. Oh, nice run on that right side by Russell. That was a nice run on that right side by Russell. Um, let's see. Coming up next, uh, Jerry Baxter. He'll be coming in that left lane, and Alden Uriah is in this right lane. Uh, that's going to be your super speed lane, and Jerry's off in the uh, red monster lane. This race is sponsored by R1. R1 works. Figueroa. We're waiting right now. Right now, Mr. Alden is coming through tech. Over in tech, it is busy. You got Torakawa, Tabios, Elves, Buchanan, Figueroa, Reno, Mendiola, Aquila. They're all ready to go. 
flowing through tech. Right now we're waiting on Mr. Alden Uriah. He's going to go against Mr. Jerry Baxter. Man, I've been hanging out with Jerry all weekend, man. But Jerry is, is awesome. Yes. Yes, he is. Hang on just a second. Waiting on him to get here. All right, here they go. Jerry Baxter is going to be in that left lane, and Alan Yarara in the right lane. There they go. Man, that's a race. I think Jerry got him, though. Left lane will take the win. That was an incredible race. That was a good race on, that, on both sides, actually. Alan Torakawa and Shelby Tobias are coming to the line now. I'm trying to figure out why I can't get one of my batteries fixed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But here they come. Shelby Tobias is coming out of that right lane. And um, Alan Torakawa is coming out of that left lane. On deck of your race number seven of your bracket B of your round one is John Elves going against Chris Buchanan. Buchanan right, Elves left, and in race number eight is Figueroa and Reno. Here they come. Skittles right. The dark horse left in there. That's a race, but I think Shelby got him. She did. Yep. Shelby's going to move on. Nice run. Great race. Great race. Great race. This right here. <laughs> oh man, sometimes when Abel's not with me, it makes this very. Huh? I lose my mind when Abel's not here. Yeah, let's pick this up. When Abel's not here, man, it's not as easy as you guys think because I'm trying to get up. Just pull up. Pull up. There you go. When Abel's not here, I'm not kidding you guys. It's it's not as easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. If you guys ever get to Hawaii, they, they have something here called pickled mangoes, and uh, they're not easy to find. You got, but you, when you get, you gotta find them when you get here. Pickled mangoes coming up next. It's Kef Tetha in the left lane. He is going against Chris Buchanan in the right lane. Chris is coming through tech right now, coming through the gates. Here he comes. Chris is going to be uh, hooking out of that right lane, and and Kef out of that left, and then on deck of your race number eight of your bracket B of your round one is Den Dennis Figueroa going against Shane Reno. Reno is your winner of last last year's uh, Northwest Gambler, I believe it was called. Um, and then DJ Mendiola is going head to head against Jason Keela. Here we go. Buchanan right. That's another good race. I think Kef got him. It's a great race. I'm going to go up there and get you guys some times in just a second, man. I'm still trying to get some things fixed here at my at my uh, booth. And then uh, and then we'll uh, we'll go up there and get you some times and some ET. So stand by, guys. Up next, we have Dennis Figueroa. She's grown up, no. Kelly Ray. That's for sure, man. Skittles has grown up, man. <laughs> I was telling you guys earlier, uh, I, I, you know, I've been here since Thursday, so I've been kind of hanging out with uh, everybody that was here, you know, kind of, you know, you know, I haven't seen some of these guys or girls for a, for a minute, uh, especially uh, Skittles. She, uh, she used to come to the USA and come over there and whip you boys. Uh, but, uh, she's, you know what, she's into kickboxing now, man. That's, that's the, that, that's the thing with uh, what we call life. Sometimes life takes over and, uh, things change. So Skittles, AKA Shelby Tabios is, uh, 
Growing up, man. Growing up. You know, what's funny about her is uh, when, we, when we were over at Tokyo the other night, just to see her laugh, you know, and, 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 you know, I've known her for like three and a half years and just to see her, how big she's getting, it's been pretty cool. But here we go, man. We're getting ready to head off into, I believe, this is going to be race number eight. Dennis Figueroa and Shane Reynolds. Reynolds right, Figueroa left. On deck is Mendiola and Keela. There they go, man, run! Woo! Good run on that right side. Shane will take the win. The right Shane's side. got him. All right, coming up next, uh, here he comes, DJ Mendiola. D DJ flip every, everybody off Mendiola. <laughs> we got to give DJ a name. Here we go. He's going Hold against on. Jason Keela. Don't drop your cards. We have a problem with this. All right, and then uh, on deck of your race number eight of your bracket B of round one is Jerome Garcia going against Grandy K, and then race number 11 is Sam Solario going against R. Silva. I was wrong about Shane Reno earlier. He did not win uh, Oregon. That was actually Sam Solario. Shane won down in New Mexico. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, and then Jerome Garcia. Wait, on. okay. And then your race number 12 of your uh, round one bracket B is Mark Gonzalez going against Supa, Supa Aaron. There's a lot of wind here, guys. I'm work trying to keep the wind down to a minimum, but it is pretty hot and heavy right now with between 20 and 30 mile an hour gust. Huh? What? Gust. All right. This is ready. Watch your light. Oh, right line. Right side's going to get him. Not sure what happened with DJ. Right lane will take the win. Yep. Right lane's going to move on. Okay, coming up next, here they come. It's Jerome Garcia. He's going with uh, going against Grandy K. Grandy K up next, is in the right. Jerome is in the left. And then on deck of race number 11 of your bracket B of round one is Sam Solario and R. Silva. Gonzalez, Supa, Robert Madaris, Jason Lowry, Dustin Costa, Bozo, Jay Joseph, and Jay Fab. All to tech. All to tech. Masuda's got them all coming in hot, trying to get this thing going. We are 2.15 in the afternoon. You know, the downfall to being in Hawaii is the time difference. It's six hours all the way to the East Coast. So that means you guys are 8.15 at night. What is this, Saturday? Ah, we're, you guys are good for another six hours. <laughs> Bring out the wine and uh, let's have some fun. D <laughs> yeah, Derek. <laughs> Derek, that's it. It's DJ's new name. DJ Flip Everybody Off Mendiola. <laughs> Here we go. Jerome Garcia's in that left lane and Grandy K in that right. On deck of Solario and Silva. There they go. Right lane's going to move on on this one. That's going to be Grandy K. In the right lane. And then uh, Sam Solario and Mr. Silva are coming up next of race number 11 of your bracket B of your round one. And then on deck is Mark Gonzalez and Super Aaron of your race 12. Okay, we're going to take a short break. We've got to fix the track. Okay, got a little track problem. They're going to take a short break really quick, guys. We'll be back in just a second. I'm going to take a bite of a sandwich, so stand by. I'll leave the cameras rocking and rolling. You know, I haven't seen that, uh, Christopher. I haven't seen anybody use it, brother. Not one person, man. You know, I haven't been. I, I'm watching everything, but I have not seen anybody come off on the tape yet. Leo gets gets it. Leo, are you going to the Gators, man? I think you said yes, and then you said maybe, and then you said I don't know. Or Hey, Leo, are you ready for some pro mods down at the Gators, dude? Because they're ready for you. The Gators, three weeks away. It's the 2024 RCDRL Gators Nationals, presented by Futaba. My sandwich got wet. No, 
Nothing like a, a wet Subway sandwich. <laughs> All right, guys, here we're going. We're going straight back to race. It took a quick break, but we're back. Coming up right now on that left side is Sam Solario going against Mr. Silva. Silva uh, is coming out of that super speed lane and Mr. Solario out of that red monster lane on deck of your race number uh, 12 bracket B round one is Mark Gonzalez and Super Aaron. They're flowing through uh, tech now. Mm, left lane got him. Boy, that right lane hit that ramp. Flew in the air, upside down, landed on his uh, wheels and kept going. So great run on that both sides. Mark Gonzalez and Super Aaron are coming up next. Gonzalez left, Aaron right. And then on deck of your race, number 13 of your bracket B of round one is Robert Medeiros and Jason Lowry. Uh, you know what? He will not be joining us. Lowry is out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of looking through the, uh, I'm, I'm looking through, uh, I saw him. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys are following along, if you guys are following along, um, Mark Gonzalez and Super Aaron are coming to the to the to the line now, but if you're following along on rcdragraces.com, you know I, I haven't used the system in, in a like a long time. You can actually click on the driver's name. Let's click on Mark Gonzalez really quick. Click on him, and you can actually go back and see what he's done, see what he's done in races. But I don't think he's done a lot of races in RC drag races, so um, he doesn't have a lot of stats. If you go look at Robert Medeiros, click on Robert, you can actually look through some things that he's done in the past, see what races he's ran at. Nope. Um, so, yeah, man, you could uh, check that out. So, rcdragraces.com if you guys want to follow along. Left side is Mr. Gonzalez. Right side is Mr. Aaron. They are trying to fix these sensors right now. And then as soon as those are done, we'll get back to racing. And on deck of your race number 13 of bracket B of round one, Robert Medeiros, a.k.a. El Diablo. <laughs> Don't ask me why I've called him that. He's going to have a bye because Jason Lowry is actually out. He is gone. Mr. Lowry is out. I don't know why. I'll have to find out what happened. Ready. Here we go. Watch your life. Gonzalez and Aaron. There they go. Looks like your right lane's going to move on. That's Super Aaron. Super's going to move on on that one. All right, coming up next. Here they come. It's Robert Medeiros in that uh, left lane. He's going against Jason. No, he's not going against Jason Lowry. Sorry. And then uh, race 14 of your bracket B of your round one. It's Dustin Costa and Haram Charisma Jr. And then Jay Joseph and uh, Jay Joseph is going head to head with JFAB. That'll be a good race. All, both those guys are pitting pretty much at the same table. Uh, actually, Jay's behind him. So we'll see how it goes here. They're coming through. They're actually already through tech. They're going to be coming through the... Uh... <laughs> I think he meant me. <laughs> Medeiros is lined up on that left side. He's going to make that hit. Let's see if he sends it, man. I'm pretty sure he will, man. If I know Medeiros by now, he's going to send that car. There it is. I told you. Robert moves on to the next round. I'm going to go walk behind the line here and make sure that uh, it's okay if I uh, kind of spy. Up next, we got Dustin Costa and Bozo. If I can spy on some times here. You got times today or no? No times. Well, we're not announcing it. Can I? Yeah, I got to talk to Scott. Okay. Scott. Okay. No time. Okay. 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 Well, you heard the guy. He does not want me to do any times or ETs. I got to talk to Scott Masuda. I don't know why, but give me a minute and I'll go. I'll go get him. I'll find out exactly why, or I'll find out if I can tell you times. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I could walk over there and give them to you. So uh, give me a minute. I'll, I'll uh, talk to Scott and see what's up. Dustin Costa. That's a good race. And, and uh, Haram Charisma.
Left lane is going to move on. That's Mr. Dustin Costa. Coming up next is Jay Joseph going against JFAB. Joseph left. JFAB right. And then on deck of your race number 16 of your bracket B. Round one. It's Mr. Loxton going against Mr. Tabios. Loxton is all the way out of uh, Arizona. And Tabios is right here in Hawaii. But let's talk about what's in right in front of you. You got Jay Joseph coming out of that left lane. Lives right here in Hawaii with uh, the guy in your right lane. His name is JFAB. He's all the way from Dallas, Texas. Racers ready. Watch your lights. Here they go. Oh, that's a race. Oh, JFAB got him. JFAB got him. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, Jay Joseph's car about three quarters track, man. Hooked right, went across the track, hit the wall. Uh, you know, this wind here is a little bit of an issue, man. It's about between 20 and 30 mile an hour winds. All right, I need David Loxton. Here they come. David Loxton is going David against Loxton Henry Tabios. Loxton left, Tabios right. And on deck of your race number 17 of your round one bracket B, we're still in the Bs, boys, is Glenn Cabrera going against Taylor Holcomb. And then race 18 is Titus Garcia and Justin Bacoy. Whoa. And then... Um, and then um Can you pull the wire please on the top end that is we're almost at the end of b of round one ladies and gentlemen so that'll take us from 92 down to half of that And like I said, guys, I, I tried to get you some times and some ETs, but I was told no. So I got to talk to Scott and see, ask him if I can give you some times a little bit later, man. I, I, I apologize, but uh, let me see what I can do. Just bear with me, and I'll walk over there and talk to him in just a little bit and see what we can do. All right. Both speed sensors in the top end are out. Right now, we're waiting on David Loxton from Five Star Hobbies and Henry Tabios. Uh, they're actually uh, at Tech right now. I can see them over there. And then, um, already, <laughs> and then, um, and then Glenn Cabrera and Taylor Holcomb. Yeah, just kind of been watching both. Yeah. If you guys are just joining us, we are live in Hawaii. This is the 2024 uh, South Pacific NPRC Nationals. It's brought to you by R1. R1 works. Right now, we're waiting on Henry Tabios and Mr. David Loxton. Loxton is pulling up the tech as we speak. I'll break down these uh, sponsors for you really, really quick, man. We're going to do it fast. R1 works is your title. Super Speed and Red Monster is left and right. Sure can. Racer RC. Get stuck. 808 Fuel Accelerate RC. Voodoo. Shark. TH Designs, live action. Happy birthday, Tony. RC Speed Secrets. Ray. <laughs> I almost said <laughs> straight line spoilers. <laughs> I was looking at I was looking at uh, MacTown Audio and then Drag Works RC, Mr. Mark, JM Portable, MacTown Audio, Monster Energy, Macklin, McClan, however you want to say it. And Rockwell RC, those are your sponsors for today. We'll just bring it back down. Pull, pull my, 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 uh, this rain, guys, is off and on, off and on, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, save my equipment here. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's good. That'll work. Yeah, that's good. Only place where the sun's shining and I know, right? The rain's kind of like Arizona, man. If you guys are from the from Arizona, man, sometimes it's uh, it comes in to rain any for about five minutes and leave. Right now, we're waiting on Mr. David Loxton. Actually, no, we're not. He is sitting there. Henry Tabios is ready to go. We're trying to figure out what's going on with the speed sensors, and then we'll go back to racing. If you're just joining us, we are on race number 16 of your bracket B of your round one. We've already round uh, ran round. Uh, a bracket, and we've already ran our brackets. If you want to follow along, and if you want to go back and look. No, no. Um, if you want to follow along, it's really easy. And if you want to go back to see who won who or who beat who, uh, rcdragraces.com. Go check it out. They make it really easy to follow along. Here they come. David Loxton from Five Star Hobbies is coming out of that left lane. And Mr. Skittles, Skittles' dad, that's Henry Tabios. Man, this has been a long time. This has been a long time running. We've been uh, we've been talking about a Hawaii race for well ever since Henry's been, and I've been talking on those damn this damn live shows, man. It's been a minute, about three and a half years. Loxton and Tabios are going head to head right now. 
Man, that was a race. Who see who got it? Henry got him. Henry moves on. That's Henry Tabios. He's a local here in Hawaii. He lives on the east side of uh, what island is this? This is Oahu. Oahu. Thank you. Um, Glenn Cabrera and Taylor Holcomb are making their way through tech as we speak. And then on deck of your race number 18 of your bracket B, round one. It's Titus Garcia going against Justin Bacoy and then Matthew Ching and Clifford Valete are coming up soon. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right now, uh, Glenn Cabrera is coming out of that left lane and Taylor Holcomb out of that right. This is race number 17. Ready. Watch your light. There we go. Left lane's going to move on on that one for sure. That's going to be uh, Glenn Cabrera coming up next of your, of your race number 18. A bracket B of round one is going to be Titus Garcia going against Justin Bacoy. And then 19 is Matthew Ching and Clifford Valete. Valete. Uh, 20 is Brian Gill and Steve Slaney. 21 is Justin Tagiri and Jesse Kinder. And then 22 is, is it raining again? Yeah, yeah, just grab it. Okay. You got some rain coming in again. We're going to pull that other camera down for just a second, guys. Um, and then uh, Eli Sardone and Brad Ur Uriah. And then Ralph Burris and Sean Batista. We're almost down with race or round one here in just a minute. All right. We're going to take a short break for Mother Nature. We're taking a short break for Mother Nature. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We're on a rain delay. How about that? Rain delay. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to change out my thing here. So, so you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna leave the cameras up. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna change anything up. But I'm gonna take me a quick break, really quick, and uh, um, just grab me something to eat here, really quick. I'm gonna sit right here, but just hang tight here. Boom. I'm trying. It's <laughs> taking me a second to turn this on. Actually, we're not on a rain delay. <laughs> <He's just ready. laughs> he says rain delay. We go racing. Oh, man. Titus is going to move on. But I've got to tell you, that left, right car, man, that car hit that hit that ramp, that Justin McCoy's car, and went, went airborne for sure. All right. Coming up next is uh, Matthew. G yeah, no rain delay. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to continue to race, but we're still going to leave that camera down for just a second. Yeah, but I got to cover that one. I mean, it's not raining. The rain's really weird here. It comes, it comes and goes, comes and goes, comes and goes. What's up, Steve Larson? Whew. All right, we're still kind of, you know, the rain is here, rain is gone. Uh, but right now it's Matthew Ching and Clifford Valete. We're waiting on those two guys. They're almost here. And then we're uh, we're almost done with this uh, this round, guys. We're on uh, race number 20 of round one of bracket B is Brian Gill and Steve Slaney. And then uh, Justin uh, Tagire and Jesse Kinder is 21. Eli Sardone and Brad Yurara. 22 and Ralph Burris and Sean Batista is 23. Then we'll reset and uh, probably take about a 10, 15 minute break. And then that's what, that'll push us off into uh, round two of bracket A of your um, your outlaw and your bracket stuff. We'll um, but I will tell you this. The wind is crazy. 21 mile an hour winds right now coming out of the east with 38 mile an hour gust. It's 2.32 in the afternoon here. I know it's late everywhere else. 
8.30 on the East Coast, 5.30 on the West Coast. <laughs> Right now, we're on a little, a little, uh, I guess we do have a little rain delay going on right now. I thought we was racing. Did he go back to a rain delay? I don't know. Yeah, it's still raining. It's still raining. It is still raining. Yep. It and then it came back yeah. Let, you know what? Let us take a, just a 10 minute break. We're going to sit right here, guys, but we're going to just take a little rain, rain delay break for 10 minutes. Stand by. I'll leave the mics up. I'm going to eat something really fast and then we'll go back to racing, man. Stand by, guys. We are live here in, in uh, Hawaii. Got a little bit of rain going on here. So stand by, guys. All right, we're going to take a little break. Mother Nature is playing games with us. They're getting ready to do a raffle here really quick. I'll let you guys listen while we're on a real, little bit of a rain delay while I have lunch. You're just joining us. We do have a little bit of a rain delay. As soon as it gets done, we'll come back up and then we'll put that other camera up for you guys and get this thing going. Uh, this is your 2024, 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. Uh, it's sponsored by R1 and your left and your right lane are Red Monster and Super Speed. Super Aaron, SuperSpeedRC.com, Team Reckless. <laughs> All of the above. They're going to knock out the raffles here right now.
Hey guys, we're on a little bit of a rain delay right now. They're doing a raffle, and then we'll get back to uh, get back to going to race here in just a little bit, man. Just hang tight, guys. Number one. <laughs> Stu Mac, it's 10:30 a.m., bro. 10:30 <laughs> a.m. Nice. If you're just hopping on here, man. A little rain flew, came in. We got a lot of wind, but the rain, I can see the scattered. I mean, the the. You're looking around here, we got clouds all, we're socked in pretty much, so it might be like this all day. Uh, rain in and rain out, but right now we got about, I got us up for about another four minutes. I'm gonna finish grabbing something to eat here, man. Uh, just enjoy the raffle. Stand by, stand by. 156. 156. Hey, Stu Mack, is that in Sunday or Saturday? <laughs> I honestly think that the raffle is rigged. Pops has won three times in a row. <laughs> That's Mark Gonzalez's dad. <laughs> we call him Pops. <laughs> he's walking. He's got a. He's got both hands are full. <laughs> Sunday. It's Sunday. Yeah, Stu, man. That's. Uh, hey, Stu. Uh, did I did I see you say? That you're heading to Ohio at the beginning of June, bro. What are you doing so early? Are you, are you going to practice or what? <laughs> Talking to Stu Mack. He's out of Australia. Let's talk about Australia. We got the Australians here, man. Kef Tetha. You've got uh, Jason Lowry's here. I'm not sure what happened with Jason. He's not in the race. Um, I think he left, but I'm not sure. Um, I am not sure. Um, what happened with uh, with him? Um, and then, sorry, and then Russell Nelson is also out of Australia. So those three guys, man, thank you guys for making that trip. That's a hell of a trip, man. <laughs> oh, okay, Stu. Okay, man, cool, bro. Number one. Bro, we'd love to see you up there, man. Mommy Ohio is going to be off the charts, guys. If you're not even planning on coming to Mommy, man, I don't even know why. I really don't know why. If you're planning on going to a big race this year, you've got to put Mommy Ohio on your list. I mean, it, it, it's it's going to be crazy, crazy. If you've never been to Mommy, how many times is this? Five times that we've been there? Um, I think this will be our fourth. Fourth time? Fourth or fifth, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Miss Erica Dagrazo puts on a great race. Number one, one, two, one, one, nine. <laughs> one, two, zero. <laughs> Yay, Stu. No, man, my wife brought me Subway, but I'm going to go get me that. Stu goes, you're going to go get some of that. I showed everybody that. Oh, yeah. Hey, when I go over and get my desserts, to a stew, I'll take you with me. <laughs> Yesterday, we had the most amazing dessert. I had the most amazing dessert that I've ever in my life. Wendy agrees. It was from a place on the east side of the island. It was down towards Turtle Bay. I, I don't remember the name. It was something bus. Yeah, I didn't get I didn't even take a picture of the damn thing. But what I did do is I took a picture of what I ate. and It was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I told Wendy last night I would actually go back down there, but it, it takes you four, it takes you four hours round trip. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we're gonna start up again. Two forty-five. You got two minutes. So up next, you're going to have Matthew Ching and Clifford Valite, followed by Brian Gill, Steve Slaney, Justin Tagir, Jesse Kinder, Eli Surden, Brad Uehara, and Ralph Burris, and Sean Bautista. That will end the first round of B-Side. 
We will then take a 15 minute break. All right, guys. Lunch is over. Race time. Here we go. We're just about getting ready to go start. About three minutes, and then we'll get going. If you want to follow along, it's super easy, man. RCDragRaces.com. Go hit it up. You can follow along with me. If you have one of your friends, one of your loved ones, one of your children, one of your grandmas, grandpas, uncles, cousins, brothers here racing, it's super easy. You just go to rcdragraces.com. You can go back and see who won who, who beat who. But let's talk about who's coming up right now. Matthew Ching left. Clifford Valate. Valate right on deck of your race 20 bracket B of round one still. We're still in round one of 92 racer or 92 entries is Brian Gill and Steve Slaney. Um, and then your uh, race 21 bracket B round one is Justin Takiri, uh, Jesse Kinder, and then Eli Serdone against Brad Uriah. And Ralph Burris is going to go against Sean Batista. That's your last race of this round. And here we go. Ching and Valite. There they go. Oh, man, that's going to be a tough call on those race directors. But I think that left side is going to move on. Yeah. Cliff will take the win. Rain has stopped. Cliff is going to move on. Um, rain stop. We're going to move that camera for you guys. Yep. You want me to do it? And then uh, we'll get going here again, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, I know there's not a, you know, I know it's not on NPRC TV no more, man. We lost a lot of people. A lot of people don't even know we're live right now. I actually had to go live with Wendy's login, man. I am 100% uh, locked out of all my accounts. I've been, uh, I've been reported by people too many times, man. So unfortunately, it is what it is. Come on up in the tech, guys. All right. Tech is empty. Where are these boys at? They need to get their butts up there. Right now, we got Brian Gill coming out of Kentucky in that left lane. He's going to get Steve Slaney. He's coming out of Nor uh, Central California. And then Tustin. Uh, <clears throat> and then Justin uh, Tagir against Jesse Kinder. Jesse Kinder came all the way out of Montana. And then Eli Serdone, Brad Yarara. And Ralph Burris and Sean Batista is going to end round one. We'll take a 15-minute break after that. And after that 15-minute break is over, that'll push us off into uh, round two. I think what I'll do is during that break, I might take another 10 minutes just to kind of get some things dialed in, fix a couple things. And uh, then we'll get back to going again. That 15 minutes is going to go by pretty quick, man. This field is going to be cut in half in four races. Gill left, Slaney right. On deck is Tagir and Kinder. Got a fist bump going on. Brian, I uh, told you guys, Brian Gill is all the way out of Kentucky. That's where I was born. Kentucky. He is uh, out of Louisville. <clears throat> Team GFRP, Mr. Slaney. Got that monster energy body. There they go. Slaney. Oh, man, Slaney got it, but that car went flying in the air at the very end. If you didn't see that. Right you didn't see it. I didn't have the camera up. Sorry. But listen, uh, Slaney hit that. I know, right? <laughs> Cam Abel, where are you? <laughs> you know, when I was down in uh, Yuma running this, uh, doing that race down there, and Abel was running the cameras, you know how nice it is to walk around? No, we're good. Uh, I'm going to do that same thing. Wendy's back, and w once this little break comes, then I'll take a little walk. And you just, just make sure. All you got to do is make sure. That's that's all. And then I'll take a little walk through with the cameraman, show you guys uh, show you guys the pits again, to show you what's going on. <clears throat> you know, now that the guys have got a, a, a round under their belts, we'll kind of go back through and see how people feel. Again, if you're looking for miles per hour ETs, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I have been told that I cannot announce them. Um, and that's all I got on that. It, I, I apologize, but unfortunately, uh, ain't going to have Russell from down under for the win. <laughs> Renee. Uh -oh. oh, hold on, hold on. Part-time Wendy TV. <laughs> 
I love it. That's what we're going to call the new TV, uh, Chris. PTW TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys about a new channel my wife and I are starting. Since we have nothing to do after September, we're going to start a new channel. I'll tell you what it's called in just a second. <laughs> Let's talk about what's coming up right now and right in front of you. Out of that super speed lane, it's Jesse Kinder. Out of that red monster lane, it's Just Justin Tagir. Here they go. Oh, left lane's going to move on on that one, man. That's a nice run by Justin coming up next of your uh, – uh, race 22 of round one of bracket B is going to be Eli Serdone against Brad Uriah. And then Ralph Burris and Sean Batista is going to end the very first round of 92 with race number 23 of your bracket B of your round one. That'll push us off into um, round two, bracket A. Excuse me, bracket A. And as soon as those are posted and ready to go, I'll let you know who they are. Again, a lot of people like following along. It's real easy to do. Just go over to rcdragraces.com, and you can do this just like I am. Sir Doan and Uriah, here they go. Oh, that's a race, man. Eli will take the win. Eli's going to take the win on that one. Eli moves on. Coming up next is Mr. Ralph Burris. He came all the way out of New Mexico. If you don't know anything about New Mexico, you should. We are flying down in there the end of September for the Cave Town Meltdown with Alex, the Monster Energy Morales. <laughs> uh, we love Alex, man. Alex has got more energy. Listen, I, as I get older, my energy levels will start to drop. Alex has just got more energy for everybody, man. That guy's crazy. Burris left, Batista right. And this is going to end round number one. I did not realize. I hadn't even said hi to him yet. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. This is your last race of round one, Burris and Batista. The double Bs, there they go. Ooh. All right, so Ralph will take the win. Ralph Burris is gonna move on all the way from New Mexico. Great run by Mr. Burris. That's gonna end that round, guys. We are gonna take us another, just a small 10 minute break. And then what I'll do is I'll come back after this 10 minute break, that way I can kind of get, I'm going to go just check a couple cameras, check a couple things. And then what we'll do is we'll boot you up, boot us up and do a, like a little walk uh, through the pits, man. As everybody's right, ended round one. 15 minute break. And we will come back for second round of Outlaw A-Side. Yep, Outlaw A-Side. A, a sound, owl sound, owl, owl, a sound. Uh, let me go over the sponsors really quick, and then I'm going to take my 10-minute break and just grab me a couple things, but let's do this. Here we go. R Works 1 is your title. R, R1 Works, not R Works 1. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I haven't slept. You guys, you know how hard it is to, to stay up here and get up early? It's not as easy as you think, but let's go. Here's your sponsors for your 2024 uh, South Pacific NPRC Nationals. It's R1 Works is your title. With Super Speed and Red Monster are your left and your right lane sponsors. I don't want that. Sure can. Um, Racer RC, Dan Bucati. And Andy Jacobson gets stuck. 808 Fuel Accelerate RC. Voodoo is in the house. Shark Bodies. TH Designs Live Action. Happy birthday, Tony. Here comes Shelby Tabios. You've got uh, RC Speed Secrets. you got Straight Line Spoilers. Drag Works RC. JM Portable. Whoa. Uh, Mac Town Audio. Monster Energy. Mac Macklin or McClan. However you would like to say it. And Rockwell RC, I'm going to take a 10-minute break, guys. I'll be right back in just a minute. It's not a rain delay, though. <laughs> What's up, Shelby?
RC Speed Secrets. Next number, 076. 076, a case of rain energy drink and sticky rain. Next stop, 076. Again, 152.
All right, attention in the pits. We'll be starting in about five minutes. I will need Sean Bautista, Dustin Costa, Casey Ebersteiner, Glenn Cabrera, DJ Mendiola, Bozo, Russell Nelson, Jay Joseph, and Matthew Ching to tech. All right, all right, all right. Let's get some of the music going, man. Let's get this going. Yo, yo, yo. Let's do this, guys. We're back, man. We're ready to rumble. 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. Presented by R1. Red Monster and Supa is your is your lane sponsors. We're almost ready to go, man. I'm gonna break down the first six races right now. Here we go. Right out of the gate, Sean Batista. He's got the bye. And then your race number two of bracket. Sorry guys, my phone like literally wigged out on me. <laughs> It just winked out again. Dustin Costa and Casey Evan Steiner is your race number two of Bracket A. Round two. And Glenn Cabrera didn't DJ flip everybody off Mendiola. We got to give him a nickname, man, ASAP. Haram Karizma Jr. He's going against Mr. Russell Nelson. Mr. Nelson is out of you know where, man. Down under, mate. Australia. And then you got Jay Joseph going against Matthew Ching Man in race number five. Justin Bacoy out in Uriah. Here they come. Chris Buchanan and Steve Slaney as you're in your race number seven. Race eight is Justin Tagiri and Jason Keela. And you got Titus Garcia. He's going head to head against Henry Tabios. Robert Maderos and Taylor Holcomb are going to battle it out. Scott Masuda and David Logston. That's race number 11. Race number 12 is going to be Clifford Valente going against John Myers. Pretty sure that's Joe Myers. Henry Tabios will then have the bye on bracket B. 12 races in the next round. Thank you guys for joining us. This is the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. This is presented by R1. R1works.com, I believe it is. I'm not sure. It's been a minute since I've hopped on that website. Go check out Steve's stuff, man. Uh, what else? If you want to follow along, shoot over to rcdragraces.com. You can follow along. It's super easy. It's like the Staples button. That was easy. I'm going to break down your sponsors one more time before this round starts. And then it's showtime, go time, man. Ready to go. R1 Works is your title sponsor. Going, and then your left and your right lane sponsors is Super Speed and SuperSpeedRC.com. And then Red Monster. Those are your lane sponsors. The rest of your sponsors goes down in order just like this. Sure can. Racer RC. Get stuck. 808 Fuel. Accelerate RC. Voodoo. Shark RC Bodies. TH Designs Live Action. Happy birthday, Tony Tan. What's next? RC Speed Secrets, Straight Line Spoilers, Drag Works RC, JM Portable, MacTown Audio, Monster Energy, Macklin, McClan, whatever you want to say, aka OKO, knows how to say it the right way, and Rockwell RC. And here they come through tech, ready to go. Sean Batiste is going to come up right now. He's going to run his by, and then Dustin Costa and Casey Ebensteiner are going to be right behind him. Should be a pretty, it, it should be, now we're, <clears throat> now we've got 12 races of the first round. And uh, hello, Eric Dergrazo, uh, El Presidente. All right, here they come, man. 
Dustin Costa. Jason Jerry Everson. Baker. What's up, dude? We're doing good, bro. Everything is amazing today. The, the weather's amazing. You know, a little bit of rain came in. Got a lot of wind today. The wind is abs absolutely insane today. Uh, between 20 and 30, uh, 30 mile an hour uh, gust. But you know what? Good news, man. We are looking like clear skies on the backside. Uh, clouds have kind of rolled out of here. So it looks like we might just keep on running here and get this race over. We are live in Hawaii. If you're just joining this program, unfortunately, we are not live on NPRC TV. It is gone. I apologize. But here he comes. Mr. Sean Batista is going to run his by and then tech is getting full. Yeah, Jerry, it would have been good to have you up here, brother. Chris, Chris Horsesitas, a.k.a. Horchatas. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to hit the trigger, sir. <laughs> Track record. Track record of 5.2. <laughs> Sean Batista ran his by. All right, here we go. Here they come. Tech is full. Tech is full. Six guys in line. Dustin Costa and Casey Ebensteiner are coming in hot right now of race number two of your bracket A of round two. And then on deck is Glenn Cabrera, DJ Mindiola. We need a nickname for DJ. It's got to be something flipping somebody off. <laughs> and then... Um, Haram Charisma Jr., Russell Nelson, and then Jay Joseph and Matthew Ching on race number five. Oh, that's a good race. I think the left lane's going to take it. Left lane yep. takes the win. Left lane took it. That's Dustin Costa. Dustin Costa's going to move on on that one, man. Great run, Mr. Dustin. Uh, coming up next, here they come. It's, it's uh, Haram Charisma Jr. And um, up next, we got... Glenn Cabrera and uh, DJ Mendiola. Oh, sorry, guys. Glenn Cabrera and DJ Mendiola is coming up next. Mendiola is going to be in your right lane and Cabrera in the left. And then right after that is going to be Haram Charisma Jr. going against Russell Nelson. And, um, and then your race number five of your round one bracket B. Sorry, round two bracket B is going to be uh, Jay Joseph and Matthew Ching. Here they come. Tech has got about four to five people in it. But right here up on the line right here that's coming through the gate, as you can see, and we've got uh, maybe six guys ready to come in, ready to line up, ready to go racing in just a second. <clears throat> if you guys are watching on whatever channels I have up today, I just want to say thank you, man. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, couldn't get it up on NPRC TV, but it is what it is what it is. <sighs> Uh, right now, we are waiting on Glenn Cabrera and DJ Mendiola. There's DJ. I see DJ in tech. Where is Glenn? I don't see. Yes, here he comes. Glenn has got that, uh, got those glasses on. He's ready to rumble, man. Got the, got the, got the race face going on. And then DJ, DJ's always got the, the fun face. <laughs> If you're just joining us, super easy to follow along, rcdragraces.com. Join us. It's really easy, man. You guys can go back and see who won, who lost. You can see all kinds of stuff inside here. If you click on the person's name, you can see what they've done in their past. You can see what they've done um, if they've ran with this bracket system with RC Drag Races. If they have not ran on this system, then uh, it's not going to be in here. So uh, we're just waiting on... Uh, uh, DJ right now. Glenn is ready to go. Glenn is coming out of that left lane, that red monster lane. And then DJ is coming up here in just a second at the super speed lane on the right side. And then we'll get this, uh, we'll get this party started. Been moving a little slow today. I apologize. You know, that rain come in. Let's pull this back again, though. That rain came in and kind of, kind of wiped us out. Not wiped us out. <laughs> hey, Chris, I just... Chris Horsacita's new nickname is Horchatas. <laughs> That's actually, he named himself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he named himself down in the New Mexico, Chris did. All right, here they come. It's Cabrera left, Mindy Ola right, and on deck is Haram Charisma Jr. and Russell Nelson. This is ready. Watch your legs. Oh, not sure what happened with DJ, but uh, Glenn's going to move on. DJ looks like he got stuck. Coming up next, this is going to be race number four. Um, 
Bracket A, round two. It's going to be Jay Joseph. I'm sorry, Haram Char Charisma Jr. and Russell Nelson. Nelson, Nelson is coming out of that right lane. Uh, remember, he is all flew all the way in from Australia, and Haram Charisma Jr. is uh, lives right here in Hawaii. And then on deck is Jay Joseph, which also lives right here in Hawaii, and Matthew Ching. I think he is also here in Hawaii. And then uh, right after that, of your race number six, it'll be Justin Bacoy and Alden Uriah. Here, here they come. Nelson's been having a really good run, man. Let's see what he does. Uh-oh. I think he red lit. He sure did, man. Oh, no. Red lit. So that means uh, Haram's going to be uh, going to go. Look at that big old smile on his, on his face. <laughs> That's unfortunate, man, because, listen, Russell has had – I've been watching him today. You know, I've been watching him. He's all the way out of Australia, so I wanted to see how his car was doing. He's actually been, do, been doing some pretty good licks today. But, unfortunately, uh, he red lit on that one, so that brings up our next one. Here he comes. It's the flying Hawaiian. I did not name him that, so uh, we will not take credit on that one. It's Jay Joseph. He's coming out of that left lane with Matthew Ching coming out of that super speed lane. Your left lane is Red Monster. And then on deck of your race, number six is going to be Justin McCoy and Alden Uriah. And seven on deck is Chris Buchanan and Steve Slaney. Buchanan is coming out of Missouri. Slaney out of California. Ready. Here we go. Watch your light. Oh, no. Jay's out. That's going to put Jay all the way out. Right yep. I believe Jay is going to be all the way out on that one, man. Okay. Ah. Coming up next is Justin Bacoy. He'll be coming out of that left lane and out in Uriah in that right lane. And then on deck is Chris Buchanan and Steve Slaney. And then of your race number eight is uh, Justin Tagiri going against Jason Keela. I need Robert Madaris, Taylor Holcomb, Scott Masuda. David Logston, Clifford Valite, and John Myers Tech. Tech is full. You got uh, two, four, six guys over there in Tech. And right now, you got Justin McCoy in the left lane and Alan Uriah in the right. And on deck is Chris Buchanan and Steve Slaney. Here we go. Mm, I believe that right lane's going to take it. He sure does. Alden is going to take that win. Um, if you guys are wanting to hear the times in the ET, ETs, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to happen. I was told that they do not want to announce them, so we are not going to announce them, man. Not me, guys. I just live stream. <laughs> I tried, but here they come. Mr. Chris Buchanan has got his pins putting on his, uh, his body clips. And then uh, Steve Slaney is ready right behind him. Both of are in tech. And then Justin Tagir and Jason Kilo will be coming up next. And then Titus Garcia and Henry Tabios are going to go head to head in just a second. This is your 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. Sponsored by R1. Beautiful day here in Hawaii, 75 degrees. The downfall to it is that wind is out of control between 20 and 30 mile an hour. It's been a crazy, crazy, uh, crazy up and down, windy, windy day. Been nuts. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> well, guess what, Chris? That's your, that's going to stick. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Buchanan and Slaney coming through the the coming through the gates in just a second. Bullpen is full. I call it the bullpen, but it's tech. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, Slaney is getting ready to set his car down, and uh, Buchanan as well. You know, these past uh, three weeks, I was just out in California two weeks ago and uh, out at uh, Madero's and Slaney and all those boys, uh, uh, Bravo and uh, Steve, and uh, there's so many guys out there, man. Great time at the uh, Good Guys show there. And uh, Chris Buchanan was actually at that race too, man. I was like, damn, you travel more than I do, brother. <laughs> Here they go. That's a race, guys. I think your left lane got him. Left lane, left lane got him. Buchanan got him. That was a good race, man. 
So that's going to be Chris Buchanan's going to take out Slaney. Coming up next of race number eight is Justin Tiger going against Jason Keela. And then on deck, race number nine is Titus Gar Garcia and Henry Tabios. And then Robert Medeiros is going against Taylor Holcomb, Scott Masuda, David Loxton, and your last race of, of – uh, Race number 12 of round two of bracket A is going to be Clifford Valite and John Joe Myers. Not John Myers. I'm, please, I'm pretty sure it's Joe, I think. Here we go. And then that'll push us off into bracket B. Henry Tabios will have the bye right out of the gate. Racers ready. Watch your legs. Left lane's going to move on, guys. Justin will take the win. Yep, That's Justin's going to move on. Uh, race number nine consists of a gentleman. I believe Titus is, he, what, how old is Titus? Do you know? It's 11 or 12. That's what I was guessing, 11 or 12. But here he comes, Titus Garcia and Henry Tabios. Henry Tabios will be hooking out of that right lane. Garcia coming out of that left, what? <laughs> Skittles dad, right? <laughs> uh, Titus Garcia and Henry, Henry Tabios. Henry, Henry, Henry is in the right lane, and uh, Garcia, Titus, is in the left lane. And then uh, race number 10 uh, will be Robert Medeiros and Taylor Holcomb. Medeiros is coming out of that left lane. And then uh, Holcomb out of the right. And then Matsuda and Loxton will be your race number 11. And then your last race of bracket A is going to be Clifford Valite and John Myers. David Loxton. And John Myers. Titus is getting his car all set up. Henry's ready to rumble. Henry's been doing a lot of work these past two days, getting ready for this race. They were here last night at like 7 o'clock. I'm not sure what time they left, but uh, they were here pretty late last night. But here they come. Titus Garcia in the left lane and Henry Tabios in the right. Wow, that's a race. Left lane. Left lane, Titus got him. Yeah, man, that was a race. Coming up next, Medeiros and Holcomb. Holcomb in the right lane and Medeiros in the left. I wish I had times and ETs for you, but ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I do not. They're not going to let me tell you or say them, so I apologize. But right now, let's, uh, let's, just, let's just watch some fast racing. That's all we can do. Robert Medeiros is coming out of that left lane and Ty Taylor Holcomb out of that right. And then on deck is Scott Masuda, David Loxton. And then your last race of this round is going to be uh, Clifford Valite and John Myers. Just about over on this very first one. <clears throat> and then we'll shoot us off into uh, a bracket B of your round two. Whoa. Daryl's wasn't quite ready. Um, can you guys back out, please? Holcomb right, Maderos left right okay, now. Reset the tree. Here they go. They're going to stage back up. Racers ready. All right, here we go. Watch your light. Medeiros is going to take that one. Boy, you talk about a conservative pass, man. That was really, really conservative. Uh, he's going to take out Taylor. Coming up next is going to be Scott Masuda and David Loxton. Loxton's going to come out of that right lane and Masuda coming out of that left. And then on deck of your last race of your bracket A is Clifford Valite right. going against John Myers. And that'll push us off into bracket B of your round two. Henry Tabios has the bye. And uh, then Robert Medeiros is going against Dustin Costa. That'll be your second race of bracket B of round two. We're just about done with round one here in just a second. And then we'll do our bracket runs. <clears throat> your brackets are, we only have three. We have Kalani Hol Hol Holbrum against Dean Thomas. Grandy. He told me how to say his last name, but I'm going to mess it up. Kai Kuai Hiwi. <laughs> Let's just go with GK. 
<laughs> and Shane Reno. Let's watch this race coming up right now. It's Logston and Masuda. Oh, David. Oh, man, he got really, really loose at about half track. Car flipped over, man. So Logston's not going to move on. Uh, right now, uh, this is your last race of bracket A of your round two. This is Clifford Valite going against uh, John Myers. I kept saying Joe Myers because I thought they had it wrong because Joe's here. I haven't seen Joe in a minute. Uh, but these guys are going to finish this out, and then I'm pretty sure they're going to take a break. That'll push us off into bracket B of your round two, probably about a 10-minute break. What I'll do is I'll grab that other cameraman, and we'll go walk up through the pits for you guys and just take a look and see what's going on. But hey, let's watch this race right now. Mm, left lane got him, man. Unfortunately, your right lane did not have a good run on that one. So Cliff's going to move on. This is That is going to finish your round Two bracket A. All right, that was the end of A side second round. We're going to take a five minute break. Well, maybe 10 minute break. We have to try and move this tent. <laughs> They're going to take a 10 minute break. Ow. I think PTW's tired. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, they're going to take their 10-minute break. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> yeah, man, I got a lot of people asking me for times and ETs, man. I wish I could give them to you. I really do, man. I'd go hang out behind him, but he, I was told no. Uh, anyway, no worries. All good. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab the whole camera and just walk with it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my mics over. I'm going to do a pit walk with you guys. Do me a favor. Make sure you can hear me as I walk. All right, guys, let me go grab that other camera, the finish line camera. We'll do a pit walk. Hang tight. Check, check. Okay. Let me, uh, give me a second here. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Make sure that, uh, that you can hear me okay. Check, check. Good to go. Okay. All right, guys, let me go grab this camera. What we'll do is we'll do us a, we'll do us a quick pit walk. I'll just have to carry this camera, but it's all good. And, uh, and see what's going on up in the pits here. We just ended our, uh, we just ended our bracket A of our round two. All right, let me go switch these cameras around really quick. And then we'll do us, uh, we'll walk through the pits here for you guys. And so you can see the, you know, one thing I've noticed of over the, over the course of the past three years of doing this and watching these guys and how they do their pits, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. These guys. All right, let me switch this camera and then we'll go for a little, a little walk here. Um, what I was telling you guys is, uh, make sure you hear me on the way, is uh, you guys are dirty. <laughs> some, of your, some of your tables are just absolutely crazy. Roll through, what's up, dude? What's up? How are you? Could be better. What do you mean? I'm out already. You're already out? I got one more left in the bracket. In the bracket, right? You're the bracket king. That's it. <laughs> no prep Tatum <laughs> bracket king. <laughs> There's the dark horses. Hey, who is this? Who you got here? Buddy. Who's your buddy? Three rounds. Say hi. What's his name? Three pairs. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hey, can you do this? <laughs> All right, so up next, we're going to run bracket. It's they're going to be Kalani, Dean. They're going to run their, they're gonna run their brackets here really quick. I'm still going to flow through here really quick. Say hi to everybody. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good. Okay. What's your name? Carla. Carla? Yes. Are you having fun? I am. Sweet. How about this young lady? Hi. What's your name? Rhonda. Rhonda. Shane's wife. Shane's wife. Hello. 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 What's your name? Sharon. 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 Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right. We're going to keep on rolling through the pits here, guys. 
When I tell you, you guys, you're, 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 you guys need to clean these tables up, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. All right, let's roll through here really quick. Say hi to everybody. What's going on, guys? What up? How are we feeling, man? Hot. Hot? Did you say hot? You don't know what hot is, sir. <laughs> look at Team Reckless in the house. They are just, look at this, look at this table. Look at that. How you guys feeling? Good? Yeah. Super? Good? Yeah, good. DJ, hey, we got a new nickname for you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name? Smile. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's roll through here. There's Batista and the boys. Oh, so hide your secrets. Hide the secrets. Jay Joseph's in the house. What up, dude? Mr. Gill, Big Gill. What's that? No secrets. Here, we're going to come around the backside and see what that secret was. <laughs> look at this. Look at these tables. Tables are just a mess, guys. Absolutely a mess. Look at this. Look at that. Look how cool this is, how they set up the tents and everything. Pretty cool. Hey, Pops, I think that the raffle was rigged. Why is that? You won too many. <laughs> well, I only won two today. <laughs> Everybody's watching. We've been watching you kind of go like this and hand her your other I, ticket. I, I don't do that. I keep my tickets in my pocket. <laughs> Congratulations to Pops and the big win today. Thank you, <laughs> he won. He, 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 he raked it in today, man. He won. What'd you win today? You won some tires, a backpack? If you don't think it's rigged, it's a lie. <laughs> Titus and JFab. There's Tommy O. Shelby's over there. Gonzalez is in the house. That was Mark's dad. Hey, listen, you know what? One thing about Mr. Mark Gonzalez, man, his dad is a huge supporter of his, and he travels with him everywhere Mark goes. I think I've only been to one race when his dad, uh, I think I've only been to one race where his dad, uh, didn't show up. I don't remember which one it was, but he's a huge supporter, man. Which uh, that makes it uh, that makes things easy when you're when your dad's on board. You know what I'm saying? Show you guys uh, Steve and uh, Supa's uh, carpets. Look how cool that is, man. Got some camo going off with the red monster. And then uh, Supa is your lane sponsors for this run. Look how crazy that is, man. Pretty cool. I'm sure Darren Akiyama had everything to do with that. And then we'll go set this camera back up for you guys, and then we're going to continue off into the bracket racing. Oh, well, that hurt. And that's your pit run for right now. We'll come back in a little bit and do it again. If you guys are wondering where we're at, we're at some type of school here. I don't know the name of it. I'm not really sure. Uh, but listen, it turned out to be a really nice, uh, really nice track. You know, it has a couple hiccups, but so far so good. Nobody is, uh, nobody has pretty, you know, has trashed any cars. What I mean by that is there's a, uh, there is a, uh, there's a hump right here. There's a hump. Uh, there's a hump over here at the very end. And unfortunately, uh, there's nothing they can do about it. Uh, I thought there would be more carnage than what, what there is, but there's not, so that's a good thing. All right, we are set and ready to go, and then we're gonna get back to racing here. We're gonna shoot off into the bracket racing. If you wanna follow along, I told you guys how to do it. It's super easy. It's rcdragraces.com. Come follow along and have some fun with us. We are here in Hawaii. This is your 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals is sponsored by R1. And uh, what a great time we've been having here. Let me go move that up a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I like that or not. Yeah, I'm gonna go that, go. No, I want that, it's that finish line with that, that hump at the end. Yeah, I'm just going to hit it real quick. Right now, it looks like uh, it looks like we are right, waiting on the bracket guys to get up, which is Kalani Holbrum, Dean Thomas, Grandy K, Shane Reno, Tatum Batista, and Kevin Inouye. 
coming in right now. They're going through tech as we speak. This is your bracket class. There's only three races left on this round, or on this round. And then that'll push us off into the semis. All right, here we go. Kalani in the... <sighs> Kalani in the left lane, dialing in 2.50. Dean in the right lane, dialing in 2.67. It's double entry, Mikel. It is double entry. All right, guys, here they come. This is your bracket class. You got Kalani Holbrum in your left lane going against Dean Thomas in the right lane. On deck is Grandy K and Shane Reno. And your last race of the bracket class is Tatum Batista and Keevan Anoy. Here they go. Race is ready. They're all dialed in. Oh, man, that left lane. Woo. Little squirrely, lane. but he got him. Little squirrely, but he got him. Kalani goes 255-4. Dean breaks out with a two. Okay, that is going to push us off into race number two of your round two of your bracket. It's going to be, I'm not sure what happened here. I lost it again. <laughs> there it is. Sorry. It's Grandy K and Shane Reno. Reno in the right, Grandy in the left, and then Tatum Batista. I was just talking to Potato a minute ago. He's got one car left. <clears throat> He's got one car left, and um, and then that is going to if he ma if he makes this one, he'll go through to the semis. Um, but right now. Right after this is going to push us off into our B bracket of our outlaw. I'm going to break down the first three races for you guys. And it's going to be Henry Tabios has the buy. Okay. Henry Tabios is going to take that buy on number one. And then Robert Medeiros against Dustin Costa. And then Russell Nelson will go head to head against Titus Garcia. <clears throat> What's up, Hobbs? Yeah, man, the, it, it turned out to be a really nice, a really nice track, really nice venue. Um, it's good stuff, man. Here we go, Reno and Grandy. Reno on the right side. Yeah. Grandy, <laughs> Grandy tried to come around. The, hey, Grandy said, "Listen, if you're gonna win, I'm gonna come around and and, and win with you." <laughs> so that's gonna take. Uh, that's gonna move uh, Shane Reno to the top on that one. Coming up next is Tatum Batista. He'll be in that left lane. Keevan is gonna be uh, in that right lane. Like I told you guys earlier, man. If if uh, Tatum moves on, then uh, he's gonna continue to go. But he is out in the outlaw in the outlaw uh, race brackets. Keevan <clears throat> is in the right lane. So Keevan and Tatum. Tatum is getting ready to rumble here. Tatum is going to be coming out of that red monster lane, and Mr. Keevan is coming out of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then Keevan is going to come out of that super speed lane. All right, Tatum in the left lane, dialing in 250. Keevan in the right lane, dialing in 270. 250 in the left and 270 in the right. That's your dial in times. <clears throat> Keevan will take the win in the right lane. Keevan goes 271-4. Tatum goes 310. All right, up next, we're going to go into Outlaw. Okay, guys, we are going to push off into Outlaw now. Um, if you want to follow along, then uh, get your butts over there into rcdragraces.com and follow along. We are in the, um, I'm trying to refresh, refresh, refresh. Here we go. We are in round two uh, of your uh, B bracket. And Henry Tabios has the bye right out of the gate. Henry Tabios is going to have the bye. And then Robert Medeiros and Dustin Costa will race number two. Russell Nelson, Titus Garcia, number three. Ralph Burris and Grand DK, number four. Number five is Sam Solario and Jerry Baxter. 
Number six is Roger Gill and Scott Masuda. Number seven is Casey Ebensteiner and Silas Garcia, which is JFab. Number number seven, I'm sorry, number eight is Jason Keela and Eli Serdone. Number nine is Justin Takiri and Supa Aaron. Ten is Clifford Valite and Steve Slaney. Number 11 is Glenn Cabrera and Shelby Tabios. And number 12 of your race number 12, bracket B of round two, the last race of round two is going to be um, Kef Tetha and Shane Reno. Here they come, coming through tech right now. And then we'll get back out, get our, our butts back out on the track. Let's go through the sponsors really, really fast, guys. Um, this entire race is sponsored by R1 Works. That's your title sponsor. Your left and your right lanes is going to be uh, Super Speed and Red Monster. You've got Super Can, RC, uh, Racer RC, Get Stuck, 808 Fuel, Accelerate RC, Voodoo, Shark, TH Designs, live action, are, uh, live action. Uh, yes, I keep saying happy birthday to Tony because it's just when I see live action, I say happy birthday. <laughs> you got RC Speed Secrets, Straight Line, Spoilers, Drag Works, RC, JM Portable, MacTown Audio, Monster Energy, Macklin or McClan, according to OKO, it's McClan, and Rockwell RC. That is your sponsors for this race. Thank you to you sponsors for... Um, doing this ow <laughs> my tent is still down so right now we're in a little bit of a holding pattern i'm just waiting on these guys to get up to the line here and then we'll get back to our uh, we'll get back to racing i see right now i don't see anybody <laughs> i don't see anybody who yeah russell but uh, I'm waiting on, where's Henry? Oh, there's Henry right there. There's Henry and, and Skittles is, is heading up. <laughs> it was really good hanging out with Henry and Skittles on Thursday night. Excuse me. Here I am yawning already. Jeez. You know, it's crazy. It's four o'clock here. It's seven o'clock at home. And I'll be heading off to bed in about an hour. That's <laughs> what happens when you get old. Yeah. PTW is joining me right now. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> We're just waiting on these racers to get to, hey, listen, if I was Mr. Masuda right now, I'd be screaming at that mic. Get your, I, you guys, if you didn't watch the, uh, the uh, March Mayhem at Matus Ranch, I took over the last race. Listen, yeah, I, I wrangled those boys in like cattle. Get your butts to the line. Let's go. Henry just taking his sweet time. He's on island time. He's on island time. We are on Henry didn't even. <laughs> you can only use island time so much, sir. All right, here we go. <laughs> if you know what I mean by island time. Island time means this. If you ever go to any island and you are looking to get something, food, a drink, a beverage, well, guess what? It, it, in the States, that bartender would get it for you in about 60 seconds. When you're on the islands, it takes 5 to 20 minutes. We call that island time. <laughs> Oh, man, speaking of island time, join me, but most of you, actually 99.9% .9 of you will not be joining me on this one, but we're off to Puerto Rico, man. The very last weekend of July, we are going to be, uh, we are going to be in the Mecca of sand drag racing in Puerto Rico and Umacao Arena. It's going to be so crazy, man. I can't wait to do that down there. It's going to be a good time, but let's watch Henry make his pass. Island time is over. Yeah, he's going to, is he going to send it? Nope. He sent it right into the wall. <laughs> All right, here they come. Coming through tech, Robert Medeiros and Dustin Costa. Dustin Costa is going to be coming out of that right lane, and Robert Medeiros is coming out of that left lane. Speaking of Robert Medeiros, he might be joining me in Puerto Rico. He has a new name, and when we leave Puerto Rico, I promise you, everybody will know Robert El Diablo Medeiros. Trust me. <laughs> That's his new name. Uh, he's going against Dustin Costa. And then your race number three of your bracket B of your round two is Russell Nelson coming out of Australia and Mr. Titus Garcia coming out of Dallas, Texas. Your race number four is Ralph Burris. He's coming out of New Mexico. And then Grandy. 
nobody's using the tape correct. And then Grandy K here in Hawaii. Here they come. Maderos is getting ready to rumble. That's a sick paint job on that right side, man. That really is nice. I like the one on the left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. That is, yeah, this one. This one here, the orange and white one, man. If you guys can see that in the camera, it's super nice. Maderos and Costa. Here they go. Ooh, that's a race. Ooh, man, Robert. Dustin got him. I got to tell you, when Robert comes down to that finish line, man, that wind got underneath that car, man, and that, that car literally just went off to the right. Up next, we have Russell Nelson in the left lane, Titus Garcia in the right. Okay, man, that was a bad run for Mr. Maderos. Coming up next is Russell Nelson out of Australia, Titus Garcia out of Dallas, Texas. On deck is Ralph Burris and Grandy K, and then your race number five of bracket B of your round two is Sam Solario. He's going head to head with Mr. Jerry Baxter, and that's going to be a good run, man. Two good friends, Team Reckless going head to head. Great run, great friends. Here we come, race number six of your bracket B of your round two. His name is Roger Gill, coming all the way out of Kentucky. He's going against Scott Masuda. He lives right here in Hawaii, and then KB Eppensteiner and uh, and J Fab will be going. Here we go. Nelson and Garcia. There we go. That's a race. Left lane. Left lane. Got it, man. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you right now. Russell Nelson coming out of Australia. I don't know what happened on his last run. But boys and girls, oh, that man. guy is on fire. He's only been in this for less than, I believe it's less than six months. I've been watching him all weekend, man. He's doing really good. Yeah, I love Titus to death, man. But but uh, unfortunately, uh, Russell got him, man. Great run on that left side by Russell. I wish I knew the times, but I can't get them. They won't give them to me. They don't want to announce them, so it's all good. Coming up next is Ralph Burris. He's going against Grandy K. I cannot say his last name, so just deal with it. <laughs> and then uh, your race number five of your bracket B of your round two is Sam Solario and Jerry Baxter. Going to fix the sensor really quick. If I yawn, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, Renee, man, he's dude, he's really doing good. I, I, I gotta be, I, you know, I'm, I'm bragging about him, and I'll tell you why. Just, you know, talking to him and Kef over, the, you know, on Thursday night, man. I, you know, I, I, I don't know who he is, and you know, he's, he's coming in here and he's doing good, man. So let's see how he does. I'm curious to see how he finishes uh, this race. Okay, here they come. Ralph Burris and Grandy K. Burris is in the left side and Grandy is in the right. Grandy's coming out of Hawaii and Ralph Burris has come out of New Mexico and on deck is Solario and Baxter. There they go. Ooh, I think right lane got him, man. Right lane will take the win. All right, up next, you got Sam Solario on the left lane, Jerry Baxter in the right lane. All right, here they come. Uh, Jerry Baxter and Sam Solario. Sam Solario is coming out of that left lane. You remember, he's your winner of, of Oregon last year, one, not, one and two. Jerry Baxter's coming out of the right lane. On deck is Mr. Roger Gill and Scott Masuda. Here they come. Left lane takes the win. Left lane's going to take the win on that one. Sam Solario. All right, coming up next is Roger Gills coming out of that left lane and Scott Masuda out of that right. I apologize. That is not Roger Gill and Scott Masuda. <laughs> um, Scott Masuda to the... Oh, wait, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stand by, guys. This is not, this is not the... Scott to the starting line. Uh, he's this is his race this is his deal yeah 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 so hang on guys scott masuda was supposed to be racing against roger gill <clears throat> and i'm not sure what happened but stand by we got a technical technical problem but so hang on right now uh, i don't know why uh why uh, jfab is on the uh 
on the line. Yeah, he's supposed to be up. Scott Masuda and Roger Gill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got JFab and K Casey Ebbetsteiner. <clears throat> There's Scott right there. Huh? Yeah, that's Scott. Yeah, Scott Masuda. Yep. Fine, uh, give me just a second, guys, to see what's going on. Take care of your daddy, honey. Take care of your dad. Gonna follow leaves. Yeah. I'm trying to listen to what's going on, but I can't hear. So Jerry and Sam, I need you guys both back up here. I need to talk to you. So Jerry, because your side didn't say DNF. Okay, stand by, stand by. So it looks like Sam Solario and Jerry Baxter. I'm not sure what happened, but that looks like they might rerun it. Until I know, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> um. It sounds like, I was trying to listen in, but it, it sounds like when, yes, d d DNF did not finish. Jerry Baxter on your right lane, for some reason, when they ran it, it said did, did not DNF, but uh, you clearly see that. Okay, here comes the wind again. Yeah, here, here comes the wind. Yeah, we've been pretty lucky, man. This uh, The wind, I'll be honest, this has not... Uh, has not taken up our, uh, <laughs> taken our, our uh... you know, that's a good question, Renee. It's, it, it's, it is windy, bro. I'm, it, you know, <clears throat> it comes in gusts, you know, like right now it's down, but uh, right now it's running about, uh, the wind here okay, so is running Rogers. at about, um, yeah, Roger and Scott. Casey 21 miles an hour coming out of the east, and we're, but, but we're, what, what's happening is we're getting 37 mile an hour gust as they come in. Looks like the, it looks like the rain is gone, though. It looks like our rain is gone. That's a good sign. But here they come. Here comes uh, Roger Gill and Scott Masuda. S Masuda out of that right lane and Gill out of that left. And then on deck is K Casey Ebensteiner and, uh, and J. Fab Garcia. And then Jason Keela and Eli Serdone will be coming up next. <clears throat> Let's see if Roger Gill can pull this one off for good old state of Kentucky. I asked Roger the other day, man, you know, I always like to talk to people and see how it's going. Let's watch this first. Oh, it looks like Roger's going to move on, though. Yep. Yep, left lane's going to move on. Anyway, I was talking to Roger, you know, and I, I you know, Roger, he's, he's <laughs> if you guys know Roger, he's nuts. And I just said, man, it's first time to Hawaii, man. What do you think? He's like, I can't talk like him. I always try to talk like people. Billy, I got to tell you. <laughs> him and his son are here, man. So uh, great, great guys, man. They're enjoying Hawaii uh, coming out of uh, Kentucky. But uh, coming up next right now, JFab is in that right lane and Casey Ebensteiner in the right, left lane. lane JFab is coming all the way out of Dallas and Casey's coming all the way out of, he's either from Washington or Oregon. I'm not sure. Exactly which one. I met him in Oregon last year. Oh, man. JFab got it. Boy, one, th there is one thing that I, I watch people, and I watch them a lot. Titus and JFab, when it comes to racing, they must have one eyeball on that other racer and one eyeball on their car because as soon, as soon as uh, Casey even fl flickered to the right, JFab let, let, let off because he knew he was going to go. Coming up next is Jason Keela going against Eli Serdone. Serdone in the right lane, Keela in the left. And on deck of your race number nine, bracket B of round two, is going to be Justin Tagiri and Super Aaron. And then race 10 is Clifford Valete and Steve Slaney. We're almost done with this round. we got 12 races in this round, but here we go. Eli's going to take that one on your right side. Eli will take that one. <clears throat> and then coming up next, here they come, is uh, Justin Tagiri and Supa Aaron. And then your race number 10 is Clifford Valite, Steve Slaney. 11 is Glenn Cabrera going against Shelby Tabios. And your last race, round two, a bracket B, 
is Kev Tetha against Shane Reno. Let's see if Keth can continue this Australia uh, great run that these guys are doing, man. They're, they're, they're continuing with some good runs. We'll see what happens. Yes, B bracket. KDP, stay with us, please. Why are they driving on the track? What did Chris Karen say? Why are they driving on the track? Uh, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> who did? He came, well, who came on a bike? <laughs> I guess if he rides to the right side. <laughs> I didn't see him, Renee. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, the guy picking up the cars. <laughs> Yeah, he's got he's got like a basket on the back of his car or his uh, his bicycle van. It's pretty funny actually. <laughs> mm. You know, I I don't. I, hey, Chris, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I just sit here and I call it like I see it, sir. <laughs> oh, the van! I didn't even see the van either. Am I blind? Chris Karras said a van pulled out. <laughs> Chris, I don't know, dude. Oh, bike. Yeah, yeah, here comes the bike. Here comes the delivery driver. Hey, he, hey. <laughs> he's not a, uh, he's not a, what's it called when they deliver the food? Uber Eats? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go is right. Coming up right now, Super Speed and Super Aaron on that right side is going against Ch Justin Tagir. And then on deck of your race, number 10 of Bracket B of your round two is Clifford Balite going against Steve Slaney. And then Glenn Cabrera and Shelby Tabios are on deck after that. Here we go. Let's watch this race. Ooh, oh, Super. Mm. Super. Not sure. Not sure what happened, but your left lane is going to take that win. That's going to be Jason. I'm sorry, Justin uh, Tagira is going to take the win on that one. Cliff, Clifford Valete and uh, Steve Slaney are coming up next. Slaney is going to be in that right side. Valete going to be in that left. And then Glenn Cabrera and Shelby Tabios are on deck. And then your ra last race, a bracket B of your round two is uh, Kef Tetha and Shane Reno. Oh, he walked through. <clears throat> and then the plot thickens. Yeah, That's going to put us off into uh, round three, bracket A, and it'll also put us, I believe, into our semis of, of uh, bracket racing, I believe. Give me a second. I'll take a look. If you want to follow along, it's really, really easy. Shoot off to RC Drag Races and rcdragraces.com. You can follow along just like, I'm, just like I see it on the phone. You guys will see it in real time. You can also look back at who won and who lost for the day. Uh, that way you can stay on top of the news. Slaney in the right lane. Watch your lights. Valete on the... Ooh, I don't know, man. That's a tough race. That's a tough call. Slaney's going to take that one on that right side. Slaney moves on. Uh, coming up next of race 11 of bracket B of round two. It's Glenn Cabrera and Shelby Tabios, a.k.a. Oh, Skittles. Jay Joseph is in the house. Gave me a big old uh, what's up. Uh, and then race number 12 is uh, going to be Kef Tetha. I see Kef is already over in uh, Tech, right along with Shane Reno. He's uh, right over there beside him. And then, uh, But right now, let's talk about what's coming up right next. Oh, right next. Right now, it's Skittles. She's going against Glenn Cabrera. We've got one more race after this. It's going to be Kef Tetha and Shane Reno, and then that'll complete round Watch two. Skittles got him. Skittles got him. Shelby, will take Shelby is on fire, man. Oh, look at Glenn's like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> you know, it's so funny, man. Is Shelby literally has no. not even grown. No, no. I think she's the same height as she was when I first met her uh, in, uh, God, when did I meet her, man? I don't remember, but it's been a minute. I know it was three years ago uh, I met her, but uh, she sure has grown up. But here's your last race, round two of Bracket B. Your race number 12, it's, it's Kef Tetha coming out of Australia, going against Shane Reno.
just taking a look at uh, I was taking a look at something. If you guys can do the same thing, you can head over to rcdragraces.com and you can actually go in and see what the sponsors of the guys are. You can see all kinds of stuff. Let's talk about what's coming up right now, though. Kef Teth in the left lane and Shane Reno in the right. This will be a good race, man. Let's see if Kef can pull it off. Kef's got a pretty sick, a pretty sick paint job, man, going on there. I believe uh, Tony from Reaction T got that painted. There they go. Ooh, that's a race. Kef got him. The Australians are running, mate. <laughs> the Australians are kicking some booty. <laughs> awesome, man. That means we got 15 minute break. We're going to take a 15 minute break. And then I'm going to take 10, grab a couple things on my end, and then we'll come back and we'll do it again. I'm going to actually go over there. I'm going to walk through the pits. I'm going to gather some info, some intel, and come back. You guys take your break. It's not Mimosa Sunday today. It's, it's Bloody Mary Saturday. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us. We are live in Hawaii. This is the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals, and your sponsors are just like this. Our works our, I do it every time, R Works. R1 Works is your title sponsor. That's Steve and the boys. Uh, you've got Super Aaron and Red Monster are your lane sponsors. And then let's break down the other sponsors for you. Then we'll take a 10-minute break and be right back. Sure can. Racer RC, Get Stuck, uh, 808 Fuel, Accelerate RC, Voodoo, Shark, TH Designs, Live Action, RC Speed Secrets, Straight Line Spoilers, Drag Works RC, JM Portable, um... Mm, I just lost it. Sorry, guys. Mactown Audio, Monster Energy, McClan, Macklin, whatever you want to do, and Rockwell RC. Those are your top sponsors. Thank you guys for doing this for these gentlemen. These guys are top notch when it comes out of Hawaii. I've known these guys for about three years. Uh, we've been talking about doing a race in Hawaii for, well, for about three years. <laughs> but it's here and it's a lot. You leaving? You out of here? Hey, ho hold on. I'm going to take a break. Hang on. David Loxley from Five Stars leaving. I'm going to take a quick break, and then I'll be right back, guys. Hang tight, man. You guys go take your uh, take a short break on your own, and then we'll be right back.
zero. <laughs> we're kind of back, but we're kind of not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, we're just kind of waiting here. And we're at a holding pattern, man. Um, let me turn off that timer. There you go. We are just waiting for round three to begin. You know what we could do? Let's do this. Let's call everybody back. I know how that works. Everybody goes on their little breaks, you know. And then what they do is they, they, turn the, they turn the volume up and they wait for me to turn the music on. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go back to racing. All right. Let's break down your next bracket. Here we go. It goes just like this coming out of Outlaw. In round three of bracket A of race number one, it's Haram Charisma Jr. He's going against Matthew Ching. Race number two is Glenn Cabrera against Scott Masuda. Titus Garcia is going head to head with Mr. Clifford Valete. Justin Tatgiri against Chris Buchanan. Robert Maderos and Dustin Macosta. Maderos left and Costa right. Race number six is Sean Batista and Alden Urara. And that pushes us off into bracket B. It's going to be JFab Garcia against Dustin Costa. Shelby Tabios against Eli Serdon. Um, Kef Tetha against Jerry Baxter. Henry Tabios against Roger Gill. 
Grandy K against Justin Tagiri. And Steve Slaney is going head to head with Russell Nelson from Down Under, mate. That should be a good race. We'll see if Russell Nelson, man, I got my eye on this kid. See what he does. He's all the way out of Australia, man. <laughs> Door dash, car dash. <laughs> Let's move off into bracket. It's your semifinals. It's Kalani Holdrum. He'll have the bye. So who's it going to be in your round three of your bracket racing? Is it going to be Shane Reno against Keevan Anoy? Against Kalani Holbrum. That will be your finals right after this. We've got six races left in the uh, A bracket and six in the B bracket. We're moving along pretty good. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Right, what is it like Good midnight, morning. one o'clock in Arizona or like 3 a.m. in Florida? <laughs> I know that these uh, I know that these times are absolutely yeah. insane and we didn't even get started till 12. So I apologize. Had a little rain delay this morning, but we're back at it. We're ready to rumble. This is the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. It's sponsored by R1 Works, Supa Speed, and Red Monster are your lane sponsors. Your other sponsors are SureCan, Racer RC, Get Stuck, 808 Fuel, Accelerate RC, Voodoo, Shark Bodies, TH Designs, Live Action. Happy birthday, Tony Tun. RC Speed Secret Straight Line Spoilers Drag Race. That is not Drag Race. Drag Works RC. MacTown Audio. Monster Energy. Macklin or McLan, as OKO says it. And Rockwell RC. That is your sponsors for today. Thank you guys for sponsoring these guys. What a fun time we're having here in Hawaii. We're getting down to the very end of it. We've got 12, 14 races left. 14 races left. That's it? That's it. Wow. Yep. These guys are running a tight ship. No problems today. Things have been smooth as ice or butter. Is ice smooth or butter? <laughs> you know what I mean? Smooth as butter. <laughs> Food truck, it's not, oh, that's right, our new channel. Yeah, PTW and myself have a new channel. We're starting in September. <laughs> when I when I finally retire from asphalt and, and uh, I'm not retiring, though. I'm going to RCDRL and hang out for a little bit. Uh, it's called Food Truck Fat. Wendy and I are starting a new channel. No, it's not. It's Food Truck Frenzy. It's Food Truck Frenzy. <laughs> we travel so much and we love food trucks. We're literally going to bring you food trucks everywhere we go. We have a lot of traveling coming up in the next like eight months. We're going to be from Puerto Rico. What? I do, you know what? I'll find out for you guys. But we're going to be everywhere. We're going to what, Costa Rica. Well, there's food trucks there. Puerto Rico, well, the Bahamas, we'll check out the food trucks down there. There's not many food trucks in the Bahamas, to be honest with you. We've got, we've got Ohio, we'll do some food trucks there. We'll do some food trucks in Florida. Uh, New Mexico, ooh, New Mexico had a lot of food trucks. A lot of food trucks. <laughs> yeah, Emmanuel Acevedo. <laughs> what is the purse? Hold on, Renee, let me go check. Stand by, boys. Actually. You know what? I forgot. I'm all mic'd up. I can walk around. I'll be right back. Well, no, I won't be right back. Let's see if we can find out what the purse is. Hey, Masuda. You know what the purse is? What? Do we know what the purse is? You gotta go talk to Scott. Scott, okay. Yeah. Oh, he don't know. He don't know? First place is 3,600. That's first place? Second place is 900. Okay, so 3,600 is first place. 900 is second. For Outlaw. For Outlaw. And then bracket is... 440. 440. And 110. 440 and 110. Okay. All right. Are you Billy Shaw? Yes, ma'am. I'm Alan's daughter. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> the dark horse is his daughter. <laughs> 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 
I did not name him that. Foster Yates did. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's Alan Torikawa's uh, daughter. She she always uh, she's been watching for a little while. She says, "Are you Billy Shaw?" <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, That's your purses, guys. If you heard that. Third, 3,600. Right, let's go. 3,600, and here we go. We're going back to racing, man. We got uh, Haram, Charisma Jr., and Matthew Ching is going to go in your uh, race number one. And then Glenn Cabrera and Scott Masuda is going to come in at race number two. Robert Medeiros, Dustin Costa, Sean Bautista, and Alden Uehara. <laughs> All right, guys, waiting on them to get up to the line here. We got Haram Charisma. <clears throat> I'm probably saying that 100% wrong, by the way. And we got uh, Matthew Ching. So Matthew Ching is going to come out of that right name. Haram is out of that left. And then uh, Glenn Cabrera and Scott Masuda. Cabrera will be left, Masuda right. And then Titus Garcia and Clifford Valete will be your race number three. Uh, and then Justin Tagiri and Chris Buchanan will be in race number four. Tech is hot. Boys are moving. Here they come. And uh, like I said earlier, we only have 14 races left, and then uh, it shouldn't be too much longer. So if you're watching on the East Coast, I apologize. It's got to be, what time is it on the East Coast? Like 10 o'clock at night, huh? Yeah, it's 10 o'clock at night. 7 o'clock at night over in Arizona. That's about all I know. <laughs> That's about all I know. Right now, we're waiting on, uh, who are we waiting on? Uh, Haram is already up there. Matthew Ching, where are you at, sir? I do not see him in tech, so stand by. I don't know if, oh, yes, I do see him. There he is. Get these boys through tech, and then we'll get them up here and get them going again. And then uh, we'll, we'll get through these rounds pretty quick. So this round is six, and then we'll probably do bracket. And then after bracket, we'll do the, the next round. We'll be on the next round. <laughs> the next, I'll be on the next round. Then uh, then we'll, then this thing's going to go down to seven. Then that's going to take us down into the finals for, the, uh, for your brackets, right? Is that right? Yes, that's going to take us down to the finals. It's, it's going to be Kalani Holbrum against either Shane Reno or Keevan. Annoy, I, I'm pretty sure that's how you say his last name. I'm going to go with that. But right now, we're just waiting on, uh, we are waiting on Mr. Matthew Ching. Here he comes. Ching, right. Uh, All right here charisma, go. left. Also in the left lane, Matthew in the right lane. We are, if you're just joining us, we are in round three, Bracket A, round race number one. If you want to follow along, go to rcdragraces.com. Here we go. Oh, he got him, man. Nice and easy on that left side. That's going to be Haram Charisma Jr. is going to take that one. And uh, coming up next on deck and coming through tech as we speak is Glenn Cabrera and Scott Masuda. And then Titus Garcia will go against Clifford Valete. And then Justin Tagiri and Chris Buchanan, your last race of uh then you got race five is Maderos and costa and then batista and uriah and that'll win uh bracket a of your round three push us off into uh bracket b round three there's a jeep going by right now there's half doors on that jeep and the half doors are like a they're pretty 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 sick actually <laughs> nothing that jeep that just went by yeah, that was really nice. All right, we're just waiting, man. We are waiting. If you guys are just joining us, we're live in Hawaii. This is the 2024 uh, South Pacific NPRC Nationals. And we're just, we're moving along here. We got 14 races. Ah, sorry. We've got 13 races left. 13 races, including... including two in bracket, bracket, excuse me. Right now we're waiting on Glenn Cabrera and Scott Masuda. Masuda is coming up as we speak and Cabrera is ready to rumble. This is the last car for Cabrera. 
All right, here we go. Glenn in the left lane. The same with Masuda. If Masuda, so we'll see who's going to go out here. So whichever one goes out is done. Racers ready. <clears throat> Watch your light. Oh, right lane's going to move on, guys. We'll Glenn Cabrera is completely out, I believe. Let me double check that. Up next, we have Titus Garcia. Uh, sorry, guys. Where was I? Okay, here we go. I got Titus Garcia in the left lane going against Clifford. Valete in that right lane. On deck is Justin Tagiri and Chris Buchanan. I was trying to, to let you know, I'm pretty sure that Cabrera has none left. Correct. Cabrera has none left. Now, Titus Garcia. Ready. This is his last car as well. See what he does. Oh, man. Whew. You want to talk about a kid driving a car. He drove that car. <laughs> like, he drove that car. <laughs> Titus is going to take that one, man. God, that kid can drive, man. That car was heading straight to the wall, man. He pulled it out, and, and away he went. Whew. Nice run, man. I believe Clifford Valete is going to be out. Right, next, you got yes, Justin that will make Clifford out Chris of the Buchanan game. Right. Coming up next is Justin Tagiri and Chris Buchanan. Buchanan came all the way out of Missouri, and I know Chris only has one car left in the show. Um, Tagiri has two. So the guy in the left lane, that, that is Justin Takiri. He's got two left in the, in the show, and Buchanan's got one. If Buchanan loses, he's gone. Medeiros is coming up next against Costa. Medeiros has one car left and Costa two. Oh, that's a race, man. Left lane. Left lane got him, man. That is that is Justin Tagiri. Now, listen, Justin still has another car in the show. So he just took out uh, Chris Buchanan. So uh, Justin's going to go back, get his car ready, come back for the next uh, for the next round. Coming up next is Robert Madero's going against Dustin Costa. Now, if Madero's loses, he's completely out. If Dustin loses, Dustin has one left in the show. Okay, you with me? Is everybody following along now? And then on deck is Sean Batista and Alden Uriah. Each of those guys are going to be out if they go out. So if Madero's can stay in, he'll go continue to go on. But Dustin still has another car. Costa, right. Madero's, left. Madero's is coming out of that red monster lane. And uh, Costa is coming out of that uh, super, super speed RC.com lane. Something's going on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure, but we got Gonzalez and Madero's trying to figure out what is going on with that car. Right now, he can't get it to turn on. Remote's not linking. It's too bad I can't read lips, but I can't. Oh, no. Madero's is out. Ready. All right. Well, that's too bad, man. Nice run on by Dustin. So that's it. Maderos is going to be out on that one. Dustin Costa moves on. Dustin still has two in the show. Coming up next. Here we go. We have Sean Batista going against Alden Uriah. Now, let's talk about it. Sean Batista and Alden only have one left in the show. Whoever goes out is gone. Silas Garcia, I, I right, say Silas, it's J. Fab Garcia and Dustin Costa are going to race in the very first race of bracket B. Remember, Dustin still has one in. J. Fab, that's his last one. And then Shelby Tabios against Eli. The only person that has two left in the show is going to be. Dustin Costa, looks like. All right, here they come. We're waiting on uh, Sean Batista right now, going against Alden Uriah. Uriah in the uh, uh, Super Speed RC right lane, and uh, Batista in the Red Monster left lane. Wind, wind is still howling like a crazy one here. <clears throat> 
We're still above 20 mile an hour winds all day. It's been like this all day. Wind whipped. <laughs> so right now, this is our last race of bracket A of round three. Then we'll probably do the bracket, the semifinals in the bracket, then that'll push us off into bracket B of round three. We'll break those down for you here in just a second, but let's watch Sean and Alden run this race. This is ready. Watch your life. Oh. Sean will take the win. So your left lane's going to move on. Sean Batista takes the win. All right, that's the end of Outlaw. What's up, Jose Maldonado, man? I'm just chilling, brother. <laughs> Jeeps are for girls. <laughs> Take a five-minute break and go into bracket. Five-minute break? Well, we'll stay. Well, I'll stay up and running here with you guys because I'm going to break down these next. Uh, I'm going to break down these next races here for you guys. Um, and then we'll get uh, we'll get you guys uh, we'll get you guys up and running here. Let you know what's happening. Okay, in our bracket, we are heading off into the semifinals. Kalani Holbrum um, has the bye, so he's going to move off into the finals. And he's either going to go against Shane Reno or Kevin Inouye. Inouye. I know I'm getting that wrong. He's probably going to go back and listen and say, Billy, Kevin here. Sounds like crap. You don't know what you're doing. Here we go. Bracket. I just lost my outlaw. <laughs> what just happened here? Hold, hold, please. I just lost my outlaw. Is gone. Hmm. Okay, here we go. It's back. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, in outlaw of your round three of of your bracket B is going to be um, J Fab is going against Dustin Costa, Shelby Tabios against Eli Sardone. Um, Kef Tetha against Jerry Baxter, Henry Tabios against Roger Gill, Grandy K against Justin Tagiri, and Steve Slaney against um, Russell Nelson. Now, Kef Tetha and Russell Nelson are from Australia, still in the show, doing a great job. I was just reading some comments over here. Hope you guys are having a very, very awesome day like we are, man. This is it, man. I'm almost done. I'm already, this was a quick, quick in and out of Hawaii for sure. And we're going to run off to uh, back home Monday. And then pack. I got to move out of my house in two weeks, man. Two, anybody want to come help me move? <laughs> ah. I need help moving, man. I hate, that's the worst thing I hate in my life is moving. <laughs> you know what I haven't done, though? Um, I haven't even gone to look over on YouTube today. There should be a lot of people on YouTube because we can't... Uh, <laughs> Bahama Sky, yeah, I know. Hey, there actually is food trucks on Nassau and uh, uh, Grand Bahamas and, uh, my God, I can't think of the other one. Marsh Harbor, Marsh Harbor. Uh, let, you know, let me say hi to over here on YouTube. I have not been over here all day. Twisted Frog, what's up? Bill Chamness, what's up, dude? Unfair RC, 503 NPRC, Salem, Oregon. BBKRC, Hawaii. Look at all these motorcycles fly by, man. They got the doing the wheelies and stuff. That's cool, man. Uh, Unfair RC, go Aussies, Aussies. Mm. Cowley's Mobile Welding. What's up, dude? Infamous, Slick Wit, Dastardly Syndicate. Hey, hey, what up? Yeah, Russell Nelson's doing really good. Unfair RC. <laughs> Unfair RC. <laughs> Abaco. Yeah, man. You know, it's crazy. I don't know who you are, Bahama Sky, but Abaco is one of my favorites. Huh? Box. Oh, it's in my truck. Is, is he leaving now? Okay, give me, give me one sec. Hey, guys, give me just a second. I'll be right back. I got to get something for... Oh, I got one right here. 
That goes to Darren. I have an air tag in there, so I know where it goes. <laughs> Darren, if you're watching, I just handed, what's your name? Mike. I just handed him your ESC, my friend. Thank you for everything you do for me, man. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate you. You live in Nassau. Okay. Nice, bro. I just bought a place in uh, Exuma. I just came from Albaco, man. I love Green Turtle Key, bro. Uh, hey, look, we're going to talk a little about Bahamas for a second, whoever this Bahamas guy is. Hey, Albaco is one of my favorites. Green Turtle Key and uh, Marsh Harbor, they're a Treasure Key. Unfortunately, Treasure Key got hit with those hurricanes, man. I, did they ever get Treasure Key back up and running? I'm not sure. I used to na know the name of the owner that owned that Treasure Key, but I can't remember his name. Abaco is a beautiful, beautiful place. If you guys have never been to Abaco, Bahamas, man, it's it's amazing. We are in a we are in a holding pattern here for a couple more minutes, and then we'll go back to racing. We got the bracket guys coming in in just a second. <laughs> What's up, Terry Reed? What's up, big dog? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, man. <clears throat> Just about over, though, guys. We've got about uh, about eight races left in this round. And then uh, we'll fly off into the... Uh, <laughs> they call me Conky Joe. <laughs> they call me Conky Joe, Mr. Bahama Sky. So, yeah, man. What does that tell you? If you're from Abaco, you know what Conky Joe means. <laughs> There's somebody on YouTube that lives in Nassau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Treasure Key is back. Awesome, man. I told my wife this morning that we're going to head over. We're actually going to head over to Green Turtle Key uh, either August or September, man. I'm going to get over there. I got some friends that own uh, I own a, I forgot the name of the place. Um, he owns a, a freaking a barbecue company. He sells uh, he sells uh, freaking uh, you might know who he is. It's called Skate Skeet Greats or something like that. <laughs> Matthew Ramirez, what's up, big dog? Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, you know what Conky Joe is, bro. <laughs> hey, listen, whoever Bahama Sky is, um, I also do RC Sand Drags, and we're going to put on our first ever RC Sand Drag in Bahamas. I'm going to invite 16 people in 2025. You, ha you have to be, uh, you have to be, uh, uh, you have to get a letter in the mail. <laughs> we're going to run a race on the beach. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we're about done here. I'm just waiting on these guys to get back up here. We'll get back running, and then we'll knock this out of the park. Clear skies. Skies are clear. Looking all around. Um, looks like, the, it looks like you know what's crazy here in Hawaii? Like, at the other end of the island is probably getting hammered right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it's probably getting hammered. And, uh... But we're good to go over here. Let me give you guys a quick rundown of what the what the weather is like right now. It's 78 degrees. The wind is coming out of that east about 21 miles an hour. You know, I I left my damn uh, I I left my damn my temp gauge at, at my house. I didn't bring it. I'd give you guys a track temp. Let me see if I can walk around and get you a track temp. You know what? Let me do that. Let me let me uh, let me fly over there. Let's change this out. I'm going to walk around the other side here and uh, and see if I can find you guys a temp gun. <clears throat> you run the Ghost RC, man. That's good. Right on, man. Well, listen, I'm going to be in Nassau, I think. I think I'm going to be in Nassau next month or the month after. Hey, does anybody have a temp gun? Hey, Eli, you got a... You got a oh. I got you guys a Tim gun. Let me get you guys some. Uh, let me get you guys some Tim's here for a second. Hang tight. So up here on the starting line. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you a Tim off of the off of the prep at 109. And on at 108. <laughs> 109. Should be pretty consistent. It's pretty sunny out now. 110. Yeah. 
108. You see how see how it's getting cooler as we get as we walk east in Hawaii. I'm kidding, Brian. <laughs> I was telling you guys earlier that uh, the, the island is actually, this island actually has cool temps and, and hotter temps than the other parts of the island. If you are in the middle of the island, it's 10 degrees cooler than it is on the outskirts. It's pretty crazy how that works. But, uh, and on the, in the bottom end of this track, it is at 106. So that just goes to show you 109, 108, all the way to 106. Walking around through the pits here, man. A lot of guys are already out for the day. Nice shirt you got. Yes, sir. Hey. <laughs> Let me uh, get around the side here, get these back to Eli. And thanks, bro. And then we will get uh, we'll get back in. No, bro. Yeah, Pete Lucas. All the food trucks are gone. Yeah, man, hit me up on Facebook, dude, message me 100%. I'll be in Nassau, I think, either next month, no, uh, not May, June, uh, J July. I'll be in Nassau, July. I have to go return some papers to my lawyer over there, bro, so hit me up for sure. Uh, no, f the food trucks are all gone. Had four food trucks here today. They were, I didn't have any of them. Looked amazing. Uh, looked really good, but uh, we did not get to get any, any uh, I didn't get any, uh, what do you call it, any dessert today. Uh, so that was bad. Right now, we're in a little bit of a holding pattern right now. We are going to, uh, as soon as the guys, uh, right now we're getting all the batteries charged. The guys are a little bit of break right now. And then we'll get back running. What's up, Slaney? Hey. <laughs> all right, looks like we're gonna get ready to call these boys back up here and get going, man. All right. Let's get back tucked in over here. And attention in the pits. Here we go. Let's go. It's go time, show time. Ready to roll, man. If you guys want to follow along, shoot over to uh, shoot over to rcdragraces.com. You can follow along. And uh, let's break it all down for you right now. 2024 South Pacific NPRC National. It's sponsored by R1, man. Here we go. We're getting ready to run the buy race. Or the buy race. We're getting ready to run the bracket race. It's your round three race number one here in a beautiful Hawaii at the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. It's going to be Kalani Holdrum. Going against nobody. <laughs> he's going he's to go bye, bye, bye. He's going to shoot off and do his bye really quick. And then uh, Shane Reno and Keevan Inouye will uh, run their race. Now, whoever wins that race is going to go head-to-head -head in the finals. And then from there, that'll push us off into outlaw. we got six races left. Six gentlemen left. And one girl. <sighs> Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, here we go. Kalani has a bye to the final. Here we go. Dialing in a two, five, zero. This gentleman on that left side is dialed in at a two, five, zero. We're running bracket right now. His dial-in time was a 2.50, but it doesn't really, truly matter. Now, does it? Because this gentleman on my left side, at the left side on the line, has got the bye. Right, so Kalani's going to run his race, and then uh, Shane Reno. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> he almost lost it at the end. <laughs> you know, I like to watch these cars, man, because sometimes when they're like, you know, sometimes when you go slow, it's not as easy to control it as going fast, right? Because <laughs> sometimes it looks like a worm going down the track, man. It's pretty cool. Look at this right side car, man. That is Keevan. That is, thing is looking pretty sick. He's going against Shane Reno. Shane Reno is your winner of the uh, 2023 uh, Cape Town Meltdown down in, um, uh, I can't even think, New Mexico with my buddy. The left. Alex, the, right. the energy, Morales. They'll run this race, and whoever wins this race is going to go up against uh, Senior Kalani. Here they go. There they go. Shane's on the run. Is he going to catch him? Ooh! Oh, he got him. <laughs> 
Shade is out. Shade breaks out with a two. Ah, oh, Shade broke out, man. <laughs> he All right. Up the double O six light and runs two seventy four nine. Double O six light ran a two seventy nine. All right, man. So that means that's going to be Keevan and Kalani. Keevan and Kalani are going to go head to head in the finals, and I believe the winner of that race is going to win nine hundred. No, four hundred. Uh, it doesn't say. But I think, guys, I think the winner of your bracket will win 400 and um, uh, 100, I think it was. I don't remember. Something like that. Let's just talk about what's coming up next. We are in your round three, race number one of bracket B. We've already ran our bracket A. Remember, Dustin Costa still has one in the show. He's going head-to-head -head with JFAB. JFAB left, Dustin Costa right on deck of your race number two of your bracket B of your round three. It's going to be Shelby Tabios, a.k.a. Eli. Skittles going against John. Eli Sardone. Race number three is John. I'm sorry, I always get that wrong. That's going to be Kef Tetha coming out of Australia. He's going against Jerry Baxter. Um, and then Henry Tabios against Roger Gill. Hawaii against Kentucky. And then Grandy K against Justin Tagari. And Steve Slaney is going head to head against the, the other Aussie. Aussie. Mate, down under. Down under, mate. I can't say it. <laughs> Russell Nelson. Been watching Russell Nelson all day, man. He's doing really, really good. <clears throat> Those guys came all the way in from... Um, they came all the way in from Australia. Did they say it was a 10-hour flight? Yeah. 10 hours, right? Yeah, because we were six. And they, were they were six. We were six hours, and they were 10 hours. That crazy, man. So that means that when he came... Yeah, Hawaiian Air goes from here to there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. We're going to Australia. <laughs> All right. We're just waiting on the boys to get up to tech. I see JFab is already following suit. He's ready to go. Dustin Costa's coming up right behind him. Shelby Tabios and Eli Sardone are getting ready. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so, yeah, man, if you guys are just joining us, we are in round three uh, here at the uh, 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. We're in race number uh, one. Race number one, it's going to be uh, Dustin Costa coming out of that right lane. He's out of that super speed lane. And then JFab, and here they come, coming to the line as we speak. JFab's coming out of Dallas, Texas, man. Took a nice big flight to come over here to not only race, but to have vacation with his family. But first things first, racing. Here he comes. JFab is coming out of that left lane with Dustin Costa right on deck. It's going to be Shelby Tabios and Eli Sardone. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going back to racing. This is going to be a quick round, and that'll push us off into race number or round. Round number four. We'll relook at the brackets as soon as they uh, as soon as they get up and running, and bring them back to you, and then we'll break it down, let you know who's in, who's out, and who's got two, and who's got one. We already know what our we already know what our our finals are going to be in the uh, <clears throat> excuse me in the uh, in the bracket, which I've already run that down for you guys. And then after this round, we'll take us a quick 10-minute break. After that 10-minute break, we'll be back and do it again. Watch this race. Remember, Dustin Costa on the right side. He still has two in the show. JFab has only have one. Dustin got him. Dustin is on fire, man. He is on fire. He is just going to – he's continuing and continuing to dominate. So that means Dustin still has two coming into round four. So JFab is going to be out. Okay, brackets are just going to reset for me. They, I don't know where they went. They just went somewhere. And here they go. Shelby Tabios is coming out of that red monster lane in that left side. Eli Sardone is coming out of not only the right side, but the super speed and super speed RC.com lane. This is going to be a good race. I've been watching Shelby, uh, you know, yeah, I've been, I, listen, I've been watching them all, all day, but you, you know, you, 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 you tend to watch certain people. Shelby's on fire, man. Let's see if she can continue. If you do not remember, man, Redemption 1.0 is where she kind of came out, broke out, was on fire. She was running people down. She was racing people back before this, this one threes, one fours, one fives wasn't even a thing, man. She was a thing. And it's been a minute since I've seen her on the track. She's been actually a uh, kickboxing. I guess she's pretty good at it. <laughs> so uh, let's see how she does. Uh, here comes Eli now. And on deck of your race number three of your bracket B of your round three 
is going to be Kef Tatha and Jerry Baxter. And then Henry Tabios is going to get with Roger Gill. Listen, Roger Gill is still in the show. He's still rolling down. You know, he, he the last race, I remember, he lucked out because that gentleman crossed. But, hey, that's called racing, right? Oh, man, that's a race. Woo, Eli got her. But, boy, that was a race. I wish I could tell you guys what the, what the hell the uh, – the times were, but they, I, I can't, they, I, I can't tell you. Sorry. <laughs> they won't, they won't give them to me, but it's cool. That's the way it is. Good, good run on, uh, on both. Listen, I'm telling you, man, she can run a car. All right. Coming up next here. He comes, man, coming out of Australia. It's Kef Tetha going against Jerry Baxter, Baxter, right? Teth, Kef Tetha, uh, left. Uh, Kef is going to be in that red monster lane. Jerry's going to be off in this super lane. And then on deck of your race number four of your back of B of your round three is Henry Tabios and Roger Gill. So Tabios is still have one in the show. Roger Gill, Justin Tagiri, Grady, Grandy K, Steve Slaney, and Russell Nelson are going to end these races here. We've got four left. Sorry. Yes, we do. Four left. So it's going to be Kev Teth in the left lane, and Jerry Baxter in the right. Here we go. This is going to be a good race. I'm really curious to see how he does. <clears throat> how great would that be to come all the way from Australia at 10-hour flight and come in here to the 2024 South Pacific Nationals and take home the gold coming out of Australia? That'd be a really good win, man. That'd be, that'd be something that they'd, they, I think they'd probably do the ticker tape parade uh, back at, uh, I think he's from, I don't remember if he's in Queens. I forgot where he's from, but. This is ready. I should know these things. Here we go. Ooh! <laughs> I'm telling you, you hear that laugh, that left lane, man. He is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Australia for the W. All right. Let's see if his boy can back it up, man. Here we go. So Kev Teth is going to move on. Coming up next, Henry Tabios and Roger Gill. Tabios left coming out of that red monster lane. Roger Gill coming out of that right lane, man. That's that uh, super speed lane. See how he does. And then on deck of your race number five, a bracket B of round three is Grandy K and Justin Tagir. And then our last race of this round is going to be Steve Slaney going against the other Aussie, Russell Nelson. You know, Russell's got to have a little nerves going on right now, man. He's going against guys like, you know, Slaney. You know, he's the winner of your Atmore, Alabama in 2023. You know what I'm saying? And Slaney races everything. He not only does he race drag, I've seen him race dirt. I've seen him race oval. I've seen him do it all, man. So he's going up against a guy that loves to race. And there they go. I believe Tabio's got him. That lane will take the win. Roger Gill's going to go home to Kentucky with no W. Henry Tabios is going to move on. Coming up next, here they come. Grandy K. I cannot say his last name. That's why I keep saying K. Next, and Justin Nelson. Tagir. And then Steve Slaney and Russell Nelson. That's going to end this round in just a minute, man. And, whew, it's getting wild. It's getting wild. And I'm going to tell you why, man. I, it really, really, stuff like this really excites me. And I'm going to tell you why. When guys take time out of their lives, and their work and and you know i don't know if kef or, or russell has family back in australia but they take time to come off into here and do something that they love and they're going against guys that have won big races back home you know there's a lot of guys that are sitting here at this race right now and i'm talking team reckless have taken last year five w's at nationals last year so to come into here, and if Australia is already doing a great job, but could you imagine if they come out of here with a W and imagine if they do a 1-2? You never know. Here they go. This is a rerun right now of the last. Whoa! Dang, that car went flying. Woo-wee. That, that car... <laughs> I, 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 I can't even tell you. That car was at least 20 feet in the air. It looked like a sand drag race. <laughs> All right. Here they come. This is your Steve. This is your Steve Slaney. This is your race number six. Bracket B of round three. This is going to tell you if we have two going into the next one with the Australians or the California kid, Mr. Steve Slaney. Here they come. Slaney's coming out of that left lane with that red monster lane. Russell out of that right lane. That's a super speed lane. <laughs> I 
I don't know what Steve just Steve Steve Slaney just looked over at me and said something and winked at me. <laughs> I don't even know what what the hell just happened. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Slaney left Nelson right. Was he winking? Or? I'm just kidding. Watch you like Oh, Slaney. Right lane will take the win. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, he had a problem with his car. I don't know what happened with his car, man. I'll find out in a little while, but something went down. But you touched your car. I saw him. I don't, th you know, I don't think I something was wrong with his car. I think something was wrong with it. And he knew, I'll be honest with you guys. I think he knew something was wrong with his car. And he went ahead. What he did is, is, is Slaney, like actually tapped the car to get it to go. Uh, you know, <clears throat> you know, then you got Russell, you know, he, he had to be nervous, co you know, coming up to the line there, man. But, you know, it's luckily Steve didn't uh, run his car because Russell hit the wall. So that would that would have put Russell out. Okay, listen, we're gonna take a break. <clears throat> let me let me double check a couple things, and then we'll take us a break and just for just a little bit, not too long, guys, and then we'll come back and kill it again. Do it again. Whew. What a hell of a day, man. This has been a good time. Uh, first and foremost, thanks everybody for joining me today. I know we're not on NPRC TV anymore, and I know there's not even there's like tons of people don't even know we're live right now <laughs> but uh, unfortunately it is what it is uh I, but for all i have to say is, is thank you guys for hopping on board today man it's been fun uh right now we're gonna take us a quick break we'll come back we'll talk about the sponsors again and then um and then that'll push us off into round four let's you know what really really quick while i take my break if you guys want to, you can head over to rcdragraces.com. Okay, now listen to me when I tell you this. You can see what is going on. Well, no, you can't. They haven't loaded them yet. Stand by, please. All right. All I have is the finals for brackets. So give it a second. Oh, there it goes. It just loaded. See, look at that. Boom. Um, well, All right, let's we're gonna take a 15 minute break. They're going to take a 15 minute break. So how about this? I'll take 10. I'll come back. We'll talk about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven races left in the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. We'll go over the sponsors. We'll talk about who's in it, who's in it to win it, who's, who's still rolling, who do I think is going to take home the gold, who I'd like to see take home the gold, who's going to take no, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, give me 10 minutes, uh, guys, and we'll come back and uh, you all go to, hey, go get a beer, go get some whiskey, whatever it is you do, man, and then we'll come back for, uh, for round four. We'll see you in just a minute.
Working on a lecture Versus coming daily under pressure Working on a plot and a scheme The true stop trademark is at the edge of your dreams I'm talking one One shot for the kill The priest can't freeze up Straight drop and kill the time Taking over pieces and shares of all the sky high, check the movement is here. Yeah, it's one, one, one shot, now the future is yours. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula in chemistry. In the Marie spark and motivate and make the industry shake. You take the balls to the brakes, I'm talking one. One chance at best, yes. They is bitches for the culture, keep the pressure fresh. Think the drum, the vocal drum, a passion of the rest. Freedom is our teacher, I'm the pressure, I'm the best. Yeah, we're still going, where we go. It's one, one, one shot, not a future, the children's go. Yeah, it's one, one, one shot, not a future, the children's go. Time to turn a reality into a dream, baby. Here we go. It's round four. Get ready, man. Let's break it down. I'm gonna break it all down. Break it down right now, man. You guys get ready, man. Get off them, get off them phones, get off them iPads, man, and listen up because it's go time, show time. And here we go. Let's talk about it. All right. Your race number one, your race number one of your round four. It's Justin Tagiri going against Titus Garcia coming out of Dallas, Texas. Race number two of bracket A of round four. It's Haram Charisma Jr. and Dustin Costa. Remember, Dustin Costa still has two in the show, man. Race number three, bracket A of round four. It's Jean Batista and Scott Masuda. That's gonna start. That will be your bracket A shooting off into bracket B. Here we go. It's Justin Tagari. Actually, sorry, Justin has two in the show. My bad. He's going against Eli Serdon. And then Henry Tabios is going head to head against Mr. Dustin Costa. And then we got Kev Tetha. Oh no. Going against Russell and Nelson. Two Aussies going head to head but what does that mean it means one from australia is gonna go to the show mate who's it gonna be <laughs> and then your finals of your round four your bracket a of your final race in the bracket is gonna be keenan Inouye, and kalani holbrum Live here in Hawaii, it's 2024. South Pacific NPRC Nationals is sponsored by R1 Works. Super Speed is your left lane. Red Monster is your right. And then the rest of your sponsors goes down just like this. Sure can. Racer RC. Get stuck. 808 Fuel. Accelerate RC, Voodoo Shark, TH Designs, Live Action, Happy Birthday, Tony Todd, RC Speed Secrets, Straight Line, Spoilers, Drag Works, RC, JM Portable, Mactown Audio, Monster Energy, Macklin or McClan. You could fight with OKO on how you say Macklin or McClan, and Rockwell RC. Is your sponsors for this beautiful, beautiful day. Clouds just rolled in. I, I, I think I'm about to lie to everybody. I think we might get some rain. <laughs> oh, boy. We will find out ah, in a minute. Hope everybody's having a great day, man. It's good to be. Uh, I've been off the mics for a little while, man. It's kind of good to be back, man, and uh, calling some races. Uh, it's been a minute. I actually forgot how to do it. <laughs> Ah, it's been fun, man. But let's talk about what's coming up next. Three weeks. You know, I talk about the RC Gator Nationals like no other, and I'll tell you why. Last year when uh, Foster Yates and myself were there, it was just, it was awesome, man. I mean, it, it, I just came off of surgery. I was hurting. It was a one week into my surgery, and I didn't care. And me and Foster, man, we gave it everything we got at the Gators to show Michael Burkadell that, uh, 
that we could do the show. We could do it for him, right? <laughs> Hello, Sarah Vega, a.k.a. Cookie Monster. <laughs> the Gators, man, are special. It's special. It's a lot of good people, a lot of great times, man. Last year was a great time. It was fun. Michael Mercadell is he's one of the best when it comes to putting on races, man. End of story. Yeah, yeah, I'll fight you all day long. <laughs> he's been doing it for 13 years. And yes, it is a full prep track. So join us at the Gators. April 26th, 27th, and 28th. It's in Ocala, Florida. It's a big Dottie Don Garlitz Museum. You know who he is. He's 92 years old. He's still a firecracker. <laughs> I got to meet him last year, man. He was out, out cleaning up. He still cleans up his yard, man. He takes care of that property like no other. People mess with his property and mess with his home. Pete Lucas, all the way from Australia. The is that the uh, onion, the blooming onion, blooming onion? <laughs> uh, who else is on board today, man? How's everybody doing today? Titus for the win. Okay, okay. That channel. I don't know. We're going to see. Who's going to take it home, man? Who, you know, who do you guys think? I, told, I ran it down for you. I told you who's running. Should be good. All right, guys. One minute. One minute till showtime. This should go pretty quick. It looks like we've got seven races left. We'll knock these seven races out, and then uh, they'll take another 15-minute break. And, uh, and then uh, we're getting close. But I got to tell you, though, guys. I'm not sure, but we got we might have a little rain coming in. I'm not sure. You know, I don't know how the Hawaii weather. <laughs> it looks like we might get some rain coming in. We'll find out in just a little bit. The blooming onion, baby. <laughs> Take that Aussie built car to the finals, Russell. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Francis Stone and Pete Lucas, man. Yeah, dude, they're, they're, those guys are. Uh, you know, the downfall to it, man. And listen, that's that's the that's the lay of the land, man. That's the way it is. But unfortunately, Kev Tetha and Russell have got to go head to head against each other in the finals, uh, or well, not in the finals, but in uh, in this round, man. You know, we got good news and we got bad news, man. Is is who's going to go? Is going to be Russell or Kev? Uh, the good news is, man, for the Australians, you got another one going to the show. Uh, and unfortunately, you got the other one out. But on that, you know, with, on that note, let's talk about that for a second. You also have two friends. You know, I was talking to Russell and uh, talking to uh, Kef on Thursday. And they were telling me, you know, how they traveled together and, and how Russell just kind of got into it and got, you know, and they race together. I don't know, you know, I, I don't know how deep that friendship goes, but they traveled here with each other, man, and they're doing a hell of a job. I, I haven't really been down there to talk to them at the in the pits to kind of see what's going on, you know. Um, but I can tell you, they're doing a great job, and I I I, I hope they uh, I hope they uh, I hope they move it to the. I hope one of them makes it to the finals. That'd be really cool, man. That would be super super cool to see one in the finals. I shattered my screen on my phone. Son of a buck. I sure did. Oh, man. Ouch. <laughs> I just got a new phone. I already shattered the screen. No. <laughs> All right. Where is this in a holding pattern? If you're just joining us, then uh, you're probably from the West Coast. Because if you're from the East Coast, it is midnight. <laughs> you're 11 o'clock at night, man. If you guys are still on the West Coast, man, I want to say thank you for, for, for hanging in there. If you're on the West or the East Coast, if you're on the East Coast, man, give me a give me a, a what up, dude. What up, Billy? Just kind of curious of who's who's still in it. If you're still on the East Coast, uh, let me know. I'm kind of curious. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, that's a long time ago. Omar GC, what's up, big dog? All right, here we go. It's 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 ready. It's been marinating, and here they come. It is ready to go. Race number one, round four, bracket A. It's Justin Tagari and Titus Garcia. 
Justin still has two in the show. There they go. Ooh, I think Justin got him. Oh, dang, Titus's car is mangled, man. Oh, look at that car down there. He, I don't know what happened, but his car, his, his car came across. It only repays the, the front. His car came across at the end and just, uh, it hit that curb, man. So unfortunately, Justin, uh, Justin's going to move on and Titus is out. So here we go, Justin. That means Justin still has two in the show, man. Coming up next, race number two of Bracket A. If you're round four, it's Haram Charisma Jr. and Dustin Costa. Costa still has two in the show as well. And then on deck after that of your race number three is Sean Batista and Scott Masuda. And that'll push us off into Bracket B, which is going to be Justin again that just won that race against Titus. He'll go against Eli Sardon. And then Henry Tabios is going against Dustin Costa. Ready. And then Kef Tetha and Russell Nelson. Here we go. Ah, that right lane's going to move on on that one, man. I tell you, I'm t Dustin Costa is on fire. He still has two in the show, and now he has one in the show for sure. He just won that race. That's going to put him off into the next round. Nice. Huh? I said hi. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Sarah, Wendy says hi. <laughs> this girl talk. Sorry, guys. <laughs> let's get let's get back to the to men stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. And Sarah, women stuff. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sean Batista in the left lane going against Scott Masuda in the right. And then on deck is Justin Tagir. Again, has two left in the show. Going against Eli Serdone. Watch your light. Mm, I'm not sure what happened with Sean. Looks like he stuck to the ground. And that's going to that's gonna be it for Sean Batista for today. Great job, Sean. You know, he came, he came pretty far, man. Him and Tatum always run together. Tatum, unfortunately, couldn't bring home the gold off into the bracket. But Sean still was moving on. But unfortunately, All right, that is the, the, Batista, the, side. the Batista brothers so we're going to run the final. are out. For bracket. So right now we're going to run the final for bracket, which is going to be Keevan Inouye going against Kalani Holrum, Holdbron. <laughs> I love these names, man. Kalani and Keevan. I love it. This is your bracket race. This is your finals for your bracket. Who's going to take home the, I believe, $400? I'm, 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 don't hold me to that. I think it's 400 and 100 I believe, I think. But Keevan and Kalani are going to go head to head in just a minute. And then we'll go off into bracket B of round four and race number one. It's Justin Tagari going against Eli Serdone. Justin still has two in the show. And then race number two of bracket B of your round four, it's going to be Henry Tabios going against Dustin Costa. Costa is a missile right now. He hasn't fumbled. He hasn't bobbled. He hasn't weaved. He's an arrow. And then that puts us off into race number three of your bracket B of your round four. It's going to be Kef Tetha out of Australia and Russell Nelson out of Australia. <laughs> That's all I got for you on my Australian accents. <laughs> um, I've been talking about them all day, man. Really proud of these guys. Doing a great job, man. I still haven't found out what happened with Jason. Lowry is here from Australia, but I don't know what happened. He, he, I'm not sure, man. He was here, and then he left, and I'm, I'm not sure if he had a, a car go out. Jason, if you're watching, man, uh, chime in. What happened, brother? All right, here they come. It's Keevan and Kalani. It's the, it's the KK. KK, K and K. <laughs> H-I-J-K. Keevan Annoy is going to come out of that left lane. And Kalani Holbrum is coming out of that right lane. And this is going to be your finals for the bracket. Who is going to take home the $4.2 million in the bracket today? <laughs> he's already ready to go. He, listen, he is ready to go. He's like, uh, he's not even going to wait on him. He's like, listen, sir, get your car ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. Look at that car. You know, I'm sorry I don't have out the, uh, the, the, our Handycams. You know, we bought this new Handycam, Handycam.com. Uh, but without Cam Abel here, I, I can't I, I can't get my I can't have the handy cams out while I do everything. So I'm doing everything myself. My wife is not helping at all. <laughs> Keevan and Kalani, here they go. There he goes. 
Ooh, oh, man. Your left lane is going to... Your winner. Kiva takes home the gold against Kalani. Kalani hit the wall about three quarters track, man. Congratulations to those guys. Kalani runs 258-0 on a 250 dial. Nice, man. Nice job by those boys. All right, here we go. Uh, we're probably getting ready for a bracket uh, B of your round four of your outlaw. I've already broken it down for you, but let's do it one more time. Here they come. It's Justin Taga Tagiri going against Eli Serdone. Justin still has two in the show. Henry Tabios is going head-to-head -head with Mr. Dustin Costa, man, the arrow. And John, a.k.a. Kef Tetha. And Russell Nation, uh, Nelson Nation. <laughs> the two Aussies are going to head, go head to head in just a second. We're waiting on them to come up. And then that'll push us into round five in bracket A. <clears throat> Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. We are live in Hawaii. It is, it's only uh, five o'clock in the afternoon here. And we're, we're just uh, getting round four underway here, and then we'll get that done. Push us off into round five. Give him what's on your head. You don't got nothing? I don't want to talk. I want to talk with you. We're going to talk. I'm going to stay over here, though. I'm going to stay because it'll, it'll, it'll interfere. I can hear it. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Is it interfering? A little. Ah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> How you yo, doing? yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> hey, JFAB's way down there and I'm way down here. Oh, Talk to me, brother. Son of a gun. What happened today? <sighs> you know, I'm going to tell you this. If you ever fly anywhere, you know, one thing I didn't do, I didn't open my shocks and let the air out when I was on the yeah? flight. Yeah. And I struggled the whole time. Yeah. And then the second I cracked the shocks, put them back on, poof, you saw my car start working. Yeah. But it was too late. Like, that was B round. Let me ask you B a question. Bracket. Don't take this the wrong way. When I found that out. Rookie move? I've never flown with the car before. Ah. So, like, I had overheard one time in a conversation um, at my race in Dallas, and someone came down and was like, oh, I had to rebuild my shocks when I got here. And I'm like, yeah. why? Okay. And they're like, the air pressure. Bro, it does goofy stuff. Yeah. Don't open up a Sprite when you're 35,000 feet in the air. She had a Sprite sitting in the thing and I opened it Boom. up and it went, Psh, wow, bro. So, hey, that's the only thing that I changed and the car started working. Yeah. And it, and no matter what, mine and Titus's car are identical. So like at 80 feet, our cars were spinning. Yeah. I yeah. saw me wreck it. I don't ever wreck a car. So let me Mainly. ask you a question. When you, when you figured out that, you know, you, you did the shocks, same thing with his. So I did my shocks, my car goes, boom. I said, Titus, hey, let's do your shocks. And he's like, no, I don't think that was it. It was something else. Okay, fine. And his car spun in the same freaking spot. Yep. Did his shocks. Yep. Right down Broadway. No way. But it was too, we were too, it was. That's an FYI for you guys. Yeah. It, it's, do me, hey, when you do me a favor, make sure you can hear us okay. Just, just give me, just that's all. Hey, bro, I, listen. It was too late. I, that's insane. So, so for you, Titus to make it as far as he did, I'm, we're super happy. You're happy. And even me, like I made it to the third or fourth round. Yeah. But, but, so, but, but, but here's the thing. Like your team let's talk about your team okay yeah. like in your team chat those guys fly a lot did not anybody say anything no or let me ask you a question not, did I anybody was, even know no no one knew no one knew i was i don't i haven't gone in our team chat to even look man when we're there it's nuts. yeah 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 yeah, you yeah, yeah. Don't, I, you know. I i always think of the way you guys talk and the way you and guys sometimes right like when it's um from texas to ohio it's local man the, my car was on the plane for 13 hours yeah 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 yeah, right? yeah, yeah. so maybe it didn't ha that's the i don't know people could be like jay you're a freaking idiot that doesn't happen <laughs> i'm not watching the comments here all let me see i know is all I, let me see all i did was <laughs> open the shock and tighten it back up and same tune i actually put more power no left the tune alone poof a to b and that was the pass where i flipped the car no kidding yeah and then it poof a to b i'm like oh my god Sweet, we're good. But again, I found that out. We're going to continue at 5.30. I found that out in A bracket. Yeah. Oh, man. So, 8 minutes. 8. 
Eight. We will continue at 5.35. We're trying to fix the timing system. 5.35, guys, we'll go back to racing here. I got Jay Fab all the way in from Dallas, Texas, man. He's talking about, uh, we're talking about, here, here we go. We, we, I'm, I'm looking at, yeah, Chris KDP says, great advice. So um, Steve told me they, they do that on road cars. They have a little thing, and then they open it up the shock to let the air yeah, out. They put it back yeah, on the yeah, road yeah, cars. Yeah. He said it's big. big Brad on Waldrop that. said, is Jay and, and Titus out? Yeah, they're out, bro. Titus just went out. Yeah, he so just went out. Titus to make it to that he was in a top Round six. Four. Round four. Round four. We're ecstatic. Yeah. I mean, heck, I'm here for six more days, so everyone kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. I'm gonna listen. This Costa and Justin, these kids are on fire, man. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. So let's talk about that for just a second. You know, let's I got yeah. I got JFab with me right now. Race number one of our bracket B of round four, you got Justin Tagir going against Eli Sardone. What are you thinking? Eli. Uh, Henry Tabios and Dustin Costa. Henry. <laughs> and then, uh, okay, you don't know Russell Nelson. Russell Nelson is from Australia. He came in with Kef Tetha. Yeah. You know, I know you know Kef. Yeah, but I've seen his car. Looking good. Who does he race? Who's going to take that one? Who, who is it? Uh, Kev Tetha or Russell, both are from Australia. Oh. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, they're in the bracket together. I think Kev takes it. Ugh. Yeah, I think Kev is going to take man, it. Because you know why? Because Home Chicken, he just hit the wall down there and blew a tire up. And he, he blew did. a tire up. And yep. that will mess with your brain. Yeah, I know. When you got a switch car, like, he broke some stuff. <laughs> let, let me ask you a question. Because, you, you know, you know Steve Slaney. And we don't know uh, this this yeah. kid, uh, yeah. Nelson, right? Yeah. Slaney had problems with his car. Is he a And car? he knew he had problems with his car. Yeah. Do you think that this cat from Australia would maybe sense that? I don't know. I was stand, I was down at the, the like a tiger and a gazelle. To, yeah, I was at the <laughs> beginning looking to see what was going to happen because, yeah. to be honest, in the A bracket, no, in the B you had a lot of fast people. So yes. I needed to see what Steve was going to do. Yeah. Because there was a good chance if Titus won and Steve won, they were going to get they were going to get you know up there. So. I just saw Steve look over and he shook his head no. Yeah. And I knew I was like, his ESC's yeah, gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Steve tries to pat his car. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I want to say this on the live too. Not just because I have a ghost or because I ran an R1. A lot of ESC's have blown up this week. Uh, three blew up in Texas. A couple blown up here. A ghost blew up. So people that get online and they start talking crap, make sure it's both ways. Right? Like, we all know R1s blow up. Like, I've turned four of them on, they pop a cat pack. I had a cat pack kick me in the freaking eye. Yeah. But I've also blown up a, a, a ghost, too, because we run these things ragged. We run them to the complete edge of, you know, exploding, and nothing's invincible to these things. So, if someone comes on, just do me a favor and just think about both sides of what's going on, right? You, you got to think about both. But, yes, did a ghost blow up? Yep. Did it. R1 blow up? Yep. You know, the, the the line isn't crazy sticky either right now. So it's just, it, it's electronics, man. You know, it's just the way it goes. That's all there is to it. Sorry, man. I'm going to all the, these comments really the, quick. I'm on three different channels. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about vacation, man. How are you, how you liking Hawaii? Man, love it. You love so it. So we flew in. We got in at 1.30 on Wednesday. Uh, got to the Hilton. Literally, like, took our bags, stripped our clothes straight to the beach. <laughs> so yeah. we were on the beach by, like, 3.30. No kidding. Yeah. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Stayed until sunset. Yeah. Which was awesome. Dude, the water's freaking cold. It's cold. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's cold. This, I'm not used. I'm from Texas. Like, if it's 80 outside, the water's 80. <laughs> if it's 100, the water's 100. Right, right, right. It's Arizona. 80, hey. It's 80 here. It's 50 degrees or something. The yeah, water's if freezing. If it's 100 out, it's bath water. <laughs> yeah. It's um, a sauna, but holy moly. But are you, it's beautiful. We saw sea turtles. Uh, we, you know, and we were in, we're where, like, no one sees sea turtles, I guess. Because yeah. I think we need to go to North Beach or North Beach or something. Where y'all were going? North Shore. North Shore. So we're going to go there Monday. North Shore, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go there Monday. 
We went, so we rented a Jeep, which was awesome because I've never really been in a Jeep. But yeah. I figured, when I saw your Rubicon, I was like, yeah. oh my God, we got to get a Jeep. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So we got a Jeep and we went to um, something that you drive through over by North Shore, like a park. Okay. Man, I've never seen something pretty cool. more beautiful in hey, my life. Hey, listen, man, just take, just take my advice. If you go do that North Shore on what day? Monday. Okay. Go all the way around. Right. Go, go past North Shore, bro, and go all the way around the island. Okay. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. On the back side, on the east side, what they call it, it, it was just spectacular. I mean, you're up against the mountains, yes. a beautiful brother. It yeah, was yeah, amazing. Yeah. Take that run, because it was good. And stop at, the, at this place. There's a bunch of food trucks. Okay. You go past the North Shore. It's two miles past Turtle Bay. Okay. You'll see a bunch of food trucks, dude, and eat the churros at that uh. place right there and call me. <laughs> But they, the churros didn't tear up the churros. They were amazing, bro. <laughs> it was the best churro. And he, he, she had deep fried cheesecake, she had deep fried cheesecake oh, bro. Wow. And it was amazing. Listen, their, I love cheesecake. So their I got to Cookies try and that. cream was homemade. Oh my God. You got to no, do that. But take that. It was a beautiful run, man. It's going to take you all day. Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. Uh, I don't leave until Thursday morning. Yeah. Take so, the run, man. You'll yeah, love it on the backside. It yeah. was beautiful. Um, but no, I mean, the beach, it's awesome. I never, you know, I love it. What's We're that? used to the, the Gulf Coast, coast. It's like brown water and right, right, brown right, sand. Right, right, it's right. ugly. So we, I stuck through it. We finally got in the water. Once you get in the water and you stick around. Yeah, 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 yeah. kind of get used to it. What but, are you guys doing tomorrow? Anything fun? Uh, I'm actually going to go to church. So okay. there's a local church that's here. Cool. Um, we're going to go to that. Like, we're we're everywhere. We're yeah. Jehovah's Witness. So we're We're, we're going to shoot off to Maui for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna go to Maui. You're gonna fly, now. Bro. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna fly to Maui. Bro, that's the beauty about working for Southwest Airlines. I gotta get in here because there's a hundred and ten open seats on the first uh, to go over, and there's a hundred and twenty on the on the way back. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> so this is, you know, this is the crazy thing. We've dealt with rain all like for the last like two days. Okay. And when go it, ahead and keep talking about yeah, it. When hey, it hey, hey. rains here, it's crazy. I'm gonna go grab my camera. Co yeah. Co cover that camera. Yeah, hang yeah, on, yeah, J yeah. hang on, JFab. Give me one sec, bro. No, you're good. You sound better the farther you go, anyways. <laughs> so if anyone's listening, it's it's this weird haze rain. And Dallas, when it rains, it just pours and you're soaking wet. This is a, a the strangest mist rain I've ever dealt with before. We got some rain coming down, guys. So we're now we're really gonna go into a, a holding pattern get these cameras out of the rain and then we'll see what's going to happen okay. here man i'm not sure if this and i know gonna... i know the guys are really irritated the local guys because they say it never rains over here ever yeah. right there's certain part of the islands that it just never rains and i this is part of it <laughs> emmanuel Acevedo says you need a trick out of rubicon 397 jeep no i have one i'm about to do a whipple on it on parker i just got the whipple okay yeah no kidding in yep. a jeep yep Nice. 2024. If Park's listening, he knows we we're about to really? do it. Really? Yep. I think he's going to be sick, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I told him not to do it, but you know, he's going to do it. <laughs> Who's doing it? Me. No, no, no. Whose truck? Parker's. Parker's Rubicon. Park Eyes brand? Yes. Yeah. Parker. Oh. Parker's got a, yeah. He's got, he's got a Rubicon. Yeah. He just nice. got it. Yep. Truly Has like 150 miles or something on it. Pete Lucas is saying, I love, I was just trying to see. I was seeing if anybody's, nobody, yeah, hey man. Nothing you can do about ESCs. That rain is now coming down actually pretty good. Yeah, it's coming down pretty hard. There goes the neighborhood. Yeah, it's gonna be a delay for a Meaning, while. Meaning, there's not even a cloud in the sky. Yeah, it's, that's it's, what I'm telling you, it's, it's crazy. It's like Arizona. Yeah, it's nuts, it just starts raining. On that on that backside, when we went on that backside yesterday, um, it rained all day, man. But it, yeah. was, it was really cool. It rained where, where we went. When yeah. we went through that park, it rained the whole time. Man, I didn't know time. about that park because I took the Jeep through it. Was it like an oh. off-road park? No, 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 no. It's all, you know, paved and oh, you gotcha. just go through a park. Have you ever gone, um, we were gone to Garden of the Gods in Colorado? Huh. So, no. it, okay, it's just like that. You just drive through this whole, but man, it is beautiful. It, 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 you know, something else on the backside, uh, really quick. Hey guys, if you're just joining us, we're on a, now we're really on a, on a holding pattern. We got rain coming in. We're here at the 2024 um, South Pacific NPRC I, Nationals. I got JFab Garcia out of Dallas, Texas. We're just kind of hanging out, man. Just uh, shooting the crap. We're going to be on break for a little bit. <laughs> um, 
What the hell is I telling you? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Move that stuff down. Here, just grab the whole table. Just come down with it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's good. I was telling you something, dang it. I was going to tell you. Um, oh, just on that backside was just beautiful, man. Nice yeah. run. It'll be good. So, there's a camera that's facing Jay's feet. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. It's that one. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Those are size 10s, guys. <laughs> 11. <laughs> Nikes. <laughs> 11. You're here till Wednesday, though, right? Yeah. Uh, what, what, Wednesday, we leave Wednesday morning, or what's Thursday the kids morning. Liking? What are they thinking? Oh, they love it. They love it. Yeah, huh? Nova can't get here, right? like enough of it. Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My I wife like has been here. Place. My wife's from Cali, so she's been here three times. Um, different island. I don't think she's been on this island. And I'm I don't. Sure. And I don't think she'll ever come back. The traffic is crazy. No, we don't mind it. You don't? Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. I'll come back. This Bro, is nice. I've been to New York. I've been to. I've been to. East LA, <laughs> I've been to all yeah. of them, bro. And this by far yeah, this is, is hands lot. down the worst traffic I've yeah. ever seen. Six miles, 48 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Hey, if Henry does the uh, in, uh, Nationals part two next year, can we do it on Maui? <laughs> <laughs> or or, or in, in Universal Studios, at Hawaii Universal Studios. So how, when are y'all leaving? <sighs> Monday. Monday. I got it. So are okay, you gonna fly, fly from Maui back home? No, no, no. We're just going to go for the day tomorrow. Oh, okay. So Ma Maui. I have nothing back. to do tomorrow, so we're just going to go. And that's what? 30 minute flight? Yeah. Like, a, like as fast as you it's, go it's, up, it's, as fast it, as you They don't even go above 10,000. Oh, my God. Literally, bro, it's going to be like this. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. yeah. <clears throat> but you know what, man? I, we don't have nothing to do tomorrow. And I don't want to go. Listen, I don't want to go about, sit in that traffic again tomorrow. Yeah. We actually had a really good flight. Yeah. It was so. From, we went from Dallas to San Diego. It's like two and a half hours. We had like a two hour layover, which was good because I usually don't fly good at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. And um, it was a six hour flight, but we got 30 minutes. So it was five and a half. I watched two movies on. Yeah, yeah. On the Me flight, too, dude. You know what I do is I work bro. for an I hour. Sit there and and I work. I work my butt off yeah. and get it done. And it, it, I just go through. Uh, I get through my that six hours yeah. was like a breeze. I'm, oh, you know yeah. what I'm watching, though, man? Yeah, you know, I don't mean to kind of get off, off track. I mean, what else do you know who Steve Martin is? Yeah, it's Steve yeah, Martin, yeah, 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 the yeah, jerk, yeah. right? Yeah. Martin is. Listen, if you guys ever get a chance, and Dino Tapia, if you're listening right now, me and Dino always like to share like shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Martin, part one. I, I've seen part one. Now I'm going to watch part two. It's about his life. I'm going to tell you like this. This guy, Steve Martin, is absolutely insane on, on the, what he went through to get where he's at. And, and to become who he is. The black Steve Martin. The black huh? Steve Martin? No, Steve Martin from The Jerk. The, he's got the, the, the gray hair. Steve Martin. No, really, bro? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who he is. I know the black Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Bro, he's, he's like the, he's, he's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. all I'm getting at is. Right. He didn't say, he didn't care. He didn't stop. He didn't quit, man. And he is where he is today because that he didn't care what anybody thought about him. He did every. It, it, it's crazy. It, Watch Steve Martin documentary, is, and you guys yeah. really, really like that. That's part. You know, I'm teaching Titus that like right now. <clears throat> uh, just do what you're gonna do. Don't care what anybody says about you. And, yep. And don't let your mouth show who you are. Let who let what you do. Anymore. Yeah. So, quick instance. There's uh, there's kids that play football in front of the house. And he got in a big argument with one of the kids, and I went back. He came in, and I was like, hey, what was the argument? He thought he was in trouble. And I said, Titus, you're better than the kid. Show him, him through football that you're better than him. And he went back out yeah, like a week later, and I watched like through the window, and the kid was mouthing off, and Titus just walked back with his head and got a touchdown on him and then came back and then tackled him. And, and he came back, and he's like, Dad, I did what you did. That was awesome. Yeah. I said, it's so much better. Yeah, and how did you do, sir? Good. He did good. Right? Yeah. He's and I excited. was like, that's how you, that's how people can solve problems in this really crazy world. It's crazy, bro. It's not with your mouth, but by your actions. So. It is, it's nuts. Okay. It's nuts. And out of nowhere, the sun is back the sun. and I'm blinded and it's hot again. <laughs> well, at least I'll dry off the track and we'll get back yeah. to racing, man. Yeah. Wait, well, uh, all in all, man, track, how was it? My shock was messing me up. Besides your car. Let, let, I mean, just, just t t take away what, what happened with your car. I mean, the, the venue, the track. Yeah, no, 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 it's good. It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I wish I would have caught that from the beginning and I wasn't going, like, backwards the whole day. 
And I think I would have, I think we would have finished oh, better. Have you, so you've never flown with your, with your car? Never. never. never Interesting. Never. So if you guys listen, if you're just joining the show, we're talking about uh, JFab from Dallas, Texas, joining us right now. We're talking about his car and how 35,000 oh, feet. Dave was the one that told me. Huh? Dave told me. Five star Dave. To, okay. He was like, hey, just crack. He was like, crack it loose. I was like, no, I'm good. Let me go make another pass. And he's like, no, they, like on road, that's what you do in on road. You got to let it out. Yeah. And then that makes when, sense. when I came back, yeah, if, he's, if Dave's listening, he's the one that really. He's so, the one so d d did it stiffen the car? It stiffens the it's car stiffen because the, car, the shock right? doesn't move. Right. It has air. It, it makes nothing but sense. Remember? Yep. Sprite? Yep. <laughs> yeah. And the, and the way I set my car, everyone knows I put my car, my shocks on the hub. And so while my car is going down the track, the back of my car is picking up. Well, if there's air in it and it can't pick up, yeah, it loses its it loses its traction. Poof, it's okay. gone. And it, it kept doing it in the same spot. No matter what tune was in it, what speed I had in it, what time, anything, it did it all in the same spot. And that's what really super started opening my eyes. And then Dave was like, "Dude, crack the shock." Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. And I did. That, hey, you know what? It makes every bit of sense. Hey, could you imagine like guys that never kind of figure that out that fly you know how many guys hop on a plane yeah a ton yeah, yeah. of guys and you see and i don't know like if it affects like again a three-hour flight you know i don't i don't know if it affects it in that way <laughs> yeah it's hard. what's up jerry what's up? i'm sitting there talking to mr j fab hanging out you want it you want it getting back to racing here. you ready to roll i'm ready to go home <laughs> <laughs> you ready already man yeah but listen your home is how far 25 minutes. <laughs> uh, nice. Well, the good news hey, is, but that's only like four miles because of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> right, a mile and a half. <laughs> we're talking to Jerry Baxter, and we're talking about how long it takes to go a mile here. And, and Jerry's got 25 minute drive. We we figure it's about a mile and a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, my wife goes, hey, I'm going to run up to Walmart for a minute. I said, yeah, cool. She goes, oh, my goodness. It's, third, it's right, 20 minutes to go four miles. Yeah. Trees will come in through that here. That sounds about right. Yeah. Come back up. We're going to let the track drive for five right. more minutes, and then we're going to continue. Nice. All right. Nice. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to go right, help brother. Henry. Hey, man. Good, good I'll hop back on yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, come on down. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go back to racing here. We're live from the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals. Let me change out my And uh, Jay Fab was in the house, man. It's always good to talk to Jay, man. He's a good dude right there. Um, but here we go, man. It's 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 uh, it's race time. Let me get this camera back set up, Wendy. Um, here. Hey, let me know if it's more than this. Okay, give me. Look, look, hang on, hang on, man. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of a problem, sir. <laughs> I'm all tangled up, Henry. <laughs> There. Oh over my there. goodness. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, Henry. Hang on. Hold, please. All right. Hold on, guys. Okay. Well, we're back, guys. I'm going to set up this camera and then we're going to get back to racing. This is going to be a quick round. And remember, they're going to probably do 15 minutes uh, roughly between rounds. And uh, so it's going to be, it's, it's, we're, we're going to have a little bit of downtime, man. I'll try to get some more guys up here to, to sit around and chat with us so we can. You can hear your drivers. I'll try to get those Aussie boys up here. I tell you what, whoever goes out, whoever goes out. With the. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm setting a camera for you with the Aussie boys. Uh, we'll get them. You know, we'll bring them over and talk to them. Got a nice rainbow coming off that left side. And then. Uh, we're getting ready to go racing. Everybody's starting to leave, actually. Slaney's out the door. Jay Joseph is leaving. <clears throat> All right, guys. Back down here. And, uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Give me just a second. Let me get these cameras switched around for you guys. And then we're ready to go. Okay, give me just a second. I'm going to say bye to everybody really quick. Here, you, here I'll, I'll leave my mic on so you can hear me. Say, <laughs> Lenny. You out here, bro? Yeah. You're safe. Mic's on, so. How'd it go? What happened, man? What are you doing? What happened when to your car? When I looked at you, I literally blew my ESC. I when know I you did. I got, and I said, Steve Slaney just winked at me and said something, and I couldn't. <laughs> I popped the ESC. Yeah, I know. And you know what I said? 
I got back over there to the pit. And I went, why didn't I ask for two minutes and grab my backup car? I don't know why. Don't Rookie move, dude. Come either. on. <laughs> hey, be safe, guys. You got big smiles. So yeah, yeah. See you guys back over by the... All right, bro. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya. Bye, hope. Bye. Take care. Hi. Hello. Got the mics on, so no cussing. <laughs> no cussing. <laughs> Jay Joseph, good to see you, bro. You out of here? No, no, no. Oh, no. okay. Oh, okay. We just came to bring the baby. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm going to get back to work. I thought everybody was leaving. I know she is. I just, Cece, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm running around like a crazy person. Hi, hi, hi. All right. Go back to work. All right, guys. All right, we're back up and running. We're getting ready to go racing. Rain is gone, and we're ready to go. Um, <clears throat> let me break down these brackets for you really quick. Shouldn't take me but a second. <sighs> Thank you for everybody still hanging in there, man. It's late. It's 6 o'clock. Well, it's almost 6 here in Hawaii, so that means it's, what is it, uh, midnight? I don't even know where. Yeah, midnight in the East Coast. <laughs> you guys are still watching. That's wild. All right, let's break it down. Round four is getting ready to come up right now, guys. Round four consists of these guys right here. We got six guys left. Unfortunately, the girls are gone, a.k.a. Shelby Tabios. And we had a girl earlier this morning. I'm going to forget her name, but I'll grab it here in just a second. And race number one, it's going to be Eli Serdone coming out of that right lane. He's coming out of that super lane. Uh, going against Justin Tagir coming out of that red monster lane. And then uh, race number two of your round four of your bracket A, bracket B, I'm sorry, is going to be uh, Henry Tabios against Dustin Costa. Costa and Justin Tagir still have uh, two in the show. And then that'll bring up the Aussies. It's going to bring up uh, Kef Tetha and uh, Russell Nelson. Here they come. Heading into tech in just a second. Get these guys on the run here. You know, this is coming. This is winding down. And let's not let's not forget our bracket winner, Mr. Keenan Annoy. I hope I got that right, Keenan. Congratulations, sir. He went against Mr. Kalani Holbron. And that race is complete. Everybody's in tech right now. We'll be ready to go here. Just a second, man. If you guys are just tuning in, yes, we are still live. And this is called the NPRC. Oh, no, it's not. It's called the South Pacific NPRC Nationals. It's sponsored by R1. Hey, what's up, Chris? <laughs> I've got, I've got so, many, so many things going on here. I have way too many iPads and iPhones up and running here because I'm on so many different channels. Um, but we're getting ready to... It's 2 p.m. in Sydney, man. Right on, Pete. <laughs> Pete Lucas is, uh, is cheering on the boys from Australia. Pete Lucas and uh, I believe Francis Stone maybe might be from... Uh, who is from uh, Australia... That's over on YouTube right now. I'm kind of curious. You got, I know Pete Lucas is. April 7th. What is the date today? It's April 6th. <laughs> Let me break down your sponsors for you really quick, and then we'll, uh, we'll get going racing here. Let's go. Right now, R1 Works is your title sponsor. Super Speed is your left. Uh, Red Monster is your right. You got uh, Shurcan, Racer RC, Get Stuck, 808 Fuel, Accelerate RC, Voodoo, Shark Bodies, TH Designs, Live Action. Happy birthday, Tony. Uh, RC Speed Seeker, Straight Line Spoilers, Dragworks RC, JM Portable, MacTown Audio, Monster Energy, Macklin or McClan, whichever way you want to say it. And Rockwell RC. All right, B side. B side is coming in hot. Here, Here we Eli go. Benna, Francis Stone. Costa. Go Costa. Big Gun and Russ. Neil Holland. I love it, dude. A lot, a lot of Australians watching. Yeah. Justin and Eli. Francis Stone, Benmo, Neil Holland, Pete Lucas, all from Australia. Well, get ready because you're, you're, uh, your uh, your Australian racers are getting ready to head up to the line in just a second. They're your third race of these three races. But let's talk about the first one coming in hot as we speak. Here they 
come. Justin Tagir going head to head against Eli Serdone. Eli is going to be in that le- uh, right lane and Justin's going to be in that left. Remember, Justin still has two in the show. And then that brings up your uh, uh, your racers on deck is going to be Henry Tabios and Dustin Costa. Costa still has two in the show. And then your third race of your of your round four of your bracket B, <clears throat> your third race is going to be uh, Kef Tetha and uh, Russell Nelson. Here they go. Eli's lined up, getting ready to set his car down. Justin's ready to roll. This guy, I, I, I've never met this guy, Justin, but I got to tell you, man, this kid's on fire. Him and Dustin Costa, just, uh, just they just can't do... You can't do wrong. Here they go. Oh, I think this time he might have got it by Eli. He did. Boom. Eli Serdon got uh, Justin on that one. There it is, man. Nice run on that right side by uh, by Eli. And that just goes to show you, it doesn't matter how good you were earlier. You go up against, you, hey, listen, you go up against Eli, man. Eli's got it going on. Eli won a lot of races last year. Remember, he was up in Salt Lake City, took one. You know, if you guys remember about Eli, Eli ran three years in a row at the Salt Lake Clash. He took third, second, and first. Or was it second, third, and first? Just shows you that Eli is very consistent. So we'll see what happens on the next go round. Here they come. Tabios in the left lane going against Dustin Costa. Costa still has two in the show. Justin is out on his. And then Kef Tetha and Russell uh, Nelson are on deck. Oh, man. Tabios had a hell of a run. Let's see what he's got. Tabios got him on that one. That means, hey, there it is again. Dustin Costa has been straight as an arrow all day and just on point. But here comes Henry Tabios back and took him. That means now Dustin only has one in the show. So with that being said, there are nobody with two cars in the show, if you get what I'm saying. So here come the Australias coming up to the to the line, mate. <laughs> Here they come. Kef Teth is coming out of that left lane with Russell Nelson out of that right lane. Two Aussies, two from Australia, and here they come, man. Both these guys have come a long way, and congratulations to both of them. Unfortunately, only one moves on. Guys are getting their cars set, man. I'm just trying to be quiet, man, so you guys can kind of hear the how quiet it is. <laughs> Kev set. Russell set. Here we go. Oh, man, that's a race. What do we got? Left lane. Left lane. Kev Tetha takes out Russell Nelson. That was a race. Right down to the wire. I wish I knew what the times and the speeds were, but unfortunately, I cannot give them to you guys. They won't. They, 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 they've been holding back from all day from the times and the ETs, man. I tried. But that race right there, I need to know what the hell that race did because those boys were on fire. Ten minutes. We're going to head back off into the next rounds 10 minutes i'm just gonna grab me a water man that was a race this is good man i'm loving this let's talk about it scott masuda has the bye what justin <laughs> yeah what montana said <laughs> jesse kinder's over there saying it's rigged because scott masuda has the bye well here we go. Let's talk about it, man. Bracket A. Let's just talk about it right now before we take a quick break and grab some water. Your bracket A of your round five, race number one, Scott Masuda has the bye. And then that'll uh, then your second race of your round five of your bracket A is going to be Justin Tagir. Tagir against Dustin Costa. So look at that. Two of the guys that had two in the show until the last three rounds are going head to head against each other. That's how this works. That's called racing. And then pushing off into bracket B, Eli Serdon has the has the bye, and then Henry Tabios is going to go head to head with Kef Tetha. Kef's got a he's he, he you know if he runs the race that he just ran right now he might have it something for Tabios, but Tabios is running just as good as Kef. That's going to be a really good race. That's going to be one to watch. The Kef Tetha against uh, Henry Tabios is going to be a really good race. So that's going to leave us with you know we we got about eight minutes left guys now we're going to go down and get this over with this is your 2024 um 
South Pacific NPRC Nationals, and man, it is getting good. It's been a long day. We've been live for about six hours, man. We started off a little late, got a little rain this morning, but things have been rolling along. We got hit with rain, uh, rain and wind, and uh, but we were over to over overcoming and keep on going. What's up, Shelby Hall? What's up, big dog? Shell, hey, anytime Shelby Hall chimes in, everybody better get ready. <laughs> I'm good, Shelby. How are you, my friend? And uh, and then that's going to put us down into we're almost getting down into the into the semis, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there, man. It's been a great run. Look at that. Look at that racetrack. Look how cool that is, man. That sun is kind of barely coming through the clouds right now. You got a little bit of sheen going on. We were about 108, 110 degrees a little earlier, man. I'm sure it's cooled off because the weather, as the, st the sun starts to set, the track's starting to cool off. Things are going to change. It's going to get really interesting on these next four rounds. We're going to find out here in just a minute. I'm going to take me a quick break. Uh, and then really quick, guys, I, just give me, you know, give me 10 minutes, man. I'll be back before 10 minutes, but give me 10. I'll be right back. And then we will get this party started and keep on trucking, man. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. Ah, uh, Junior Ramirez. Yes, I have second, third, first. Hey, K hey, KDP, I know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? KDP, don't be hating. <laughs> All right, let me take a, let me take a couple minutes break, guys. I'm gonna be right here, but I'll I'll kind of watch the comments. I'm just gonna give me some water as I uh, I gotta wet the whistles, uh, so they say, man. Whew, what a day, man! I am excited. I'm stoked, man. I'm getting ready to get out of here. You know, I, I'm 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 so happy to be here, and, and it's been a hell of a time. But man, I I, I got to tell you, man, I'm shooting off into Florida. You guys join me at the Gators. I'm telling you, man. You know, the cool thing with the Gators is the kids, you, you know, the, you bring the kids down and, and just have such a good time. Uh, you know, my, my, I told you, man, Mercadell runs a tight ship. You know, he, he does a great job, puts a great venue together. The awards are amazing. Everything is amazing, man. Uh, so Big Daddy Don Garlitz going to be the last weekend of April. Join us, man. It's going to be a good time. It's called the 2024 uh, RCDRL uh, Gator Nationals presented by Futaba USA. It's going to be good times, man. I'm, I'm excited. If you guys didn't hear me a little earlier, uh, my friend, uh, my commentator, my buddy, uh, Foster Yates might be joining me for that race down there, man. What, what a great, what a great, you know, if you guys been wanting to chit chat and say hi to Foster, that'd be the hell of a time to come on down and, and do it. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's my boy. That's my friend, man. He's not watching. He might be watching. You know, one thing about Foster Yates, man, he's a creeper. He creeps. <laughs> All right, let me take my quick break, man. I'll be right back. Stand by, guys.
All right, guys. Let's bring it on up. Scott Mitsuda, Justin, Dustin. That's the A side. The B side will be Eli, Henry, John L. Let's go. They're coming to tech, man. Let's get this party started. We're back, man. It's almost over. We're here at the 2024 South Pacific NPRC Nationals, brought to you by R1 Works. <laughs> Super, <laughs> Super Speed and Red Monster are your uh, lane sponsors, guys. Give me a second, man. Let me get everybody in a good mood, man. We got, a, we, we got some racing coming up. Some good racing, too. Are getting ready to head off into round number five. Scott Masuda has the bye, ladies and gentlemen. Race number two of bracket A of round five is going to be Justin Tagir going against Dustin Costa. Bracket B, round five. Race number one is Eli Serdone. He's got the bye. Woo-wee. And then Henry Tabios is going head to head with Kef Tetha. And here they come, guys. Coming to the line as we speak. Justin Tagir. And Dustin Costa. Right now. Thank you for joining us here in the beautiful state of Hawaii. Hawaii. Beautiful day, man. Had a high of about 78. Wind's been crazy. Rain's been off and on, but we're going to get it done, man. Well, I think we might even get it done before the sun goes down because there are no lights here in this house. It does not look like we are getting ready to start round five. Justin Tagir going against Dustin Costa. Costa right, Tagir left. Eli Serdon has the bye coming up next. Oh, man, what a race. I think the left side took him, though. Left clay got him. That's Justin Tagir, man. Both those guys have been on fire all day. Had two in the show before this last round. And now, uh, just like that, Dustin Costa, man. He's been he's been like an arrow, man, all day. But Dustin's out. Coming up next. Here, come, here he comes. Eli Serdone is going to run that by. I don't see. Actually, I lied. He's not coming up. I don't see him. Yeah, here he comes. Eli's coming around the corner here in just a second. And then we got another race. We got another race, man. All you Aussies back on YouTube land. Here they come. It's Kef Tetha going against Mr. Henry Tabios. Hawaii against Australia. Hawaii left, Australia right. Eli is moving now. He's coming. Uh, well, he was moving. <laughs> He's still over there in his pits. Uh, so Eli's going to hit this by in just a second, and then we'll run that Kef Tetha. Uh, and... Um, um, Henry Tabios race, and then we're going to go hit another break. What I'll do is I'll try to, uh, I'll, uh, and my, yeah, my wife's yawning. We're all tired, man. We, listen, we're, you want to talk about being off on your sleep. It is six o'clock right now, and I should be in bed. <laughs> ah, well, what are you going to do, man? That's what happens when you, when you got to do what you got to do. So when this is over, it's over. That'll be under the that'll be the first uh, first race in Hawaii. Um, talking about a nationals, I mean you know, ninety two double entries for their first ever national race. I'll tell you like this: this race should have been triple of what it was, and I'm going to tell you why. If these guys would have had a race when NPRC was at its peak, this place would have been packed. Packed. I'm telling you, packed. But times change. 
things change. And that's what happened. So it, this, this would have been one, oh, this would have been a hundred plus single entry for sure. If, if this was in the middle, if this was a year and a half ago and they put this race on, this thing would be, would be jam packed. I, I promise you, man. I know that for a fact. Uh, here he comes. He is a big winner all last year. It's Eli Serdone. He's coming up right now. He's going to be coming up on, uh, what side is he on? I don't even know. Let me take a look. It doesn't matter because he's got the bye. He's going to run this bye. And then we're going to watch that race between uh, Kef Tetha and Henry Tabios. Do you get to pick what side you want to run? Uh, he's in the left lane. <clears throat> With the bye. Bye, bye, bye. And then we got Kef Tetha and uh, Henry Tabios are going to come up right after this race right here. That's going to be a good race, man. All eyes on track in just a second, man. That'll be a good race. Both those kids are on fire. So we'll see what happens. Eli's going to run his race na right now. Watch your left. Nice hit. Eli's heading. Here comes Skittles' dad. <laughs> That's Henry's name, Skittles' dad. Up next, we got Henry and John. Henry, Tabios, and Kef Tetha. Henry's going to have the left lane, and Kef's going to have the right. Kef won last time in the left lane, and Henry won in the right lane, I believe. So, Kef is going to be shooting off into a different lane on this run. And Henry's going to be moving into a different lane. Then that'll end race number two of your bracket B of your round five. And then we'll shuffle them again and do it again. <clears throat> this, sh this, this should be over by the time that sun goes down, I'm thinking. The sun's about... Looks like we got about another 30, well, I take that back. We got about another 30 minutes until the sun goes down. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. 6.34 is when the sun goes down. Oh, is it? I'm pretty sure it's 6.34. 6.48. Uh, 6.48? Okay, so we got, uh, we got 50 minutes. We might be able to, okay, I thought it was. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. I thought this would have been. Uh, and at 7 o'clock, it's going to rain again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. All right, here they come, guys. <clears throat> your right lane is Kef Tetha. Your left lane is Henry Tabios. This is going to be a good run, man. All eyes on this track right now. These guys have gone a long ways. They've come a long ways for this. Kef really came a long ways. <laughs> I think Henry came an hour. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Henry's been wanting to do this for a long time. He's been wanting to race here in Hawaii for a long, long time. That's what I meant by that. Watch your light. Tapios left. Tetha right. Oh, no. Got him. Henry on the left side. Kef, not sure what happened, but Henry's going to move on. That race is over. Unfortunately, the Aussies are going to have to go home on that one, man. They made it a long ways, man. A very, very, very great showing by Kef Tetha and, uh, and his partner. I'm just trying to go back into my events here. All right. All right. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15. 15. 15 minutos. It's 15 minutos más. <laughs> I got to get ready for Puerto Rico. I've been listening to the babble. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm listening to babble so I can babble more <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. Round six is coming up. Would you guys like to know who's going against who? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I got you. Uh, I've got the names. Scott Masuda against Justin Tagir. Henry Tabios against Eli Sardone. That is what we have left. And the sun is shining. <laughs> and the sun is shining. Correct. We are at your semis. This is it. You got Scott Masuda against Justin Tagir and Henry Tabios against Eli Serdone. Wow, okay. Yep.
So 15 minutes, then we'll run the semis, and then that'll set us up for the finals, and this puppy will be over. How long have we been live? Um, what does it say? Ooh. What does it say? Ooh. Oh, right. Not- whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, here comes the wind. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Give me just a second here, then we'll get this get this uh, we'll get this figured out here. Because if I'm if I'm shooting into eight hours, I can't be going into eight hours yet. I don't think so either. <clears throat> we started at twelve. Yeah, yeah, we're good. It's only been six hours. We're good, guys. We're good. Good, good, good. All right. We're just gonna wait. We're in a holding pattern right now, and then uh, then we'll get these guys up here and get the racing. Sorry about that. I am just literally just kind of watching six hours. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. We're good. Well, crap, man. I thought the Aussie boys are going to go a little bit further, man. Ah, darn. You know what? I'm, I bet you they're pretty proud of their runs, man. I was going to, I'm, I'm going to have to find out what is. Francis Stone, awesome job to take the unfair RC chassis as far as you did, Russell. Proud of you, mate. Hey, uh, I got to find out about that chassis. I've never heard of that chassis, so it must be out of Australia. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's really good that he came this far. That he came this far. <clears throat> um, to, uh, from Australia and with that chassis, yeah. I, I, I never heard of that chassis, but uh, great job, man. It's kind of, I, you know, you know, I, I'm just kind of sitting here as I'm watching across the parking lot and I'm watching everybody just kind of talk and hang out and stuff. It's kind of cool. You know, for Robert Gill and Brian Gill to come all the way out from Kentucky and it's pretty cool, man. I've seen bra, the Gill brother, or Gill brothers, <laughs> little Gill and Bid Gill. I've seen those guys on the track a few times, man. I'm going to be seeing those guys uh, again in Ohio. So let's talk about Ohio, man. It's going to be a big one. It is going to be a big one. I'm telling you, man, get ready for, for SummerSlam and Mommy Ohio and the 419 and Erica Del Grazo. She's ready for you. 155 entries, about a two weeks. I haven't talked to her in a couple weeks just because I've been, so, I've been trying to move my damn house. 155, man. I talked to her while well, I texted her yesterday or the day before, and I said, let's – Let's do this. Let's beat Foster Yates and the King of Smokies, too. Let's make that pot bigger than $26,800. Can we do it? We're going to find out. At the end of June, it's called SummerSlam. It's in Maumee, Ohio. It's one of the fastest tracks on the circuit. She's been doing this a while. She's one of the best at what she does. It's the only race to be at that weekend. Trust me. <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're looking for the payout, <laughs> that's going to be the race to be at. But if you're looking for fun, family, friends, four one nine as well, man. Every time we go there, it is a good time. We always have a good time. Every time we go there, they put a hell of a show together. And they know what they're doing. It's going to get interesting here in the next two months to see how that race is going to transpire into this race, man. I just, I, I love Foster Yates. I love him to death, but I'm going to beat him. I'm going to beat him. we got to promote this race and get it up there. We need to beat $26,800 at, at the mommy race. I think we can do it, man, with your guys' help. Come, come, come help us make this one of the biggest NPRC races ever done. Foster Yates. And King of Smokies too, the crazy, the crazy, uh, what did they call that? The, uh, the Railroad Tie Nationals. <laughs> if you guys don't remember, man, you know, if you don't remember that race, that was just a wild, dude, I don't even remember that race, man. 22 and a half hours I was talking straight. 
Well, not straight. I took 15 minute breaks, but that's how long that race went. I went for 22 and a half hours, $26,800 pot. It's absolutely amazing. It was crazy though. I remember on Monday, woke up, Dustin, Dustin Malakote put up the, 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 the railroad tie sale. <laughs> You know, man, that's back when it was it was it was wild and crazy, man. If if Hawaii would have put a race on right around uh, that year, right there, that's when this race right here in Hawaii would have been amazing. It would have been huge. People would have been uh, they would have flocked over here to come over this beautiful state and sit in all this traffic. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was a long night, right, Leo, bro? God, that was a long night. Leo, what the hell are you doing up, bro? <laughs> Isn't it like 2 a.m. in Canada, bro? Alex Morales. Uh, talk about his race for a minute. I've been talking about it all day, man, but uh, the Cave Town Meltdown. Alex, uh, the Energy Morales is going into, uh, I've, I've renamed Alex. Uh, what do we call him, Alex Morales? Alex Monster Energy Morales. <laughs> that, that's Alex's new name. <laughs> Don't tell him, though. <laughs> Cave Town Meltdown into September, man. It's going to be a good one, guys. You better pack your goddamn bags because I'm telling you, Alex Monster Energy Morales is going to put on another great show. I call him Monster Energy for a reason, man. If you guys were not at that race in, in Cave Town Meltdown 1 or number 2, that man's got more energy than I've ever seen. I mean, he just, hey, he, he just, he's, he's ready, man. He puts on a good race. He's, a, he's just like Erica Del Grazo, great race director. He knows what he's doing, man. So join us at the Cape Town Meltdown at the end of September. Thank God he's doing it at the end of September because last year about died from a heat stroke. Thanks, Alex. I don't know if it's Alex. Is Alex. I don't think Alex is watching. I don't think he is. Let me hop over here really quick. The I-Beam Nationals. That's, <laughs> that's it, Carlos. The I-Beam Nationals, bro. <laughs> Paul Lamp up. Alex is good peeps, dude. Junior Ramirez, good day, uh, good racing day. Haven't seen anyone get stuck. Yeah, man, there's been a few people get stuck, bro. Oh, there's Alex right there. What's up, dude? <laughs> I didn't even know you are here. Where you at, bro? It's five. Oh, Leo gets. What are you doing up so late, dude? You're starting to make me wonder. <laughs> What's up, Alex? Hey, Alex. We've been. You have a new. You have. You are my new nickname, crazy person. You are now Alex Monster Energy Morales. <laughs> We're gonna put you up there with a the new name of of uh, Robert Maderos El Diablo. That's 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 Robert Maderos's new name. Not on asphalt, on sand. Robert Maderos and Robert El Diablo Maderos. I think is going to be joining me in the Puerto Rico. You know, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I, I think if not, if Robert Maderos comes to Puerto Rico, hey, all you Puerto Ricans, if you're watching, man, you, you guys are going to have your hands full with this kid. He loves this sand drags and he is on fire. Yeah, man. Let's go, Alex. I'm ready, bro. Yeah. Can't wait to call out Robert and the dark horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's going to be good times. 1018 in Montana. What's up, Brad Bray? Hey, you guys are still hanging in there, dude. You guys are nuts, man. Listen, I, seriously, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dark horse is here, bro. Hey, the dark horse is here somewhere. He's, he's well, he was here. Uh, uh, he's across the way, man. It's been a good day with all, everybody here from Hawaii. Everybody, man. Alex, are you ready? You, Alex Monster Energy Morales, you ready to... You ready to get that party started off in Carlsbad, New Mexico, man? Hey, Alex, put up those dates for me really quick of when you're going to be having that race so everybody knows, man, when to pack those bags and get their butts to Carlsbad. Good times, great race director, good family fun. But I'm going to tell you like this. Thank gosh it is towards the end of September because last year I about had a heat stroke. It was nuts, man. Nuts. Paul Lampa, what the hell are you doing up still? <laughs> Carlos Davis, what are y'all doing up? Shouldn't y'all be in bed? It's like six, seven, eight. Nine. I guess it's only nine o'clock. No, it's not. It's it's not nine o'clock. It's it's twelve o'clock. September twenty-first. Billy, remember the twenty-four hour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the twenty-four hour show, man. That's crazy, bro. You remember that twenty-four hour show? That was wild and crazy, man. I've done some stupid stuff in my life. <laughs> twenty-four hour show. Then we did a twenty-two hour. Live show on, at, at the I-Beam Nationals. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let me break this down for you guys. September 21st, guys. Um, let's take a look at my calendar here. 
September 20, September 20 and 21. I'm going to say 20 only because that's a Friday. So, but September 21st of 2024, man, let's break it down for the Cape Town Meltdown. It's going to be good stuff, man. Alex, we're ready for you, brother. Gilliland's in the house. You coming down there, Gilliland? <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Leave me alone, Leo. You know something? I am old Leo, but hey, hey, I'm still here with you, right? <laughs> it's raining again. You know what's crazy with the rain here? It, it, it's like snow. It's crazy, the rain here. I'm actually watching it rain, and it looks like snow. But it's 80, it's, yeah, it's like it's 80 degrees. <laughs> <clears throat> we're getting ready to head off into the uh, uh, semifinals in just a second, man. Knock this out of the park. We're just about done. For those of you that hung in with us, man, first things first is thank you guys. Holy cow, I can't believe you all just kind of hung in there, man. Mr. Richter, 200, 920 in California, designed and built in Western Australia. Okay, thanks, Francis. B6 base conversion. Nice. I'll have to go check that out, bro, for sure. I have not seen it. Awesome. Thank you. 1120 in Chicago, Paul Lampa. <laughs> hey, Lampa, are you, uh, you want a, you want a, you want a uh, truck tonight? And I know you run around that city, man. Is, you guys getting any snow out there, bro? <clears throat> Hawaiian showed up in forest for the 2023 meltdown. Yep, Shane Reno got it done. Yes, he did. What's this to do with the bike and the trailer and the shutdown? He's picking up all the cars. <laughs> Hey, Leo. Dude, hey, Leo, that bike that he's riding, bro, when I get home, I'm going to get me one of those. What are they called? They're called ti 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 titan ti Titans or something like that. Dude, that bike does 60 miles an hour. But what that guy's doing, if you see him in the uh, in your finish line cameras, what he's doing is, is as the cars go by, he goes down and picks up the cars and brings, hey, Alex Morales, we need we need two uh, two of those bikes with with uh, uh, <laughs> with trailers at the cave town. <laughs> It's good times, man. We are just about getting ready to end this race here in Hawaii. We've got, uh, we're in the semifinals. We got uh, Scott Masuda going against Ch Justin Tagir and Henry Tabios against Eli Serdone. That's going to tell us who's going to uh, fly off into the finals. And then that'll end the 2024. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three. All right. Hey, you know what that means. Let's go. Got to get a little music, man. Get everybody up and live, alive and well. Let's go. Come on, man. I've been doing this, talking for six hours. You guys can hang in there for another 45 minutes, man. We are getting ready to end this. We're going to hit off into the, uh, right now we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do uh, your semifinals, and then it'll push us off into the final, and then that'll be it here. Um, if you guys haven't seen, man, great venue, great turnout. I mean, look at the tents that they put up. It's been amazing. They've done a great job. Um, but it's, it's, it's showtime and go time, man. All eyes on this track because here they come. we got two minutes left, and they're going to head off into tech, and they're going to bring this back up to the starting line and do it again. And then we'll go on another break. <laughs> <clears throat> What we'll do is we'll get through this right here, right now. We'll knock out these two races, and then we'll take our last 15-minute break. We'll talk about the sponsors. We'll talk about the friends that are here. We'll talk about talk about everything. What else is there to do in this world? Talk, 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 talk. Oh man, look at that rainbow to my left. I would love to show you that rainbow, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't have a camera. Wow. 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 Let's go, man. You know that music gets you guys up. Leo Getz, you know you're just floating around. You're just like a butterfly, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, baby. I want to show you guys this... Uh, I want to show you guys this damn rainbow, man. Crap. Where's PTW at when I need her? You know what? Here, I'm going to show you this rainbow. Hold, please. Okay. okay. 
I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run as fast as I can. <laughs> Look at this rainbow. I'm gonna turn this camera around. The only reason I'm doing this is it's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Party call. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it's a. Oh my God, it's a double rainbow. Look at that, guys. Look at how amazing this rainbow is, man. It's actually, you remember that guy a long time ago? It's a double rainbow. <laughs> I hope you guys can see this. I don't even know if I'm still alive. I ran away from my, look at how beautiful that is. What? Beautiful, man. Wow. Look at that. Listen, look at the, two, the second rainbow's coming in. You know what that means, right? It's time to go. Side. All right, guys, here they come. Scott Masuda in the left lane and Justin Tagir in that right lane. And then on deck, we've got, uh, you got Henry Tabios. You got Henry Tabios and, and uh, uh, Eli Sardone, man. Sorry, guys, I had to run back down. I hope you guys saw the damn rainbow. <laughs> okay, we're back. Okay. <laughs> The things I do for you guys. <laughs> oh, it's a race! Right lane got him, man. That's Justin Tagir. Just took out Scott Masuda, man. That's a damn race. Those boys were head to head, side by side, all the way through that finish line, man. Not a bobble, not a weeb. Nice run on both sides. I wish I had you guys the times and the and the uh, ETs, but unfortunately they won't give it to me. Here they come. Henry Tabios is coming up on that left lane. Whew, I'm out of breath for a second. And Eli Sardone is coming out of that right lane. Oh man. That was a great race. Great, great race. Whew. All right, guys. Henry Tabios is all set up on that left lane. Eli Sardone is up, ready to go on that right. The rain is coming here. It, it, the rain is here right now. Whoa, another great race. Whoa, we like got him, man. Whoa. Woo! Eli Serdone is going to move on to the finals. Wow, what a great race, man. Justin Tagir going against. Come back up. Please do. We want to try and finish this race under power. <laughs> weather coming in. The weather's coming in, man. I showed you guys those rainbows. It's going to be crazy. So right now, Justin Tagir going head-to-head -head against Eli Serdone, man. Great racing at the end of these rounds. Wow, if you guys... Whew, that was some good stuff, man. Those rainbows are amazing, though. I, I have never seen a full-blown rainbow that color or that bright before. I got to get a picture. Let me get, you know what? Uh, the beauty about me is I can move around, man. I can take this, uh, take the mics with me. I wish I could take my, that is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I'm going to take this picture and put it up on my personal page. Holy cow. Absolutely awesome. All right. Rain is coming down, man. It's actually coming down. It's not heavy, but we've got a light, uh, got a light rain coming in right now, man. But remember, we still got to get through. Yeah, and it's coming in hot. I turned the cameras around. You guys saw that big black cloud, and it's full of rain. I can tell you this right now. We're going to have to do something with these cameras because they're getting really, really wet. So let's do this. Move this over here. Okay, like this. I'm going to go grab that camera. While we wait, uh, while we wait for Eli and uh, and uh, Justin to get their cars ready, and then that'll push us off into the last of the finals here at the 2024 um, South Pacific NPRC Nationals, sponsored by R1. Just about done, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today, man. Good times. I had a really good time today. It was good. There's the dark horse right there, right there. There's the dark horse. <laughs> There's Alan Torakawa, man. That's that's what that's uh, this rainbow, man. I, I'm not kidding you guys. It's crazy. All right, I'm gonna pull this camera. <clears throat> I'm 
going to post up on my on my story in my in, on my personal page. You guys got to go see this rainbow, man. I got this picture of this rainbow. It was absolutely crazy. <sighs> I'm just making sure all my equipment is not getting wet, guys. Okay, I think we're good. We are good to go, man. We are good. We got the finals left between Eli Sardone and Justin. About 10 minutes, guys, about 10 minutes, roughly. And then, like I said, they got to try to get this done. The problem is that rain is out. It's here. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going to happen here. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. This, they're, they're behind me, when I was showing you guys those clouds, I mean, it's, 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 it's almost here. And if it gets here, man, that means I don't know what they're going to do. Got a lot of people that are still here waiting, man. There's a whole bunch of people here. Trying to see what this this weather's gonna do, man. We are socked in. It's gonna get really. It's gonna get really cur or get really interesting here soon. <laughs> you better yell at him. <laughs> Video looks good. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I know, man. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Well, I'm sitting here talking to Masuda and, and uh, uh, PTW. We're all just kind of ch ch I can hear them. You can't hear them. Uh, but he's like, man, I want to get this race done. We, we want to get this done here as fast as we can. The guys are over there in the pits uh, getting all their cars ready to go. And then we can get back out here and get this thing over with and uh, and, and crown ourselves a champion. It's either going to be Eli or Justin. Who's it going to be, man? I'll tell you what, if this Justin went this entire race, you know, he was running with two cars there for a while until about the fourth round. And uh, then he lost the two, right? Uh, but he but he did it. He's got one left in the show going against Eli. It's going to get interesting. I'm digging a little bit here. Let me dig a little bit. I'm digging through uh, stats here really quick. <clears throat> Let's talk about Eli for a second. Eli's running a Supa. Supa Speed chassis with an R1 ESC with a Macklin. Motor, tires with the Voodoo Shark Body, the Widow. Eli's ran three events on rcdragraces.com with 21 rounds and 15 wins and six round losses. <clears throat> I'm trying to give you guys some stats of these guys. Let's see what just Justin is going to have not a whole lot of stats. Justin's ran one event. He's won 10 rounds. I'm sorry, he's gone 10 rounds, won nine, and he's lost one. So that's your stats for those two boys. He beat Jesse Kinder today. He beat Super Aaron today. He beat Grandy Dude, can't say his last name today. <laughs> and he lost to Eli. So Eli was the one that took him out when he had double cars, right? So now it's, now it's, it's, it's payback time. Is Justin going to come back, pay Eli back, or is Eli going to take the W, man? Is Eli going to continue the, 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 the dominating wins with Supa and SupaSpeedRC.com and those chassis, man? They're dominating. And we'll see, what, we'll, we'll see here in just a little bit who's going to do it. Is Justin going to be able to come back and win, or is Eli? We're going to try to knock this out within the next five minutes-ish. 10 and then it'll be over and then I'm out of here next time you're going to see me he's in the Gators man and I'm telling you pack those pack those bags get those cars ready and don't do what JFAB did make sure 
you crack those shocks when you come off the plane. <laughs> If you guys are listening to J Fab earlier, man, he's talking that he that he he, you know, he's thirty five thousand feet. With that plane, he feels that the shocks just come, they, they 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 got too much in them and they they had no give, it's too stiff. About round three or round four, I think he said round three, he cracked them, let some of that uh, bleed out, came back and he said his car was awesome. So. You guys going to head out on the road anytime soon and hop in an airplane, man. Think about it. Give Jay Fab a – he's always pretty pretty open with his stuff, man. He could probably tell you what he thinks and everything. <clears throat> we are just about over. Let me go through the sponsors really quick. This will be the last time that uh, that the sponsors uh, will do this. And here we go. This is your 2024 – South Pacific NPRC Nationals. It's live here in Hawaii. Your race title sponsors, R1 Works. Your lane sponsors for this entire weekend was Supa Speed and Red Monster. Your sponsors for the rest of the race, Sure Can, Racer RC, Get Stuck, 808 Fuel, Accelerate RC, Voodoo, Shark, TH Designs, Live Action, it's the last time I'm going to say this, Tony Tan, but happy birthday. Tony is now past the midnight hour on the East Coast, so it's no longer his birthday, so I'm done with that. <laughs> RC Speed Secrets, Straight Line Spoilers, Drag Works RC, JM Portable, MacTown Audio, M -m 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 Monster Energy, Macklin, or McClan, take it up with OKO, and Rockwell RC. Thank you guys for doing this for these guys, man. Very cool, man. You guys are, uh, this is pretty cool. Had a good time here in Hawaii, but it's time to say goodbye. One race left and then the countdown to nothing. <laughs> I got to go pack my house, man. I got to be out of my house in two freaking weeks. I don't know how I'm going to do it, man. I got too much to do. Anybody, anybody want a job? <laughs> Help me pack. <laughs> oh. What's up, OKO? Hey, OKO, is it Macklin or McClan? McClan or Macklin? Macklin or McClan? Macklin, McClan. Macklin, McClan. <laughs> let's see what, let's see what, uh, let's see what uh, OKO says over on YouTube. Is it Macklin or McClan? Type that in, sir. <laughs> good times, man, today. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. I had a really good time today, actually, man. We, we did it. We pulled it off. It's almost over. Spitter, sputter. I think the live went well. I don't think we had a lot of hiccups. Cam Abel did not join me on this ride, but Cam Abel will be with me in Florida. It was, it's going to be me and Abel and PTW. My son's going to be joining us, man. I guess I should turn that camera the right. That, go put the camera where it needs to go, right? <laughs> Let me go change that camera down there. I'll walk. You guys can walk with me. How about?
right, guys. Here we go, man. This is your finals here for 2024 South Pacific Nationals, sponsored by R1 Works. Here they come. Eli Serdone is going against Justin. Love to you, Ooh, let me catch my breath. <laughs> Justin uh, Tagir. Tagir in the left. Justin on the right. Justin is off in that uh, uh, red monster lane. And Eli's in that super lane. And here we go. This is your finals. This is ready. Watch your light. There they go! That's a race, man! That's a race! Who got it? Eli Sardone! Eli Sardone takes home the gold, man! Eli does it again, man! All the way in from Utah, Eli at super speed just took home another win, man! Woo-wee! What a, what a great time, man! Ah, Eli at super, uh, giving big old hugs, man! Great job, dude! Wow! Great, great job. Now I'm going to get this down before this rain hits. I'm going to get these cameras put up. Give those guys a minute to get, to get, uh, give those guys a minute to, uh, to do all of the, 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 uh, the stuff that they do. The, you know, the, all the hugs and the fist bumps and all that stuff, man. Let them get all that down. I'll go grab that camera. What we'll do is we'll just, uh, oh, I just took down my, I just took this down though. Um, give me a minute. Give me a minute. And uh, I'll grab that camera, man, and we'll uh, we'll walk around a little bit here. Just give me just a second. And. We died. We died just in time. That's crazy. Eli Serdone just took home the win. I'm going to go grab. The problem is I don't have a mic, man. I can't talk to him because. Let me, let me see. I got to get him over here. Let them get all of their pictures and stuff, and then I'll grab him really quick. Just a second, guys. I'm trying to get something set up here. Check, check, check. And you guys, I want to see if you guys can hear me really quick. I'm going to try something here really fast. Can you guys hear me? I'm trying something I've never done here before. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to hear me or not. Eli Sardone, another win. Woo! Another win, baby. Look, hey, Eli, dude, wow, congratulations. Thank you, you got to talk louder to hear, but I lost hey. everything. Talk to us, man. How Getting to this point, man, you all the way from Utah. I don't know. It's been a maze of things today, man. I was struggling off the beginning. I'm running a new combo. I'm running the castle. Okay. Uh, Ace today. Um, just been playing with it through the sand, sand drag and stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. 
Uh, but to get out here today, I was kind of just doubting myself just uh, earlier this morning with testing, and I was like, man, I can't get it. I really? can't get it. And um, Super hooked me up with a new software, and I just went from there. I just went from there. New software works. So uh, new software works. <laughs> it works. So um, I got it. I think second round, I started getting a hang of it, um, and just stay consistent. The weather kept changing. Yeah, in and out, yeah, yeah, yeah. That weather in, was brutal today. And, so I was just kind of chancing it. 50, rain, 50. wind, rain, yeah. wind, all day sun, and, rain, wind. And just being with our friends out here, yeah, I was able to just like chance it a little more because I was out here having fun. Yeah, bro. Dude, that, I mean, was it, awesome. it was one big family underneath that yep. tent today, but yep. with Team Reckless and everybody. Everybody. You had people from all over the yeah. place. Man. Everybody. This was probably a great. Game. This is one of the best gatherings I've been to. Yeah, this is good. Well, here you go again, man. You started last year in that dominating go, runs, baby. man. Are you going to do it again this year? Hopefully. Yeah, I'm man. Working on it. Congratulations, dude. Hey, I was you. watching you all the way to the end, thank baby. You, Let's brother. go. And that's it, man. Eli Sardone takes home another win, man. Congratulations to him. I am out of here, you guys. Hope you guys had a good time. But it's time to say goodbye, man. And it's time. Thanks to everybody that joined us. But I'm out of here. Peace out.